YouTube frogs. Welcome to Thamine's cl school class. Thamine class. Thamine school. With us, we have Mr. Tofu. Tofu, say hi to hi to the people. Something my dick. Okay. <laughs> wait. Can, wait. Is that is that allowed to be edited out? <laughs> no, no, I'm keeping it in, dude. <laughs> Well, you won't get demonetized, right? Like, oh, I don't give a fuck, you, bro. Who, who fuck it, dude, Who watches Lost Ark YouTube? Dude, this is the point. <laughs> I don't care. No more. I curse on my videos all the time. You could be. It's just normal. Just doing a little intro. Boys, Tofu's joining us today to do a little bit of a uh, theming school. I wanted to like go over. We're gonna be going over 80k and memorize the videos. They'll all be posted in the chat uh, or in the description box. Also, check them out. Show them some su support because making these kinds of guides takes an insane amount of time and effort. Also, check out the homie Tofu for taking time out of his day. It's like fucking 10 p.m. right now for him in Singapore. I'll be honest, guys. 10 p.m. in my time, I'm fighting for my life, bro. I'm on the couch fighting against God to not pass out at 10. I'm like fucking cooked, okay, dude. So the fact that he's come to join us, I appreciate it very, very much. So check out his channel as well. I'm gonna be linking his Twitch. Uh, well, we're the plan here, guys, is there's not all gates of theming out yet because I'm pretty sure they're gonna be posting these literally until the day before, and I kind of wanted to do this on a Saturday when people could watch. Um, we're gonna be going through gates one to the beginning of gate four uh, with Tofu. He's gonna talk about what he thinks about mentally to kind of like solve mechanics, uh, what where his head's at when he's doing a mech, where his head's at to like greed mechs and stuff. So that way, theming or th how do you how are you supposed to say it? Thamine. So that way, Thamine is a quick in and out adventure. Mm -hmm. All right, there it is. Let's start this shit. Welcome to the Legion Raid Guy series featuring Theamine. This guy would not have been possible without the support of my community. They will Real. all be listed at the back of this video on the credits. With that, let's get started right away. Theamine has three gates on normal, four gates on hard. They can be entered at 1610 and 16. Okay, so what the fuck are these rewards? What, what is the little blue, blue rocks and then the little blue, like, like milk? The milk? Okay. So those milk thingies that you mm -hmm. see, you'll be using them to craft something that you use for transcendence pretty much and they're shared across all characters oh. so let's say you want to do more so the reason why this is like important is because you know when you're getting used to transcendence you're gonna be failing a lot you know unless like maybe nah, nah, we got the ai baby you watch, in na we got the fully translated ai thing dude we copy pasta into that <laughs> thing easy peasy dude uh, so the more alts you have for Thamine, the more attempts you can do on your armor pieces oh. until you get three stars on them. Shit. Well, Perk, it's looking like we're running all five of our alts this week, dude. I, th I was going to be easy peasy with it, but I think it's time we, uh, you know, listen. I think we're going to be doing a little crankington, you know what I'm saying? How hard? Okay, I in your opinion, have you done normal and hard? Have you done both difficulties? Yeah. Okay. Normal is piss easy. And I think Memorizer is completely right. You can go in there with like level 7, level 5 gems, and you'll still do enough DPS. Oh, actually, Normal it's just you just fucking melted? Yep. And Heart Mode, then it goes up a little bit. And the first is only if you want to compete. Yeah, you don't want to compete. That makes sense. How is... So I've heard that the... Like, even actually, you mentioned it, but Gate 3 is the only hard gate. How even Gate 3 in Normal is like is like extremely easy? Are the mechanics like like tough? Or is it very, very... Like much more forgiving for uh, for the group? I think they mind the only difficult part about gate three is the memory mech where you have to memorize like the red patterns and for the rest of it, it's just like any other boss in the game, you just get used to his normal patterns. They mind is very normal pattern heavy and oh, less so on mechanics. Hard. That's so hard, dude. I love that. Oh, it's gonna he's be such a good purely, raid. Yeah, he's good for people who really, really like just, you know, raw combat in general. Yeah, and okay, less... that's gonna be hype. Oh, that's gonna be so sick. Be so sick. Eight, one, and two are fairly comfortable, but three and, and four are these are mounts rare? Difficult. The chair mount and the Upon horse mount. These are, are these like rare drops dark fire. in auction, or is it always yeah. rare? Okay. Material needed to transcend your armors. Auction items in the raid are a little <clears> bit different. <throat> it's basically a token item to retry your transcend mini games. The first level oh, is yeah, where the clear it. race is held. I level six and thirty is the requirement, and you need to clear hard mold first. This is I'm curious your opinion on this. Do you find it weird that doing the hardest piece of normal mode content ever is mm -hmm. 50k gold. <laughs> it's, yeah, actually a, it's, it's actually a it's actually a fade ember, dude. <laughs> well, you know what's funny? If like during KR when everyone was still progging, I think the amount of battle items you spend just trying to learn that mode probably totals up to maybe half the value of this, or maybe more. Probably more, yeah. Like I mean, I mean at least in our region, I don't know about you guys, like but 
Like I, I bought like a thousand uh, elemental HP pots for like uh like a, like I think it was like forty k, and I bought like a thousand or twelve hundred to like to like prog with. Is there any yeah. actually? Someone in my chat I mentioned this. This is a little bit of a tip, dude. Is there any consumables that you say are worth buying? Someone had mentioned something about like needing splendid. Uh, sa sacred charms and shit. Splendid there... sacred charms, yes, that one is good. You want splendid sacred charms? Mm -hmm. oh. Um, if you're planning to go for the first difficulty, splendid health potions would help because this thing, unlike Hellbrow, right, it's like a 30, 25 minute top mm -hmm. fight, right, with no checkpoints. Oh yeah, it's like three. It, the last gate is like three gates in one, and you don't get yep. in the first difficulty. You don't actually get the refresh in hard. You do get the refresh in that new circle they give you, but you don't get. They pretty much refresh only awakenings if I'm if I'm not mistaken, right? In in uh, in the eclipse mode or whatever. Yeah. Okay, that's fucked. <laughs> it's basically hell, bro. Imagine going through hell, bro. Right, gate yeah. five to gate six, no no checkpoints. So from five to six, you can't die. And your battle items does doesn't refresh. I mean, fuck, you know what I'm saying? Just don't get hit. Your job is to live, you know what I'm saying? Your base rate <laughs> one time. Actually, one, the last thing I want to mention, actually, before we move it. forward, yep. how many spl Splendid Sacred Charms would you recommend for somebody going for hard mode or going for, like, uh, uh, the first slash Eclipse? It really only matters in Gate 4, okay. even for hard mode or the first. Usually, you might want to stock up maybe 200 or 300 because... When you're still progging, right? Splendid, splendid. Um, these charms. They mine has a lot of regular patterns that mm -hmm. does like an earthquake motion, or well, a lot of a lot of the patterns have something okay. to do with like you need to charm into a counter, and three people need to hit the counter. So if people are caught in earthquake, you don't hit the counter. He does like a oh, can, so you need to keep them kind of wipe the whole party. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Shit, boys, FOMO now. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. And these are like random patterns too. F Listen, we do we do this immediately. Okay, guys, FOMO now have fear. Buy Splendid Sacreds before they go up. Okay, dude, there's not even 200 on the auction house right now. That's oh no, there is. I can't count. There it is, boys. FOMO oh now. My God. It's already done. It's they already are done. so expensive. FOMO now. Okay, dude, guys, spend your gold now. Otherwise, it's gonna be too late. You're gonna get kept, and no one will ever love you. Okay, dude. <laughs> That is so expensive. It's what probably because fuck? people know no they they actually doubled from the last time I looked at them. I forgot to buy them. So, someone in chat mentioned that you need them. And uh did I actually buy them? Wait, hold on. It was it was kind of a meme, but I mean fuck it, we have it now. Uh I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool. And I said about like sixty gold. I'm like, oh we'll buy them later. And now they're like hundred and fifty. I mean listen, boys, right? Yeah, run Platfield. It's time to make some fucking money. You know what I'm saying? Your this video will be posted before Thamy comes out. Go make some fucking money, boys. Go life skill. Don't do it, it's fucking misery. Okay, let's keep going with the video. Let's see what we got here. Lanessa is a demon type boss with 180 HP bars with two phases. Destruction bombs and at least one person needs a dark bomb. Time stop or Adrofin slash stimulant is a choice and I will explain later. So you got, I'm covering this to camera guys, but they recommend this for more for the stream because for people on YouTube, do check out the guide and support the creators who are making this shit. But the recommended is at least one person with darks, whirlwinds, destructions are a must, and then... If you want to be a greedy goblin, you bring in your actual stims or you bring in time stops. Mm -hmm. Be utilized. I would suggest Adrofin and Stimulant for supports. She has a debuff stack called Weakened. Every time you counter or stagger, her groggy state time increases. It is noticeable at the very end. Occasionally, she focuses on a player. The target mark indicates who is focused. You can intercept this and make sure to not rotate her head too much. The eye marks also indicate who she is going to attack too. She also has a buff stack called Adrenaline. It increases every time she does a normal attack. And beyond oh, it's three just stacks, like every continuous attack is counterable. <laughs> Damn, so her Adrenaline lasts for 30 seconds? Bro, that's not even fair. You do a counter, yeah. That's she crazy. Okay, so every time you do a counter, she gets... Uh... To her attacks too. 10 bleed stacks will cause her to activate her special pattern, where she spins like crazy. She always turns 180 degrees for the counter. Estimator also fills up extremely fast. You can use up to 5 or 6 times at a given situation. Balthor will also mention that there is an interesting material when you fight her. This is obtained if you kill her adds. This stacks up to 10 and it is crucial for everyone to have at least one stack. Supports only need one while DPS should have as many as possible. If Esther Balthor is used when everyone has the stacks, boss will enter endorphin mode, a DPS check mode. 
Everyone's HP will not go below 1 for 25 seconds, and you will need to drop all of her shields down on time, or your received damage during this phase will be calculated after it's over. This is where Dark Bombs and Atrophins are optimized. Okay, wait, Cody, can you pause you real quick? Yeah, first, first, first. Go ahead. Alright, this is great. I just want to say, by this point of time in the video, I'm learning more than I have never learned. I'm just saying, I do this rate re-clear every <laughs> single week, right? This is what I mean. I know nothing about anything he's saying, by the way. I know absolutely nothing. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest, I don't think it's like in KR, I, I didn't know any of these. And she just felt like a Trixion boss. Okay, so it's pretty much like she's kind of a pushover. You just do regular mechanics. If she glows, counter, don't stand in her damage. Damage is bad. And then you just do DPS and you're just like straight up chilling, dude. <laughs> yeah, usually you, you can tell when she's gonna do the counter. You you don't exactly have to look at her adrenaline stacks. Most of the time she starts with a slash, 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 and then the fourth one you counter. Okay, that makes sense. It's a, it's an obvious pattern that you'll recognize. It's like, it's yeah. very, okay, that makes sense. Okay. I swear everything here, I have no clue these things even exist. <laughs> I had no idea she had an adrenaline stack. I just hit boss and she died. <laughs> Well, this is a good information though, if you if you are the you guys use Balthor in EU is it or in EU sorry in NKR, you Balthor tech it. Yeah, we Balthor tech. Yeah, so if, it's, it's good to know. If you know what I mean? the DPS is too fast, if the DPS is too fast, we Balthor tech because you know how like transcendence comes in. That thing takes your DPS to a whole new level. You know, let's say for example, before transcendence, I was at 25, 26 mil DPS, right? Mm -hmm. After transcendence, I'm at thirty one. Really? That's a that's a massive increase. Yeah, that's fucking but, huge. Are you completed your transcendences? Like, are you full trans transcendence yeah, on your main? Completely transcended. You go from 25, 26 to 31 mil. It's pretty big. And boys, that's Trixie numbers, right? That's not That's not even like once you're like buffed up and like you're under like the effects of like, that's huge. That's yeah, insane. You, you got to bear in mind, support is also getting stronger with transcendence. Oh, so yeah. So they're also in, amplifying you even more than before. Yeah, you're getting Damn. massive buffs. Damn. Yo, that's gonna be kind of hype, dude. Yo, I'm so excited to have fucking a bunch of characters doing this. Yo, how's it, is it, how does Transcendence feel on the gold, though? Like, is it is it Disparage, or, like, does it not I feel too bad? I would say when you're first learning it, it does suck, but after a while, it's okay. Okay, no, the, okay so you gotta think of it this way, right? Mm -hmm. I think Transcendence is a fun system. It's just that the goal going down doesn't feel fun. So let mm -hmm. me put it this way, right? It's like playing Candy Crush, right? Kind of fun. Just that Candy Crush doesn't eat your money. This game, you <laughs> yeah. can start with, like, 300k, right? Yeah. Oh. Okay, by the end of Transcendence, why do I suddenly have 100k left? <laughs> Holy shit, okay. So it's gonna be, this is gonna be like a massive leech on your, on your gold for a while. Would you, do you like it better than Elixirs? Easily better than Elixirs, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 Elixirs fucking suck. Do you That's like it? No, I don't like it. And what about for like the alts, for people who have 16, 10 alts, is the Elixir, because the Elixirs get capped for, for alts, right? You can't get all the way. Is it still like a pretty yeah. big power boost for them as well? Because I don't know, sometimes they make systems where like it scales heavier in the, you know what I mean? Like in, in the higher end, like it doesn't scale mm -hmm. linear. It scales like early oh, on, it's not as much. And then like later yes, on, it's yes. a bunch stronger. Exactly like that. So okay. let, me, let me give you an example, right? On the pants, I think, or was it top? I think it was pants. Basically, Transcendence has something on the pants, like a very small effect. Well, mm -hmm. not small, it's pretty big. It starts off with 10 seconds, gives you some weapon power, I believe. Okay. Every 30 seconds, okay? And the effect is like when you hit the boss. So every 30 seconds, you get it for 10 seconds. Okay. But that's the early phase, right? And once you get halfway through, I think it was at 10 set or 15 set. Okay. That's when you're almost at the final, the, the finish line, right? Mm -hmm. It becomes 18 seconds out of 30. But the problem ah, with this is anything you attack will trigger that, right? Anything you attack will trigger that. But the moment you go into 30s, uh, I mean, the moment you go into 20 set, which is the last one at Transcendence 7 for every for all your pieces and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. It becomes permanent. Anything you hit will refresh the, the buff. Okay, it becomes, it becomes an adrenaline almost, right? So, okay, yeah. so it's just on. Okay, so you don't, there's no longer like a punishment or a downtime on the buff. It's just yep, on, which makes no it insanely enough. busted. Okay, I see. Okay, that makes sense. Are they changing it, by the way? Is I don't know this is for chat as well, because you guys keep, keep up to date with the stuff. Are they changing it where you have to do hard mode G3 on that character to, like, get it all the way? Or are they, are they unlocking it now? Because I remember they changed something where they're making it a bit easier, where, like, it kind of unlocks or some shit, and everyone... Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, get it I, I know what you mean, yeah. Before, it, it used to be... You can't even do Transcendence Tree if you haven't cleared um, Heart, I think. And okay. then you need to do... You need to beat Stay Mind Gate 4 
to go past Transcendence 4 or something. That was in the past. Now, I think um... you just have to beat, like, Gate 3, and then you can go past, like, Trans 6 or something. It was a very, very... They made it very lenient now. Okay, And it's okay, because so it's they separated be... Heart Mode and the first two. Oh, uh, okay, I see. So now it's... it's there probably still be, there still is a, a cap for 1610 characters, but they're able to get a lot further into Transcendence than before, if I'm understanding this correctly. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's pretty nice. I mean, I fuck with that. It's I, I'm not a... gate kept as hard as before yeah. anymore. Okay, that's kind of nice. I fuck with that. That was a mistranslation, mm -hmm. I thought. Hey, boys, listen. We have to have some spoilers in the West, you know what I'm saying? So everyone is becoming Lazumar. Bro, I was just thinking the same thing. We're all just going to become fucking Death Blow Strikers standing next to the boss, not doing any second damage. <laughs> they, they, they were smoking uh... something. Like, when this thing first released... And then people were saying that you need to clear gate four to get it done. That that's crazy. Yeah, that is kind of nuts. I mean, it's like with it, a lot of systems, cool. but yeah, it's it that, that does kind of it. It's kind of weird in Korea too, because in NA it makes a little more sense because everyone like doesn't shower in our region, but bro, Korea has like literal stronghold enjoyers. You know what I mean? Like, just people, like there's like moms and dads who play the game and shit, bro. Like you know what I mean? And they can't progress without it. Like it's just part of the core progression of your character. So. But it's nice that they're actually like making it like more leaning and stuff. A certain point, there will be ghosts following you. The red moon icon will slowly fill up as you are near the ghosts. If it fills all the way up, you will get mind controlled. At one point, where's the meter? Bars, what gets filled up? Your what gets filled up? Am I crazy? Mind controlled. Wait, wait again? At one. It's so you said there's ghosts following you. Wait. Fill up as you are near the. Ghosts. Low HP will spawn ghosts. Eclipse bar fills up near ghosts. Mind controlled if full. Stay away for 10 seconds, icon buff bar. If it fills all the way up, you will get mind control. Oh, I see. Okay, you have to just use your debuff. Bars, there will be a dialogue and she will teleport to the center. Split up, dodge the tentacles, and throw a destruction bomb oh, yeah, to destroy this is the easy. fragments. You just run all the, the way up, destroy, don't get hit by the tentacles, more stagger damage, do X3, take north, for the stagger check. Whichever Afterwards, the there is a time first. pattern when your game and clock reaches you around bomb. 8 minutes. Okay, your that's pretty easy. will get bigger, then she'll dash to grab someone and then fire cone-shaped tentacles to grab, too. If she grabs nobody, she will I realize he's putting all those things where my camera is. I'm going to move down here. But if she grabs someone, she will keep doing this until this she misses. This is a full-on DPS pattern. Full-on DPS pattern. Don't, don't be a pussy. Just keep hitting the boss and dodge the cones, okay? Just full-on DPS. You know, don't atro, but like just full-on DPS. Don't give a fuck. Just try to dodge her, jumping at you, eating you, and like grabbing. If she somehow grabs everybody, skill issue, go next. Uh, reset real quick. <laughs> Actually, real. Tentacles out to counter. If you miss this counter, it's near death. Okay, yeah, this is normal. okay. Even if people get it's grabbed, you just counter and you're bar. chilling. Until okay. 100 bars, every time you yep. counter or stagger her, pay attention to your character. Okay, but the telegraphs are you will huge. Have a spike symbol under your feet. Next pattern, the mark player will get beamed and it will have a large explosion. It is crucial to kite this attack to the crack. Okay, so he was on Gunslinger, he was on the floor without spacebar, and he still had time to get up and not die to this mechanic. Look at this. And it will have a large explosion. Okay, chilling. Go, it go is back, crucial go to kite this attack. Like maybe go back 20 seconds-ish. 20 seconds-ish, so like yeah. around here? Thing to keep in mind. Yeah, yeah, this this mech. This mech is... This oh, is the grab? Like, this is the, the counter? Instant death on hard. Until so, bars. you know how people cheese with Balthor, but you see how they counter this part, right? Just play this video. Oh, yeah, Every time you counter or stagger her, pay attention to your character. You will have a. You see how someone has that mark, right? Yeah. So this is what I mean by in KR people using Baltor. We have to because sometimes they do too much damage and then we Baltor, right? But if you, usually mm. for like you know on front groups or like without the transcendence and stuff, you have enough time. You need two of those stacks. See that little circle, that little onion ring. Oh yeah, yeah. Can right? you need two people with it? You need the first one, right? You see how there's like these little craters on the map. On the top left, near the surrender button, right? Remake button. Mm -hmm. There's this yeah. Little oh yeah, little, there's right? rocks up here. Yeah. Yeah. You try to ping which spot you want to put it in. So you need two mm. of that. She's gonna shoot it once here, and then after that, another time again. Like when you, I think. Okay, so you have to like kind of rebuild the arena essentially. Like she she breaks it, and you have to like make that space. Like I guess you can't walk over that, right? So you you do you once you drag if it you over it two, If you shoot two times, right, into mm -hmm. the same spot, you don't have the bow door. Oh, uh, okay, I see. I guess you, but if it's you only once, you still have the belt door. Okay. A spike symbol under your feet. Next pattern, the mark player will get beamed, and it will have a large explosion. Okay. It is crucial to All these explosions are the clickbait. It looks like they 
It, it looks like they stack. It looks like they stack, and they're gonna do a fuck ton of DPS. Yeah. But they just hit you once. That's clickbait. Oh really? Okay, you can't even you can't even blow up from it. And boys, it's coming from yeah, sharpshooter, you, you, you man. Sharpshooters, ex sharpshooters actually explode to any damage, dude. So this shit's gonna be easy if you play any class that's not. Like squishy. literally, <laughs> only one can hit you straight up. Like it, oh, a lot of your attacks are. Bro, you chilling? Bro, let me just bitch a pushover. Around the map, they are placed in a triangular formation around the outer rings of the map. If you land this attack okay, to the cracks yes, like... correctly, you will see red cracks and uh, debris this pattern, around it. Laurel pattern. You will need to do this at I least twice the on the same with... spot. Yeah. Okay, wait, never mind. Oh, go, go, in go. order for the he, next he, mechanic he's to like succeed, going... around 100 lines, she will teleport to the center again, and the cracks around the map will explode. Make sure to avoid the explosion. See how they shoot it two it's times? It's gonna end up like If you that. have landed the attacks big, properly, big, big, the big Mickey Mouse, insane Mickey Mouse battle. Big enough to launch the boss up in the air. The okay, wait, so if I'm understanding this correctly, the two people that have the onion, yeah, those are the ones Should that end up becoming smaller ball. smaller explosions, right? And so the reason why you have to no, get no, two... No, 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 no. No? It will always be... You see how there's three on the map? Yeah. There's always going to be three exploding. But if you shoot even one into a single hole, right, it explodes a big Mickey Mouse egg on the left like now, you see. Okay. But you need two in order to pass this mech. Okay, that's you need I'm... two people to shoot into the same spot. Okay, yeah. it's two people and into the same spot. Big. Yeah. Oh, because it has to be big. You need this thing to be big. So the ones that you're you're gassing up is the one that ends up becoming the big Mickey Mouse bat, or the, the head of the, uh, the head of the mouse. You need two to pass the mech, but even if you shoot one in, right? Let's say mm -hmm. you shoot one in and you do too much DPS, right? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a big Mickey Mouse, but you only shot one in, so it's not enough. You need two. Okay. Okay. Unless I'm gonna keep playing it to see what happens after. Attacks on the cracks twice. You must use Esther Balthor. This means that you pass the mech. The timing is when the boss is dialogue. If you didn't Mickey Mouse in, then you have to do Balthor like here. Oh, I see. When this is done, she will drop two tentacles, following up with a blue pizza explosion. Circle explosion will also be under your feet. Dodge first, then group up in pairs of two. Then each player needs to throw one destruction bomb to activate the tentacles to bring you up into the air. And when you're doing this, make sure you stand inside a yellow circle. Okay, so you, you get up in pairs of two Normal to get Normal has five total, hard has four. My oh, no, advice is always dodge yeah, the you, you get, pizza um, shaped explosion You get first two the first time and two the other time. So usually you try to group up like, you know, in groups of two. Okay, that makes and sense. Then you have go plenty of time to group up and you get can, up like, to throw a destruction bomb At 55 bars, to make it like a super easy mech, or you can just uh, throw destruction skills. Hardbone has different types of yeah. bars, though. Let me, let me pause it. Okay, so you're just... And it doesn't matter if there's one, because even in the video here, there's one off to the side. You see this one down here? Like the one on, on, yeah. all the to the right? You don't have to get them all, so as long as everyone gets sucked up, oh, no, that's all that matters. Oh, no, you do have to get them all. Oh, just really? Someone missed oh, okay, someone fucked it up. Okay. <laughs> She up, shoots two every safety. round, so one, two, and then another two. Okay. And why are you getting kidnapped here? Like, why do you want to get kidnapped? Oh, because she wipes the arena. Oh, okay. She, well, she's holding bars, it. Okay, that makes sense. She will do an identical mechanic from 144 bars. Hardbone has different types of orbs, though. It is crucial to not destroy the raspberry-shaped orbs. Destroying two will cause an automatic wipe. Destroying one will decrease everyone's stagger by 100% for 15 seconds. If one has happened to be destroyed by accident, it is not the end of the world. Patiently wait and destroy stagger when all the debuffs are gone. After the cutscene, yeah. the stage will true, change true. and the eyeball symbols from the ground will slowly chase you. Stepping on them will activate its bite attack and if you get hit by this, your HP will be dropped to the lowest point. Make sure okay, to so step to on them hit. on purpose to eyeballs. clean them up and not mm -hmm. hinder this your This looks like the eyeballs from Fulman Alchemist. At 35 to 34 bars. All eyeballs oh, yeah, they hurt as much as the eyeballs the from that anime too. The <laughs> and then the map-wide explosion happened, except it's for the safe spot indicated I just by the you. Eyeballs. Boss will also do three stabbing moves during this, trying to kick you out of the safe spot. Dodge and stay inside the safety circle. There are five ticks to the explosion, and each tick will provide a debuff where you take 50% additional damage. Most raid parties use Esther Balthor to force activate Endorphin Face to completely skip this. After we said this, I'm going to be honest, I, I lost track of what's happening here. After we said this, man, wait, hold on. <laughs> I just like, I don't know if it's like I spaced, but I'm like, bro, what the fuck is happening here? Symbols from the ground will slowly chase you. Stepping on them will activate its bite attack, okay, and if around. you get hit by this, your HP will be dropped to the lowest point. Make sure to step on them on purpose to clean them up and not hinder your battle space. At okay, so you actually are trying to evade them. Bars. I assume support does that? Like, this, is it like kind of support's job to like run around, or does everyone yeah. kind of do their part? So support can do it. Yeah. Support can do it, okay. Stop 
and look in a direction for eight seconds on the map. And then the map wide explosion happens. These eyeballs, safe... these ones are different. When you go over them, they don't trigger the fucking bite. And oh. where they're looking at, right? Yeah. It's kind of telling you where the safe spot is going to be. But usually, this is when you do Baltor cheese again. Oh, this is when, I see. Okay, this but is when you do Baltor to ignore the damage and then you force the boss into the mech and you start DPSing her down. From okay, the I see. And you'll always but have you Baltor for this? Not, uh, if you don't have it up, you mm -hmm. gotta go to the safe spot. Okay. Which is how, like, you, you have to make a guess, right? You have to make a guess. Like, you look at where all the eyeballs are going, and then you have to make a guess where it's at. Okay, and so you have to kind of like line line it up like where everything's gonna be. I mean, this doesn't seem too bad, but maybe because there's like there's like arrows pointing to it. Let me see if I can like see it, how easy it is if there's nothing there. Stop. So you have you have I, you know that these eyes are pointing at something. In a direction for eight seconds. Of yep. In the map. Yo, this actually is kind of awkward without without having like a thing up. This is like so you'd, you'd be like here, here, here. I guess like you have to like. Yeah, it looks like it's on top, map right? Wide explosion yeah, yeah. See, where it looks like he's it's where he's standing. Except for the safe spot. <laughs> Wait, but it's not. Wait, I'd be dead, right? He he would you would die here, right? It would be the explosion happens in waves, right? It, ex it happens in waves. So even if you get hit by one or two, if you space bar in in time, you probably won't die to the remaining tick. Oh, okay. So if you get close, you can also kind of like eat one, but space bar in. Indicated by mm -hmm. the eyeballs. Okay. Boss will also do three stabbing moves during this, trying to kick you out of the safe spot. Dodge and stay inside the safety circle. There are five ticks to the explosion. And each tick will provide a debuff where you take 50% additional damage. Most raid parties use Esther Balthor to force activate Endorphin Phase to completely skip this. But if you ignore the explosion, you will still take the debuff stacks. Raid leader can use Balthor around 38 bars or During when this the time, you know, you don't starts. have the potion up or anything. This, this is like a completely normal mech when you trigger Balthor. You're supposed to stack up like 10 times of like the blood clots too. Mm -hmm. And then you just full send it there. You just full DPS and she should go to the eyeball mech. Which is the next part. Okay, so you kind of like skip it essentially by balthoring it? Yeah, the balthor, balthor gives you like a massive damage phase. Okay, so yep. you just keep balthoring. BIS. <laughs> balthor is BIS there. On hard mode, there will be one more mechanic where the map will zoom out and black hole will spawn. The boss will try grab mech again. That looks so much ball, faster. With don't two be in middle, right? Just stay Arms around, around the, the edges corners. will try to hurt you okay, as well. Okay, it's just, just and you will need to survive until is there hands coming in. Gonna, Same rules apply to the, the hands are gonna be like um, these hands occasionally try and kill you by slamming down a circle like inside outside safe sort of thing, mm -hmm. and the boss will also be trying to grab you. You want to try and dodge the boss while also like dodging the hands, like you know outside safe inside safe. So Okay, it's yeah, pretty tricky. Safe zone. I get what you mean. Yeah, most that of the time, of right? The sometimes um, there's pretty rare occasions where everyone gets grabbed. That means rate wipe. Everyone's okay. there. So you don't want to get grabbed by the boss. You want at least one person to counter the boss after this. If does every if you get if let's say there's only one person who counters and the other seven get grabbed, is it or did they die or is it that frees everybody? No, it's kind of like a... it, it saves everyone. Okay, okay. It's so only just... if everybody gets grabbed or if the counter misses, then goodbye. Okay. All right. That's actually not too bad. Let's see what it looks like. It's over. Just keep in mind that she will dash twice this time. When everything is over, you will just need to drop her HP to zero. Now, let's go over some regular... Wait, I think I missed it. So I guess you're... Okay, so you didn't show what the hands look like, but the hands are like... On hard mode, there will be one more mechanic. Yeah, so are the, the hands... I don't, show I don't think he shows what spawn. it's actually like the during this map. Grab um, okay. Again, but she's much faster. It looks like it's an easy map. It looks easy. Yeah, it looks, looks easy. Well. easy. Okay. But I'm telling you, these hands actually try to murder you, okay? <laughs> these hands can straight up one-shot you. And maybe not in normal mode, but in hard mode, these things do like 100k, 180k or something per slap. And then... The boss is just dashing around the battlefield, okay? Mm -hmm. Like she's on she's on atrophins or something, you know? Like she's just <laughs> zipping around. You don't really see it, but okay. she's actually just zipping around a couple of times trying to eat everyone. Okay. So and she got to dodge her, too. and then also the hands are doing like a, a pattern where let's say inside yeah. is, is bad and then outside is bad. So you have to like swap between the safe zones while also yeah. dodging her, and you're getting sucked into the center at the same time? Yeah, but after okay. a while, the center will close. Okay, all right. And then at the end, she does the counter. And then at the end, she does the counter pattern. This is finished. Mm -hmm. Same rules apply to the... Oh, you see how she's... Oh, yeah, really she zoomed. Yeah, yeah, I see that. She, like, flew by there. Okay, she fucking zoomed. Holy shit. 
Bro, she's flying. What the fuck? Until it's good finished. to look at the mini map. Same rules apply to like, the grab oh. mechanic when the black. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So you can track where the boss is moving and shit. Twice this time. Yeah. Okay, and then she does the backup, over, and then you have to counter her there, and then you pick up your bloods again. Now, it seems like the bloods is something that like you're just gonna naturally pick them up, I guess, right? Because you're just popping them as you're doing damage. Like you're, you're as you're killing them, they're just like popping, and you're just like you're getting them. Usually you only bot Thor once, so let's just say at the very start of the fight, right? Mm -hmm. uh, from the start, so, okay, put it in a TLDR manner, right? I swear, it, like this rate is super easy to simplify, right? One minute video dot. You just have to pick up bloods, right? From the okay. beginning of the fight. Once you get 10, you bow Thor during the eyeball safe mech, done, easy, boom, kill boss. Dodge <laughs> the hands and counter her. <laughs> GG, gate one is done. Okay. <laughs> Sing simulator. Straight up. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that makes sense. Generally, we'll go over the patterns and we'll go into the next gate. Patterns do not hurt a lot and have a clear red warning signs. As mentioned in the beginning, 10 stacks of bleed will stun Wait, that did for nothing. 10 seconds. What the fuck? If anybody in the team reaches 10 stacks, she will proceed to spin over and over and over in a series of rings. This pattern will repeat indefinitely unless she is countered. Again, she will always rotate where she is facing. So stay behind her to get ready for the counter. This will happen very often towards the end. Lurker, if you see a red Venn diagram, she will dash backwards and proceed to spawn thorns under your feet. This actually kills a lot of people. Make sure to focus on dodging true, this. Grabbing true, counter. This if the Venn diagram is blue, it's she deadly. will grab players near her and always proceed to and counter. That's counter. Timing okay. is shorter when someone is grabbed. Oh no, 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 no. Grab. Th these are she different patterns now. And shoot yellow warning signs on the back. If anybody is grabbed, she follows up with explosions everywhere. Other patterns like kick attacks okay, wait, can, and can force swipes have clear. Can you go back to lurker? Can you go back to lurker? Lurker, that yeah, one's of course, of course. That is the old, one of the only deadly patterns in this whole thing. So, That's right here. This okay. starts with the two okay, rings. So you see you, two big rings, right? Two yeah. big red rings. And then after that, she will step back, right? And she goes, she just sticks her hand into the ground, you know? You'll play while you, while it's kind of yeah. like how the, it's kind of like how the, you know, the peacock or like the flamingo put the head in the ground. Just like <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, there. Around. She puts her hands in the ground and then you have to take the fuck away, right? Yeah. So the best way, the best way to remember this pattern in your static, right? 100% effective, right? Whenever mm. this pattern happens, whoever dies the most to this, you call that pattern his name. <laughs> I swear the whole group and you will remember it. 100%. <laughs> I mean, it seems like a pretty easy pattern. Do you have to like dodge it? Is it following you? Let me see how this looks. Okay, yeah, you just yeah, get so the fuck it's out. Very okay, yeah. It's very simple to dodge. But yeah. if it grabs you, right, you're probably dead and whoever dies the most, you just call it that pattern, that, that guy's name, uh, from now on. <laughs> Boys, I've been telling you this, negative reinforcement is always positive. You know what I mean? It actually helps people get better. And this thing, the back grab, does this, does this even matter? Like, is this like a big thing? Uh, this one? No. If anybody this is grabbed, like very... she follows up with explosions. Oh, okay, if she does Other grab somebody, like you just get spit and out, and then have clear red warning signs, um, and around her, she knocks damage. people down, and those balls come come down from the sky. Okay. okay. If no one gets grabbed, it's like she doesn't really do anything. Okay, so it's On not too bad. Mode, she sometimes I mean, back to starting to get eaten by that a lot at the beginning. Cool to a random player. You will just need to place the super simple. You just put it at the side. Some patterns in G1 appear very rarely, but some do kill or white parties too. Spirit okay, this one also clickbait. Also omega clickbait. Okay, <laughs> see all those red things? They don't stack on you or whatever. Also omega <laughs> clickbait. Okay, this is not that bad. <laughs> okay, let's see, what, let's see what it looks like at the beginning again. Let's go over this. Okay, so she slams. Looks, yeah, and then all the reds come out. It looks like everything is going to stack on you and like one-shot you or something. But omega clickbait, like it only hits you once or something. Okay, so it's not, it's not that bad. It, it just looks very scary. Like pop, 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 pop everywhere. And why does she have an arrow on no, her? Look. She has a little crosshair. This gunslinger took 27k damage. <laughs> That's true, actually. <laughs> Omega <laughs> clickbait pattern. <laughs> and then why does she have an arrow on her when she was doing it? Is this part of the animation that she has like a, a giant like crosshair on her when she's doing it? Kill or white parties too? A giant Spirit. crosshair? Yeah, look, she has a giant crosshair oh, on her. Um... Does that mean anything? Not, not really, no. No, okay, just part of the point. She changes now her she hand pulls, to spear. Okay, she always attacks form, okay, yeah. forward. This one is scary, grab, right? This kills spear form, squishy character. Uh, okay, a spear form kind of spooky. Pretty scary, yeah. Yeah. How do you, that is just dodge? You just get the fuck away from her while she's doing it? Yeah, you try to dodge, okay. ideally. But most, I think most, um, all of her forms right, are destruction or either stagger based. I think there's this base. Like whether she goes into the, you know, venom eating mode 
and yet she starts eating people in a cone, or she starts slicing people with this, like, uh, spears on her arm. You just have to do destruction, I think. Throw destruction spells. Or, oh, like, actually, okay, so you're just, you're just throwing destruction spells while she's doing, like, while she's zooming? Spears. She always... Yeah, or you don't even have to hit at all. You can just wait this pattern. Okay, just because she does two slashes, so you just respect it for forward. a second. She does a if second one. Get grabbed, you just have this to wait, chill a bit. And oh, that's it. Okay, so it's just two. Sometimes okay. she changes her hand to either hammer, spear, or And she can do stuff like swords. that. Yeah, she, has she will like a do a series bunch of, of patterns for much. a long period of time. These things, the spear you just one, she thought. completely disappears. This but is if you are a gamer, this act if okay. you are a gamer okay. and you want to greet patterns, you can try to go and DPS her while she's slicing. Oh, but, like you could like get like there's a nice little back attack like right over here on the right side or on the top right. The yeah, if you're crazy enough, you can go and try hit the boss swords. during this. She will pattern. do series of patterns for uh, a long period. Of if time. you die though, your party <laughs> members are probably gonna call you. Uh, they're probably gonna call this gimmick after your name. <laughs> I'm just saying. For our group's gonna die. The into all eight of us are gonna be on top. Right there. <laughs> Yeah, like, you know her step back pattern, right? The one that she shoots the fucking things into the ground and then she one-shots the guy. That's, we call it Legalia at that time. <laughs> that, was, that was the best way to make him recognize that the pattern was coming. You know? <laughs> That's a classic, dude. <laughs> Boys, I'm telling you. See, and how quickly did after you started calling it Legalia, how quickly did he did he figure it out? Was there any more deaths after that, or was it like done perfectly every time? Uh, after the that? first time he kind of did die, though. He's just oh, like, what, what, and then he <laughs> But after that, pretty good. It, it was pretty good. Yeah, pretty smooth, pretty smooth. Exactly. The first, you you got you got to teach the homies. I mean, you got to teach the boys. The spear one, she completely disappears and creates this is just dodge. Of circles. This, this one is dodge, but yeah, the, the little so balls sure and stuff do hurt. Oh, yeah, she does a lot of damage. Okay, could you t could you TS this mm -hmm. if you if you want to? Yeah, you can TS this if you want. But it might fuck you. Too. Do you stay? Is it, I guess it's better, it's better to stay on the edge a bit, or is it better to like kind of yeah. run through the center? It's better to stay on the edge. Okay. Most of the patterns that are like her special weapons that are like these, mm -hmm. they usually hurt a lot. Okay. So it's right. it's better to dodge, unless you're like really confident. You know, you want to go in there and start fucking hitting MVP me right then. Yeah. If not, GG. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so respect the patterns, boys. Respect the patterns. No one's gonna respect it, but respect the patterns. If you I mean, this one you can't. You just have to, right? Support oh, shit, awakening is a good idea. Too, okay, this one case. is not clickbait. Reflect. That red one, painful. Oh yeah, that shit fucks you up. <laughs> yeah, this 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 red one though is a result from her grabbing someone and spitting balls out. This one is clickbait. Okay, so this one's clickbait, and this only happens if she grabs somebody. When she wraps her yeah, tail if she grabs somebody her, with her hair, pattern. and then she starts throwing people. But this one is reflect, the one that, uh, okay, so... Are you talking about the, re the previous one? You're talking about this one here. She, this is if she get somebody? No, no, no. Uh, wait, play it again? So the, the little whirlwinds? In this case, reflect. When she wraps this specific one, her. right, where it's like red things on the floor exploding, that was because she grabbed someone and spit someone up. Okay. All the, okay, okay, at the beginning, okay, I understand. Yeah. It's just a pattern that happened before what he's talking about. Okay, I get what you mean. That, yeah, that, what was, what yeah okay, that makes mm -hmm. sense, that makes sense. This is her reflect pattern. Okay, so when she puts the tail in front, it's reflect. It, she will either jump in yeah. the air this thing, or follow the Try not to hit. That you need to if dodge. you hit it, but if you this one, it, this is how the mech is supposed to play out. Like exactly like that. Like that. That was how the mech was supposed to play out. Like she just she starts slash spinning around, degrees, you know, in a very large area. It, it, it's supposed. Most this is when you people. hit it, right? Ah. And if there's no like DR or whatever, someone can get like one hit from like you know 200k. So you, you, it's no supposed DR. to be like this. And what you dodge this? So this is just yeah. like, you just get go into the safe spots? The air for a follow-up uh, spinning this one's like, you know, you... Oh, it's again. like fucking Brel, G, it's like a Hellbrel G5, like sort of like where it just, it just does it in dodge. order. But okay, if so you just walk with it, it, she will okay. slash 360 degrees in a very large area, killing that fucks most you up. Okay. species people. Even that though one this is a very is rare pattern. If you trigger the reflect, that okay. one might kill you if there's like no shield, no DR or something like that. Is it lenient to reflect? Like, if somebody hits it once, is it Jover? Or is it like, uh, like, yeah, does, is it like the second anyone does any damage, you're fucking like she's activating? Or does it take like a couple hits? That is a good question. Because Smaugate is so shitty at designing these patterns, I have no clue too. Because it sometimes, right? It <laughs> yeah, can sometimes come out, it like... triggers. It's like staggers, right? Sometimes it triggers and then sometimes it doesn't, like in Clown G2 no, or whatever. You, you can do like 10 runs, right? You can do like 15 or 10 runs, mm -hmm. and all 15 runs will appear. But in some other group, they can do 15 runs and you don't even see it. Really? It's one of those random patterns you don't even know why like exist in the game. And then when it <laughs> happens, you're just like, oh, okay. 
She's is it damage or stagger damage? It's it's da it's just damage, right? It's just a, it's a, just a re damage reflect. Good question. This the ATK say it in a guy because I have no clue too. He said it's just Every a reflect. Let's, let's go over it. Let's go over it and we'll see what he says. That you need mm -hmm. to dodge. So not... But if you activate it, she will slash through. It does lethal damage. Okay. 360 degrees in a very large area. He just said area, if you activate it, killing most squishy people. Even though this is a very rare pattern, it does wipe a lot of. Uh, there's an easy way to tell. Is there times where you hit it and it didn't it didn't activate? Oh yeah, I sniped that John one time. She was too fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably stagger damage then. If if it's if it's if sometimes people hit it and it doesn't activate, it's more than likely a stagger. It's probably not just activated by damage. I could be wrong. Do you take damage back when you do damage to her? Mm -hmm. Oh, you do as well? You it, in a sense, like she just it's kind of like, you know, Vulcan's, um, you know, when you trigger the reflect, like, when yeah, you, okay. So that one, it, that one, that one is it, it's similar to all of those gates, you know, like okay. the gate for Brel where the cube has like this reflecting. Yeah. The two beams. Like it, okay. Similar. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it, it, it's, it's probably a stagger pattern is what it sounds like. It's sounding it, like it activates by stagger. stagger yeah. yeah. It's just that it's a retaliate happens not a... very fast, like really very fast. She yeah. So like she just like pulls up the, the tail. Shell. Like, yeah, she pulls up the tail like quick. Where's the shit? Let's see if we get the first part. She pulls this shit up like real quick. This but is the yeah, she pulls it she very either, fast. When she wraps her tail, I see like that. And yeah, then like that. It's, that's it. Like, she's in it immediately. That's fucking nuts, dude. This is her reflex pattern. If you don't activate it, she will either jump in the air for a follow-up spinning attacks that you need to it's dodge. It's very, but very fast. But if you fast. activate it, she will slash 360 degrees. See how fast in a that very is? Large yeah, that shit's fast. Killing then, then. most squishy people. Even though this is a very rare pattern, it does wipe a lot of parts. I know all of them. Look, it looks like it doesn't do much damage in that video, but usually it won't they have supports who are also like DRing it like they know right away to like start throwing up shields and shit like they also have people who like supports who are used to dealing yeah. with the pattern and as the well thing right is, transcendence has damage reduction on it too once you come oh oh shit that's and pretty good most, most of these people right most of these people also have echidna gearing on top of they mine now oh yeah so, that's true so it's even more item level on top it, of like right? yeah 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 so when you think about it people that were doing they mine in the past was 1630 1640 ish but Transcendence hasn't kicked in yet. Echidna gearing hasn't kicked in yet. Most people that are doing Thame right now, they're 1650, maybe 1660. Mm -hmm. Still rarely some, you know, 1640s and stuff. Poor, poor bastards like me, right? Farming cottons. But mm. um, usually, you, even I don't get one shot anymore. I just send my snipe. I don't care. Buffy <laughs> dies, not my snipe. Okay, so it's also kind of sometimes in the in the video it might be like um, visually a bit weird because it's like we're just so fucking strong now, or you guys are just so fucking strong yeah. at this point. That okay, makes we, sense. We, we, they, they really have uh, we we really have like a lot of like eye levels and uh, stuff stacked up now. Yeah, and I mean, if transcend is also giving DR, that's fucking huge. Like that's insane. You know what I mean? I just that, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest. I was thinking the same thing, bro. This looks like it's support's fault. You know what I'm saying, boys? As somebody who played support for an hour yesterday. I'm gonna be honest, guys. They're lying to you. Very easy. Always blame them. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Please support. Don't leave my stream. Please. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I was just kidding. It was just a joke. It was just a joke. Support. <laughs> DR and shields can be really good. good. Shadow. I am. There will be a single blue circle. Then I tell. I always target. tell people to play support. You will need to stand behind. Okay. The friend this pattern who is makes no sense. Just keep watching, right? Makes no sense. Okay. Completely circle. cancerous she pattern. I don't know the why they designed this. Another random Grab pattern. Grab the She will dash and Wait. Well, what the fuck happened? I don't get it. After the. You will need to stand behind the friend. It says sometimes unlucky. That's it. That's the that's the that's the, the tooltip. It says sometimes unlucky. And who is nearest? This is like to... is it a Medusa? Okay, this is like equi... this is the equivalent, right? This is the equivalent of Brel Gate Four. Okay. Throwing shunder, throwing the three shandy balls and sending you to the other dimension. This <laughs> okay, is the yeah. exact equivalent. <laughs> Absolutely tragic, insanely <laughs> garbage mechanic design that makes zero sense. Most of the time, the group won't group up like this. Everybody will just be standing around in circles. But in mm -hmm. this case, right, amazing group work, right? I guess they all stand. So they just stand beside. You, you see how, like, everyone's in the oh, line, Oh, right? yeah, okay. Someone in chat said this. It's like a con lantern, but you have to stand behind your friends. So you, whoever's yeah. in front gets grabbed, essentially. Mm -hmm. And then she'll dash to the back of them. Like, one random part, uh, target, she'll dash to the back, and you can counter her. Oh, so, and I'm assuming if you but don't counter, you don't, whoever she grabs dies. Don't counter, right? mm -hmm. Most of the time, they live. Okay. Most of the time they will leave. Most of the time. Even before all the, the power upgrades? 
Yeah, even okay. before the power gets, most of the time they live. Unless, you know, something bad happens, then all good, reset. Oh yeah, just you see the they... shadow. That's crazy. It's not even the person in the front. It just picked the fucking gunslinger in the middle. That's crazy. You actually see it here. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me play it again here, guys. So she does shadow. They all line up. All right. And then you see the shadow appear here and on whoever the fuck it was here. She dashes. Oh, yeah, they got trapped. I see. Oh, they're literally... Okay, they're literally trapped. And then you have to land the counter there. Holy shit, dude. Yep. If you don't land the counter, she dashes through them and then pop, pop, pop. And this is Maybe just a pattern. This just happens. You're just killing the boss and she just does this. Okay, let's see what the buildup is to it. I'm curious if I could see it here. Okay, she's just doing that. Okay, you know. Okay, I see. The second you see her fucking go into... I'm taking a shit phase. Like, she crouches in like yeah, that and the blue ring. Circle like that. If you stay right. in the middle there, what happens, by the way? Does that blue ring fuck you up or... Oh, you just get trapped. Oh, it's an instant trap, no matter what. Okay, so yeah, it's just an instant trap. Like you see how these players are trapped now. Yeah. But if okay. you stay in the in the blue, you get trapped. Okay. Okay. It's really not a bad mech. It's really not a bad mech. It's just unlucky. Uh, yeah, like like this. You know, like the way ATK describes it. It's just unlucky. Stupid pattern. Should I should I exist? Delete. Just like that shiny mech from Brown Game. <laughs> <laughs> Someone. There will be a stagger check, but failing this has no penalty. For blue line version, make sure to dodge the lines first. What is this? First, Sorry, the beginning here. But so this is. is grab the first stagger. Oh, this just she will a, dash this and just grab a stagger someone. check. There will be a stagger okay. check. Okay. How does like a con? You just see, no just grabs penalty. and stagger. Okay. For blue line version, yep, make sure to dodge stagger, the lines first, then the stagger. It, when you're in this situation, you have to stagger after, twice. After stagger it once, then the blue lines will come up once, twice, and then you stagger again. Very easy pattern. Okay, all right. After 55 bars. Is Instant this like a, you hold, you, can you like greed, like hold skills a little bit? Or is the stagger kind of tight, like you're sending all your shit for this? Oh, you can send everything. There's no DR during this. Oh, stagger, there's no DR. Bro, yeah, that's... Yeah, there's no DR. Bro, that's, so a, a that's an uptime pattern. mechanic yeah, yeah, yeah. for supports, boys. Get in there. You know what I'm saying? You see that shit? Hey, yo, it's time to eat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just full staggering. Make sure to go okay, I just fucking blow this bitch up. Okay, so this is something you want to see, essentially. Grab players will land mm -hmm. on top. This of is this is this is just sometimes lucky. That's all that means. Will do damage and then they proceed to die, and that actually causes. So why do they bow through this? Don't move. Oh, so, because the eyeball mech is about to start. Damage, oh, I see. Okay, so they're bow throwing to, to just skip someone. to essentially just skip the yeah. eyeball mech and then just DPS phaser. Okay, I see. Okay. You know how this boss she this boss drops a lot of balls on the floor sometimes where you need to kill the blobs and you pick up the stack. Yeah, you right? get the stack, right? You yeah. just you just have to stack up ten up to this point, right? Once you have ten, you're good to go. You just stack up ten. Once this boss Okay, so this whole literally this whole pump. boss. So I guess there's a lot of mechs from watching the video, but in practice when we're doing it. The boss will probably feel like get ten stacks, Balthor. Get ten stacks, Balthor. Get ten stacks, Balthor, and you just like dump yeah. string her the entire time, like because it just. But you it really only her. bounce all once in the entire fight, which is here. Okay, this is an actual protection, Balthor. Ice like this is like a. Uh... From here, you need to stand still. Yeah, this is the only time you actually bounce. After which she'll grab everyone that is frozen to her most and let them go. Most this another okay. This is so straight up garbage mech, which makes no sense. I don't know what the fuck that mech is. Uh. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> it just randomly happens too. It just grabs a bunch of people, throw you out, and you take like 40k damage for free. What's this bar under ATK? Did you notice that? He has like a little like meter under him. Did you see that? Hold on, let me... So the mech starts, right? She threw people out. You see there's a meter under him? There's like a... What the fuck is that? Oh, that's just the regular eyeballs. Like the regular eyeballs, if you look at the eyeballs, right? Oh! It builds up that meter. But if you oh. look away, then it stops building up. Ooh. Okay. All right, so this is just literally she just throws you out and that's it. Like, is there any like counterplay to this? Like, she just throws you out and it just get fucked. You just dodge. Everyone oh, that wait, is frozen wait. to let, her. Let me see and if like ATK actually says something about it. Like, like, to not get frozen. Afterwards, she'll Here, grab them twice let me start from and the jump. They proceed to die, and that actually causes a lot of wipes. Don't okay, move. She will spin twice and jump. From here, you need to stand still to not get frozen. Afterwards, she will grab everyone that is frozen to her and let them go. Most people get hit by this, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Unless an eyeball symbol is really close to the boss. Lastly, for general yeah, so tips even if you esters, get grabbed, you don't die G to it. It's like a very free pattern that does like maybe for it does stray damage to you pretty much. It okay. eats you, throws you out, and then maybe you take like forty or fifty k damage. Okay. All right. If I'm doing eyeballs, make safe. Uh, if the bar fills up, uh, you get you get imprisoned. Okay. E1 is very forgiving. The highest death rate is destroying the Raspberry Orb on hard. And the this I is the highest death rate? Is this hard? Oh, yeah, because because people throw when you throw destruction bombs, you're not supposed to throw it on the Raspberry. It's very forgiving. The highest death rate is destroying... Where are you supposed to throw it then? It like, it would be like here, let's say in the cluster. Raspberry, right? Yeah, the spiky one? 
No, no, not the spiky one. Um, the spiky ones are are like not too bad if you get them. Oh, it's in, the bright you know, red ones. The ones that are like literally bright the red. Like bright on the bottom. red ones is the one you don't want to throw destruction bombs near that because okay. once if you trigger it once, it's just a it's, it's just, just a, a what's that called? So it's a stagger. It's a stagger debuff for I think seventeen or eighteen seconds, and uh, you need to wait after the duration. Then you stagger the bomb. Okay, I see. Okay. But if you trigger two, bye bye. Okay, that's and it hit, it affects everybody. I assume, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're just trying to throw it on the line. So you could throw it, let's say, like here on the, let's say he's on the, the so he's on the right side here. You could just throw it on the right side, like. Uh, so you see how it's like on the, the top. There's one at twelve, right underneath the buff bar. Okay, yeah, I see that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then there's one at six. You can break everything else everywhere, but don't break the one on. The oh, bottom okay. There. So you just don't, you just don't throw it at those. Okay, that doesn't seem just too bad. Don't throw it at those. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad at all. Throwing the raspberry orb on hard and the eyeball safe spot mechanic. Not taking care of bleed stacks and not being able to counter her also wipe a lot of parties. Watch out for the lurker pattern by keeping an eye on the red band diagram. You have to know when it's coming. Yeah, see, As okay, for Esther's, someone gets caught by this, it call it, up call it much faster. Always Which one? I'm gonna go back. Lurker pattern. You have to yeah, know when she's coming. Hands into the ground, As for yeah. Esther's, someone dies it fills to it, up much it. faster. Let me just switch back on again, so. Watch out for the lurker pattern. Okay, it's just the Venn diagram. The red Venn diagram. You have to know when. And then it's she coming. grabs into the floor. As per Esther, I guess that's not doesn't seem too bad. I think it's faster. gonna take a while. Always start with just to like learn it. You know what I mean? Like people get used to it or whatever. But it doesn't seem everything seems like really telegraphed. I'll be honest. Like everything seems like really really Way telegraphed in this gate. Fills up. Unless the team pushes. Mm -hmm. Gate one is quick, really very easy. It, it, it really is. Like most of these normal mechanic. patterns, if you're near like deadly, make sure to save for Balthor. So if you just memorize like the actual core gimmicks, you probably clear in like thirty minutes. Okay. All right. Push DPS with Balthor by entering Endorphin mode, but I do recommend keep using Wei or Thyrain to help your team's DPS. Note that after the first purple bar stagger, her stagger bar locks up and three red shield icons appear. This indicates she can be applied with destructions to stagger her again. So it is good to use. Oh, that's what the shield. I was wondering what the shields in her head were. So that's her destruction. This indicates she can be applied with destructions to stagger her again. So it is good to use uh, way during the stagger. Uh, actually, never knew that too. The way I look at this <laughs> gate is um, no, that, that, that's what that's what I'm saying. I have in this video, I don't know actually like seventy to sixty percent of what I say, and I'm someone who's like been clearing this since like week one, right? Mm -hmm. I can tell you this gate just feels like built ten stacks burst on burst on Balto. You're yeah. done. See your next ticket. <laughs> There's a lot more intricacies to it, but essentially just keep building your stacks, bow for it, and then just like don't don't get hit and hit boss is essentially the yeah. the, the just of it. Okay. Like I actually like straight up exactly. Okay. All right, I think we I think we got this. Then we go, we hit the shit into into phase two. Okay. Do we hit the the G two? GT. Hello, friends. G two. Welcome I mean, to GT. the Legion Raid guy. <laughs> I'll go ahead. Okay. Big big mushroom man. Okay. First part of the raid, right? Mm -hmm. You need to hope no one. You need to hope people are good at running on the bridge, or else it might be a reset. Really? Okay, I don't even know what that is yet, but I haven't, I haven't seen anything for this yet. This is like all like new shit to me. How hard is it to run, though? Uh, it's pretty easy, but sometimes when people get... So the hardest part is when people get caught by lightning. You need to call either maybe like party one or party two cleanse, something like that, right? So that you can oh, cleanse okay. them. Because if they get left behind, they might just, you know... Eh. Right now. Okay, dude, you can practice right now in name. Go do Naruni race course, okay, dude. Go do Naruni race course. When you go through the Argos area, dodge the lightning. It's gonna be the same thing. You can practice this mech now with Naruni race course. There's a reason why they put it the month before uh, Thamine. Just called wrong party cleanse, but that's troll. <laughs> guy series featuring Thiamai. This guy would not have been possible without the support of my community. They will all be listed at the back of this video on the credits. With that, let's get started right away. Thea Mine has three gates on normal, yeah, four the... gates on hard. They can be entered at 1610. Type boss with 180 HP bars with three phases. The rate. So recommended items, pretty much the same. Sac uh, wait, so he's, uh, he's saying sacred. Sacred clan. Yeah. Uh, sacred. Or uh, some of the sacred charms again? Oh, yeah, okay, for, for the well, bridge, right? Because you can cleanse each other. And it keeps you cleanse. Splendor kind of helps, yes. It, I, I, okay. I don't want to be that guy and be like, you know, just cheap out and use the other one, you know? I don't want to be that guy, but I do not bring splendors here, and so far Fuck it's it. fine. i am be honest, boys. If you get hit by lightning, Listen, that's a, yeah, that's a dead saying, problem, you know? If you get hit by lightning and I cleanse you, and somehow you walk into lightning in front again, genuinely, right? Mm -hmm. Respectfully, <laughs> it is a kill 
issue. Honestly, he's based for that, though. True and real. That, like, he's right, though. It's true. You know what I mean? Like, realistically, dude, just don't get hit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I listen, I'm with him on that one. He's not wrong. Yeah, my, my man's spitting right now, dude. That's true. <laughs> he ain't lying. <laughs> It has unique travel. And would you would you recommend for learners? Would you bring in atros or would you bring in uh, time stops? Oh, definitely time stop if you're learning this okay. because there's a pattern towards the end where you can time stop that saves your life. Oh, actually, okay, so that's important. And gate one, I didn't ask this at the beginning, so I didn't think of it. But gate one, would you recommend atros or time stops for for learners as well? Gate one, oh, just honestly, gate one has been nerfed a few times already, and mm -hmm. like really, it's like. A pretty simple gate. I think gate one. There's not that many patterns that time stop will help you. Like okay, honestly. so it's like yeah, okay, so it's it's not really like needed. It doesn't really help. Like you, Atring might be inting, but also you might not also need like. Uh, the yeah, TS. you honestly don't really need like TS because TS doesn't really save you from a lot of patterns. Okay, that makes sense. All right, that's good to know. All right, so for gate two boys, don't be goblins. Bring in the TS gate one. Drink the atros. With lots of fall depths. Make sure to bring your sacred charm. I personally recommend splendid charms because there's a lot of lightning stunts. Other battle items like. Okay, so this is what's happening in the background. This is the bridge, I assume. Scarecrows or situation yeah, like this is the bridge. Well. Getting hit by any of his black mud-like attacks will give you weakness stacks. They stack infinitely, and you take more damage as it increases. Getting stunned while having these stacks will cause a bubble explosion around you. This is a near kill damage if you have high stack of more than three. So if you have high stacks, you're like a walking death bomb. During his human form, most of his lightning patterns are X-shaped. He also has a grab pattern, ref pattern that gives stacks, jump to spawning snakes, lightning waves. The fuck is that sound? Do you hear that? And teleport to grab. The teleport to grab. Uh, that, that's a good question. What? What the? Is that did you hear that I, sound? I was like, you, you, you. Did you hear that? Am I crazy? Hold on, I'm gonna play back. I think, I think that's in his actual Lightning like waves. guide. Like he's like vibing in his guide making or something. He's like, you, you, you. Dude, he's got, he's got the Kanama fucking the so <laughs> like playing fast in the background. <laughs> It might be a little audio and bug. teleport to grab. The teleport to grab <laughs> spawns you, like you, you hear this so yes, yes, yes. The first person he sees before he disappears. His patterns are very, very straightforward, but very difficult to dodge if an aggro person rotates his head. For example, for lightning waves, he does it twice. So if you're the aggro, you might okay, want to so hold his see, head during position. This part, so right, when the people... platform breaks, right? During this okay. part, when he does his grab, right? The grab, the only big major thing to take away from this entire starting, right? Everything, everything like, else is normal about, like, pattern whole, based, whole piece. Right? Okay, yeah. Everything else is normal pattern based, right? Mm -hmm. Everything else, like all these normal patterns, these things are just something like, there's no point in like explaining them because there's just something you have to get used to. You have to learn, yeah, you have to just see it and play yeah. around it, yeah. It's just how normal patterns is, right? But the only big thing to remember here is that he can grab you during this platform phase. A lightning hand, um, a... It's like he pulls out his hand, right? Very big, very fast, obvious lightning animation. And then he grabs like 360 around him, very close to him. Okay. And he can fling you off the map. You need to counter if that happens when the platform breaks. You see when he goes to the middle here, right? Yeah. Platform breaks. If he grabs you here, then you need to hope that someone can counter because he can throw you off the platform. Okay, let me see if he, I want to see here if he shows what the grab yeah, looks like. Yeah, like, see. The yellow patterns are black waves. His grab attacks are also okay. Grab attacks. Oh, okay, he literally that, 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 raises... yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he actually raises right, his yeah. hand with lightning in it. Okay, so getting hit by this, you're kind of trolling this is the a little bit. Only scary supposed deadly pattern to remember. Okay. and this is only for hard mode. So if you guys are doing normal, this isn't well, this isn't affect you. Middle, uh, normal, normal. Happen. I think you can still get flung off. Oh, it says only hard here. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's oh, you get oh, flung off. Maybe, maybe you just do the maybe grab. They... The stage. Maybe, like, fall maybe, death is maybe possible. they maybe they changed it. Let's see. So let's see. He does the grab. Okay, there. That's the grab. He, yeah, that's okay, the grab. Okay, people. It's oh like, shit! The counters immediately. Okay. Him. And I'm yeah. assuming now, like, you can get pushed off. So if you get, you, you if can you get, get thrown off the map. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But in even in hard mode, right? You see how like only a part 
of the middle is broken and the other sides are kind of like blocked off from a little wall, right? Okay, it's like Vault and you can play, um, when you have half stage break, you can play against a wall to be a little yeah, more safe. Like for this one, you know, on the right side, the top right side, that's yeah, like yeah. not safe. But if he's throwing you towards the wall, you're not going to get flung off. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so it's kind of like when we were learning Vault and guys, like, I don't know if you guys remember this, but, you know, playing Entropy back in the day, we were a little bit of fucking pussies, you know what I'm saying? I remember me, I was scared of getting hit, so when I was learning, I'd wait for him to, like, you know, I'd, I we would drag them away from the death zone, and then when you get more comfortable, you just fight them on the edge because you don't give a fuck anymore, because you know what everything looks like. <laughs> Patterns. A dragon will appear either on the wall or the falling edge. If he appears on the falling also, edge, a dragon like support, monster is a support. Right, this one's really good for supports to know. A okay. Actually, like, big changer, right? You can lose a lot of potions here because from the from time to time the dragons will keep fucking shooting AoEs and stuff when you're like trying to hit the boss. Mm -hmm. It's good to like DR or like heal up during this. Straight up. If okay. not, it becomes actually like giga annoying to play. You can lose a fuck ton of potions here. Like just these blue dragons fucking summoning like from left and right and shooting you. Sometimes you don't even see it on screen. I can't even see he, in the video there's a giant thing here. I don't see the dragon, it just looks like fucking like Kush smoke, dude. So the dragon, what's he? So they just get, they just come yeah, in he, and he, just do like, do damage. Is that was that that is? So here, okay, a dragon yeah, they, came in. They can summon like if the dragon came in from the top there, right? Oh, is it these blue these things, waves. these waves or whatever that's yeah. coming in? Okay, these I see. Waves I see. that can stack DPS on you and like you know can one shot you if, if you get unlucky. Okay, all right. Hurt too. If they spawn if in the from the sides on... like that, like this one here, right? You see how it's like coming in from the side. This one is it's most the likely left over a here. Okay, a I wave. See it. Okay, usually if it's here, right, it's gonna be a wave and this wave can push you off the map. Oh, so you have to spacebar through it. See, yeah, 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 like that, like that. You saw oh, how like they got pushed. Oh, shit. Right, yeah. Is there always an opening though? Because here it looked like there was, this one looked like yeah, there was there, no opening, opening. But the, okay, there, it's just off screen. Opening. But this one, this one you see it, it's like here and there's another one up here. Okay, yeah, I see. It's a very tiny gap. Did very he just get his life saved because he phased? Because he was dead there, yeah. right? <laughs> This fucking my mouse going. The whole group was about to die. Holy shit! It takes up a lot of space too, though. Look at that, bro. That takes up a, like. Look at this. It starts here. Look how how little space they have to play. That that comes in quick. Yeah, there's a small gap. You see how like there's a small gap on the left too. You can yeah. stand there. Too, yeah, yeah, you but... see it there. Yeah. Man, gunslinger is gonna be cancer for this dude. Imagine being stuck in fucking target down or not target down in uh, in focus shot, with no space bar. See you later. You know what I'm saying? That's fucking rough. <laughs> mm -hmm. He will Just jump away up. and destroy both Actually sides real, of the stage, true. leaving a bridge in the center. Make okay, sure to bridge in the center. And dodge the lightning above oh, your head one, together. You just have to Boss will shoot down. seven energy balls that need to be countered. Why perfectly. is this guy up up close, the, the summoner? Why oh. is he just like uh So you see how... Okay, this is the way KR does it, but you guys can decide however you want to do it. No, Basically, okay. you need to counter the ball seven times. Okay? okay. You need to counter the ball seven times that he's going to throw. Everyone has one counter. If somebody miss, replace immediately. Um, so <laughs> the way we do it, right? Party one, party two, right? We do one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, and the summoner is four, right? So right. the summoner is the last counter. He's gonna be doing the boss counter. He's staying on top. Mm. We do it in order, so it's like from party one, one, two, three, okay, four. Okay, one, two, three, four, and then party two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, party okay. two, one, two, three, and then four. The last one will always be the boss. There will be seven balls, and the boss itself, the summoner will do. That, that's how they do it. And they I... line up like in this way. You see, it's like a U shape. Right, you you see, you can play the video now. I have a question. See, right? This is like not specific to Thamine. Yeah. In KR, do you guys usually put supports in party number one or or party number four usually? Oh, this one anything works because um, yeah, I don't know, like if it's, it's just more like an OCD thing because in in, in NA, yeah. for, like I noticed for a fact, supports are always party slot four. Just kind of like um, it's not like an efficiency thing. It's literally just like a thing that people do, and even sometimes like a lot of times you'll put. Uh, if you put a support not in party number four, they'll ask to be party number four because they're just so used to their positions. In because it everyone does it. It's just like a uni It's like we all hive minded maybe, maybe, for some maybe reason. Do. It's weird. Maybe they do. Okay, I, I was just curious because they both I were in party number one, so I found that weird. Because I'm like, wait, I wonder if they do the same thing we do, but opposite. Anyways, we're gonna see the mech. If you yeah, also see, successfully so like counter one, one we'll go all the way three, Oh, two, you counter the fucking... Oh, bro, three. this is literally like you, yeah. in, you're in line. Oh my god, they literally make a line. This is like, you know in classic WoW when they had to kill the quest mobs boys when it first came out? This, they literally have a line. Seconds, you will be frozen in place Ooh, and spawn and four, a yearning right? size now, electric. Five, right? Oh, it's like they, fucking vaulting. Okay, so in, this is one, two, three. Yeah. Okay, I see. Field. 
You need to scatter out after your counters to make sure it doesn't hinder other players. And, you see and then the last you... one is going to be... Okay, I see. And then this is the last one. Yeah. This is how you want to line up for the, the, top for the whole corner. corner. When all seven energy balls are countered... You see red, don't counter. Blue counter, counter, so always wait. Oh, there's okay, a red wait, wait, wait. as well. Pause at this moment, right? Okay, wait, wait. Go, go after he counters, right? After he finished countering. Uh, after uh, the okay. counter, after the he So this is red, okay, he holds. The eighth person. Blue, he... Okay, here. Here, right? Okay. If your class, right? If you're not all the way in the back, if you guys are not all the way in the back, his DR drops here. You can do like one or two spells and run to the safe spot after that. Don't be a pussy. Go for MVP, okay? Understand what I mean? Okay, you can play the video. Party number one MVP, boys. Need to counter the boss. He sometimes you see, you can do like one or two spells here. Counter. Make sure After to focus he does the to not get baited by him. Okay, then the DR literally just dropped, and then you could just start no, the like the DR literally like drops here, and then you can stop. Uh, you, you can start hitting the boss here for a little bit. You can hit it like, like one that. or two times. I like that. After everything is done, make sure. To and then you go to the safe spot. You can hit him one or two times again. Okay, you hit him he here. There, I noticed there's some people in the back. Does that matter? Is like I guess it's just the safe spot is just each edge or yeah, whatever. Yeah, the safe spot. The, the safe spot is pretty... You, you'll see, you'll see. You okay, can well, see, you can look at the video, your head right? You see how it, like... By the, any of you can explosions. run through it like that, too. Oh, the boss okay, you have time. Okay, you have good time. You can counter him again, or he circle. will charge everyone against You're the wall. It. Okay, after the counter... He needs to destroy yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, for me, for Sharpshooter, I throw a snipe and a hawk shot before I start breaking the wall, because... <laughs> that's, <what I'm> <laughs> that's so good. Okay, now they're just running... Oh, shit, I have to put back on the audio. Okay, so after the counter... You got, you got, a, you got a second. The you got a second to throw in a little thing. Yeah, you got a, a hog shot and a snipe though. That's that's you got some yeah. time, dude. Thank God Calvin yeah, isn't here. Yeah, but Calvin can make war crimes. Okay, okay, that's good to know. Run to the next stage. Two random players will have a stun. Here you see, down. right? The lightning can happen. Their head. Uh, the boss you want to try? This is why you want to run pass. together as a group. Oh, it's these little things. These little like okay, you don't want to go too far away. So let's restart this. So they they break the wall, and then there's these little lightnings as you guys can see that like it just struck there. Two random players. They just struck over. Oh, that's not on the map. We'll it's fine. Okay, there. Right there. Oh, there's head. a little fucking. Okay, you actually see it. It makes a little yeah, pool you, you, before. Boss will fly across one. Oh. It's always you can simply two like time that. Your space bar or use tenacity. Boys, I'm gonna be honest. Go do Naruni Speedway. Okay, dude. Go do Naruni. Don't be a pussy. Go practice this. Quickly group up here <clears> because the boss will appear. This one can be a fake counter right too. It can be, to be red counter. or blue. Oh, it can be red or blue. Side. Okay, that's good to know. He has a chance yeah. to bait everyone. Oh, I see. Red. Red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't oh, and it turns blue check. after. Does it always turn blue wait, wait, after wait, the pause, red? Pause, pause after he did the blue counter again. Right? Okay, did the blue counter again? Okay, hold up. Left side though, he has a chance mm -hmm. to bait everyone with the red. Okay. Okay. Right here, another small DPS space. Right for me, I throw death strike into charge shot and I run away. So oh, the I, oh, you're I'm actually counter the boss. This is the boss coming up. Okay, I see. Yeah, because once you counter the boss, he stays there for a little bit, right? And okay. another small DPS space, and you start running away again. Okay. This is the Hitmaster Dream, boys. I'm going to be honest. On Entropy, dude, you're just depressed. They throw a, a, a white 20 mil red dragon horn into his face. At fake counter. So make Can sure you back yeah, attack that, actually? Can you agree? Oh, it's not even that long. You actually just I fucking... I don't think back attack. No, yeah, okay, you just... Like... While, too. You can throw, like, one spell and then run away. Okay, so it's it's just Check a hit. It's hit master is kind of eat a little bit here. At the ninety degree turn yeah. path, there will be a okay, series of like scary, right? The pools. camera that POV changes. There's a lot of puzzles, a lot of people so get you gotta call out for. So you can rely. On... You yeah. see how like the camera POV starts to change. Yeah, up and a it fucks up your bit. movement a bit, like uh, a little bit. Yeah, that makes sense. And you want to move together as a group. Okay, this is important, right? This is the important part. Uh, over here, right? When they run across the bridge. Mm -hmm. You always, whoever is running in the front, right, they have to be good at countering. Or they have to have a, like a long range counter or a space bar or something. You see how that counter is over there, right? They get it. Oh, so if you have like an okay. arcana, they can shoot something out in front and catch the counter, that's good. Okay, or like Pali or, yeah. or Glaive or something in Red Yeah, yeah, like yeah. You, like need, you need someone, okay, like that. I see. It's something to keep in mind because if you don't counter, if, if you don't like, if you miss two counters on this part here, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, you can't do the hidden nester. Oh, I think, really? I think that's how it. Works. Yeah, if you don't counter enough, it doesn't. It doesn't proc hidden nester. Interesting. Unless they nerfed it. Unless they nerfed. It. Okay, we'll see what he maybe, says. Maybe maybe we, uh, yeah. We'll do with audio. See what he see what he uh, what he says here. Blended sacred charm to be immune to stunts to easily. Three cross out of four dragons is Please what uh, sure Troll saying. Please make sure to not leave anyone behind. 
These white textures mean the platform is going to disappear soon. Even misclicking on the disappeared bridges will cause fall death. If you pass the first bridge, the boss will counter either top or bottom. So for this, I mean, guys, even doing this like logically, like realistically, bro, just just click the end. Like don't don't hold. I know a lot of times people hold their movement, but this is like you click here. It's like when you're doing like. And you, oh, some sort of a, just you walk, click, click and click. And you just click twice, and then you you don't you don't keep pressing the mouse, right? So like, let's say you're here. I mean the platform. You press like right here. Soon. Even misclick. And then on the as display. you're getting there, you click right there, and that's how you just click twice. It's a two click you, a two click you guys situation. Just need to imagine this as like you know that one scene from Finding Nemo, right? When they're <laughs> running away from Bruce the shark. You know, you just need to keep running. <laughs> you just need to keep swimming. Don't look back. <laughs> just, just keep <laughs> swimming. You are fine. Disappeared bridges will cause fall death. If you pass the first bridge, the boss will counter either top or bottom of the bridge. There are also a bunch of ads that could potentially hinder your counter, so be careful not to go ahead alone unless you're very confident with your counters. After another set of six ads, the boss will this either counter important. at top this or one appear here, at the right? top can be side. a counter or can be a stagger. Like you oh, see, it can be a stagger if, as well. Will come up, right? And yeah. he will come up if it's not immediately a counter. He'll suck people be in like that. You can space bar it. And then, oh. you, uh, and then and you stangle the moss. What happens if the, if you don't space by the, the vacuum? Is it just you get like some paralysis so thing? Like you in and then he like bites you. Oh, okay, so it's just damage. Yeah. Space bar you or simply space walk away. Oh. If you see right, does it stop you from doing the stagger though? Does it like take you out of the stagger potential? Yeah. Okay. You okay. So how, pretty like, much, if he comes um, up and it isn't like literally just blue, blue, you just fucking get yeah. rid of the space bar. Okay. Yeah. You see how like he grabs them right and he starts fucking numbing them down with a stagger bar, pretty much. Yeah. See this? Okay, so see, like, all of them are caught in there, and then you stagger the female. Oh, I see. Okay, so it makes it even harder because you don't have people there to do it. Okay, I see. I don't think the stagger is too tight, but it could just also be they're like more experienced. Next counter will be right before the bridge. These things are fast. Holy if he shit. appears at the top, there this is also a fake, chance though. to be a this fake is a red. Very count. like supposed last one can be fake. Oh, can be fake okay, so be only the last ones could be okay. So, so be careful after crossing another bridge. And oh. if it's fake, it's always still real, like it, it just starts off as red, yeah, it just but it can just transition. Red. Okay, yeah. regular right. DPS players just gotta just be stay careful. all the way to the right. Here, the okay, this is why you want explode. everyone to run together. Here, if someone is behind, right? Oh, they're just fucking see, dead because it disappears, it actually just yeah. breaks, right? It one is like it disappears, but like you see the three gremlins. Those three gremlins have a fuck ton of health. So what we do is that we just trigger. Okay, they're like they're like Voltorbs, you know. They self destruct. Are <laughs> oh, they self destruct? Yeah. Yeah, they they self destruct. So if you're caught in the back, they self destruct. You push you. They get they push you off the platform. Okay. So you want them run together so that you can get the like the corner in this map here safely. Oh, because they okay. I see. So let's, let's see what this looks like in uh, in total. Yeah, imagine someone right. is like left the behind there, and even if they make it across the bridge, knock you up to the those left side right? Fall there. Oh, they you literally come grab you. Oh wait, they come fucking yoink you. Look at that. They they, they yeah, yeah like like you see how like they okay, go yeah. into like this giant explosion right? That yeah. That can push you off. Oh wait, did I skip ahead? What the fuck? This okay. counter can be fake too. Okay, so you're doing this. They appear. You have to run together, and then you have to kill them at the same time. I assume. Oh, they actually pushed away. Oh, so you, you don't. You don't really have to kill them. Uh, they self destruct. The can oh, okay. Them. You don't even fuck with them. Okay, so you just aggro the them. You see how like ATK like shields. baited them, right? Destroy they yeah. just self destruct them. Okay, so someone has to just run in, trigger the. Okay, the, okay. When they get close to someone, they self destruct. So you have to run in and then run out. Or if you have tier two push immunity, you can just do. You can do. Uh, or tier two super armor, you can just like super armor it because he's on GLs. Most you can of the just time, like the two supports are like on the other side, like on the right side of the map here. Like you see how most people were leaning on the right earlier. Yeah. Most of the time, the supports are there. They're DRing everyone, and then they just let the, they just let like these um, dudes explode. Okay. All right. The top. This is just the bridge map. Is just teamwork. Left, run together. Right. Try not to, to hit red eye, counters. Just... And just keep, just keep swimming and black explosions. <laughs> keep swimming. And when you successfully Bro, that's tight. Holy shit. What the fuck? Right here. Oh, wait, don't run. Okay, stay if the dragon the appears from the left like that, yeah. safe spot is where they're standing now. He's going to oh. slam down and Normal then it's like, you and see like, you see this triangle, right? The back of him slamming down, that's the safe spot. If oh, he comes up from the right just, side, it's going to be onion the rings like this. The boss here for a bit. Okay, wait, so let's look at this again. So they run through. There. Stand right here. Hard Dragon comes from the left. the left, yeah. Explosions. There. Normal has one. Yeah, okay. On the this back spot is like a... Spot the back of his ass, like the back right. Okay, You'll that's a little And if he comes the from the right board. side, it will oh. be onion rings. Onion rings? What do you mean? Oh, so it's not the other side. It's, it's a different mechanic. It's going to look like... It's going to look like... Wait, that I think you showed it, now. For... And then this, yeah, if he comes he, from the right side, it looks like this. If he appears from the right side, right, he literally climbs... 
he literally crawls up the stadium like XDD rat and then <laughs> it's the uh, onion ring. Okay. Both variations. You okay, so it's the same the spot for both. You're just waiting there, essentially. All yellow warning attacks at this point can lead to fall death. After 4 to 5 normal patterns or 30 to 40 seconds, you can use Hidden Azena here for a big DPS push. The sidereal timing is when he spreads his wings and roars. Make sure to stand yeah, in the front of the always stay away from side. get flown away. If sidereal and just stay is front or back. Okay, stay away from side and stay front or back. And then if you fail two counters from 1 to 4, Azena doesn't work. Okay, so you, ha you have to get the yeah. last, the last, the, you have to get at least three of the last counters. Yeah, you basically cannot miss two. Okay. All right. Wrong timing or fail to counter three See, times like getting here. Back. You must and dodge then his finishing. If pattern. you don't get, he will do a he will do this pattern instead because Azena Inanna didn't trigger. Oh. And these things can like knock you out or do a lot of damage. Oh, okay. So let's go over that again. Let's see what this looks like. So we got here. Hold on. Okay, so after this. And then here he's gonna use a special Azena. I should put the volume on for this. Zena here for a big DPS push. The sidereal timing is when he spreads his wings and roars. Make sure to stand in the front or the back position to not get flown away. If sidereal is used okay, after the Okay, I see. He doesn't show what it looks like after this. Okay, it's like a, a special yeah. Yeah. Here, you must dodge it, this. Because the counter didn't succeed. This is an example of if the counter didn't succeed, this is a, one of the variations he will do. Okay, all right. Finishing pattern, which is outside. And the safe. yellow can push you out After of the map the big too. Push, okay. Destroy the debris and proceed to the next stage. Destroy you don't debris, need to group okay. up here. So okay. you can go here, as fast just as keep you swimming, want. but swim carefully. The dragon will not push you out of the map. There, there'll be dragons, and the boss on the right side will be shooting lasers at you, right? Okay. The laser can actually shoot you off the map, but the dragons won't push you down. Okay. For safety, always dodge the yellow laser. See the laser, first. right? Oh, if you get yeah, okay. the laser, it's gonna send you to Zimbabwe. Bye bye. And then. Reset. Are you doing counter scale or is this still a counter thing or do you just ignore you, it? You don't have to counter here. You, you can okay. kind of ignore it. Because and just the fog at the back is going to or you can just wait. Catch up. For hard the mode, fog the boss is still also... chasing after you at the back, but uh, you can still take your time. He's a slow Usually, boy. You see him on the radar here too, right? Like he's he's kind of slow. He's not like. Uh... Yeah, you see how like there's a uh, there's someone all the way at the front, right? That's yeah. fine. As long. Okay, there's one. There's two things that can happen here, right? Mm -hmm. Usually, if you're going up that far ahead, and if your teammates are behind like that, you can still wipe the party if you somehow hit a red counter here. Mm -hmm. Like oh, he sure, shoots really. a big laser, and then if your guys have like no place to run, he shoots like a fucking fat laser through the middle. If they have no places to run, and they probably die. Okay. Unless they're like pretty far behind, like where ATK is at, they can probably lean to the left. But when the boss comes out, right, you see how the boss is appearing on the map? Mm -hmm. Right over there. It can out be... Out the distance over here, the, few... white, the white beam in the front? Yeah, it can be okay. a few things. It can be, it can be a blue counter straight away. It can be a red counter into blue. Or if you get there in time, before he spawns, you will cancel the counter and he just flies away. Oh, so if you just have you, you someone see, really I think, fast, I think, you just get there, you get there like, it cancels it for everybody. Counter, but it's smart yeah, you see in this video, oh, the moment he reaches, right, he just flies away. And yeah. counter the boss. Okay, I see. So if, if you don't make it in time, then he does the counter. He will shoot a long laser that can knock people out. You see, like that, yeah. If you don't make it in time, you can ignore the counter also, but just lean to the left like this. If it's red and somebody hits the counter, right, if it was red and someone hit it, you're fucking dead. Then it's a very big laser. Okay. And the left side is technically still safe, but you gotta be fast. Okay. Don't go to the center though. You could get hit by his yellow attack and get knocked off the stage from the start. Because this race, from this, here, this there gate, are a few time -based is just a fucking like, in, it's just walking on a bridge essentially. But yeah, never, Adams. never throw Black in your spells spawn. here. Uh, Don't throw your spells like, here. Because you know how he just spawned in with the yellow, right? Oh yeah. Okay, he has don't... like a, he has like a four, he has like a four seconds or like three seconds timer where he resets. All the debuffs on him. Oh, really? Okay, so you don't want to like you don't want like buff like you don't want like send like send everything. You just wait a bit, especially for support. You're not gonna like throw Brandon right away. You'll wait and uh, yeah, until, you just okay. wait. You just wait for it. Or you don't you throw your synergies and stuff. Okay. Stage from the start. From here, there are a few time-based patterns. Black pool spawn. You will see him cast multiple tornadoes around him, with black bubble popping out of his head. When debuff darkness mucus icon finishes, the black pool will spawn under your feet. This is given to the farthest four people from the boss periodically. It is very crucial to keep track of your debuff bar because it's very hard to tell if you have it or not. Standing on top of the pool slows you down and damages you. If place them too close to each other, it will turn into a larger pool. 
If you have eight or more of these pools on the stage, it's an automatic white. I recommend placing them relatively yeah. close time to each other at the top or the oh, bottom. No, actually, no, I don't think that one is. Time I, I don't think I don't eight, I don't think eight puddles is time stoppable. No, never mind. Too close to each other, it will turn into a larger pool. I if you have eight or more of these pools on the sure. stage, it's an automatic white. That's why I most people bring time stop for this rate because there's quite a few patterns towards the end that time stop can save you. Okay. Over atrophin. Let me go over this real quick, just because I kind of spaced a bit. I'm not gonna lie. Close to each other. It will <laughs> oh, wait, let's go back over. Oh, my feet. This is given to the far. Okay, so you see it. You see the little pool under you, and just like bring it out and, and drop it periodically. It is yep. very crucial to keep track of your debuff. Bar Basically, he's just flapping his wings, right? A mm -hmm. bunch of tornadoes on come out. He does fucking gong gong in the middle, and then <laughs> few players have like these blue puddles, and they just need to put it outside. Okay, they gotta just drop don't the stay at his side. So, like, you see how this? You see how ATK put it at the front of the boss? Yeah. Uh, if some, the other two or three players probably put it at the back of the boss too at like 12 o'clock. Okay. See how he put it at like 7-ish? The yeah. players are probably on like 12 or 1 because during this pattern, after he finishes, right, he slaps his wings on the ground again. And so it pushes like everyone back. back. Okay, yeah, so yeah. You're, you're out of, you're pretty much off camera from the boss, so you have to drop them in a position where you're not going to then get punished when you're coming back in or, you know what I mean? Because you kind of leave yourself vulnerable. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, from, from back. Okay. Down and damages you. If place them too close to each other, it will turn into a larger pool. If you have eight or okay, more so they can't touch. pools on the yeah. stage, it's an automatic Eight white. or more pools is I recommend okay, so placing them relatively DPS race. close to each other at the top or the bottom side of the map. Lurker. If you don't push DPS fast enough, you will see this pattern after black pool spawns. Boss will place his claws firmly to the ground and slam three times. You have to keep moving because three explosions will happen under your feet. People will be placing new pools, but the last red circle slam will remove any pools that are hit. Place it just outside the ring to delete the pool, but does the red circle impact too. Pools explode when they get deleted, and it does death damage. If larger pools get deleted, the explosion itself is map wide. White orbs. Okay, Lost so you kind of you want him you want him to destroy the pools so you don't have too many like yeah on the you map. want him to destroy okay. the pools if okay. he does. I don't know. You must Lion try and get him to One destroy the pools. One person will be aggroed and then proceed I'm to spawn angle. white orbs around him. These white orbs will follow the nearest player slowly and explode on impact. They can delete pools if you overlap them. Okay, the so you're going to use them as well. The to yeah. a point where you can delete yeah. two or more pools Oh, too. shit. Okay, that's pretty nice. Aggro person <laughs> should always stand either 6 or 12 o'clock to hold the head If you have two red eyes, you, you are the aggro on the boss, attack. so you want to try and hold it there. Basically, oh, if you have two red okay. eyes, right? So mm -hmm. this is the way you can kind of do it, right? Because he's still flapping his wings on the left and right. Mm -hmm. Let's say you put your puddles at 12 and 6, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That means that... As the aggro holder, you keep him at 12 or 6, facing you on 12 or 6 too, so okay. that the wings are flapping at 3 and 9, left and right, right? So mm -hmm. your top and bottom are safe. Like, they'll never get wing flapped. Okay, I understand. You don't fuck with them. You don't fuck with them. And this is, yeah. I guess, for entry players, if you get targeted, you kind of just have to take the L and just, like, chill so yeah, you, you just, don't kill people. You just, stand in, you just stand in his face and you just throw all your spells. Okay. All right, so you have to, you have to if you're back like entropy, you have to turn off your entropy, essentially, for this, for, like, until you're, you know, how long do you stay to aggro for? Mm -hmm. I think maybe like five seconds, six seconds before he flaps down. It's not a long time. Okay. All right. So you like, pretty much if you get looked at, you you just have to like stop. If you're again entropy, you have to just like stop your damage. The aggro. Okay. I mean, okay. There's no way you can get to the back anyway because the moment you yeah, turn, he's the gonna turn and look at you. That's the thing. Yeah. Well, because sometimes, dude, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if you ever noticed this, but sometimes people, like the boss will be targeting someone. And they just run in a circle, and the boss is like a Beyblade, dude. They say, <laughs> they just spin with them while they're trying to run to the back. So. <laughs> I think it's an important thing to know too, because especially getting to this point in the fight, there's a pretty long gate, it seems like so far. And so at this point, if you die to somebody trying to like entropy, you know what I mean? I think it's it's good to like be conscious of the fact that here, if you get targeted, just be aware that you're not you're not gonna be doing damage, just wait it out so you can like not kill the raid, you know what I mean? Yeah. When he's about to finish the pattern. Fly no, if you're a breaker this here, this is like heaven. The you know, camera will zoom out and prepare to land. Yo, Stand actually, holy shit, it's true. The safe spot on impact is a cone shape behind him. This one, Support when he to goes to the... To give... You see how he's like flying to the edge of the map, right? Mm -hmm. Staying underneath his legs is a safe spot because he'll slam down and it's like... In oh, a it's, very like in, small uh, it's like in Vicus, you can you control where he goes. Like you stand under him, and then he does the fur, he does the he does the, the leap or whatever. Or DR and shields, just in case. Oh, the, you, you oh don't and then the back is safe. bad. Okay, so you. you yeah, the back is safe. You just have to run where he flies. At to. seventy-two bars. Okay. So let me let me see what the first part looks here. So because the first time he shows it, so you're standing under him, you're safe. On impact is a cone shape behind him. Yeah, you can just stay there. 
Okay. Oh, and this is the safe spot. Okay, I see. That's the entire. Okay, that makes sure sense. Okay, so you just stand under him. That's pretty easy. In case of any bro, that bard ate it. Holy, bro, you guys see that? Support bro, this guy is fucking. Look at this. He, he sure look at this. He just accepted life. He's not even DR. Why did he stop moving? Is he DR safe there? Shields, just in case of any safe spot. Oh, he is actually. Oh, the bars, the rain will have a dialogue, and boss will teleport to. Well, the you know, if you're you a breaker, you can stand in the middle and press. Completely nullify the mech and wait for him to come down and start punching him in the face. <laughs> Bro, breakers just eat too good. What is this? Orb? Orb billiard. Okay, boss, so this is. will have a dialogue, and boss will teleport. Okay, Thyrin says something. To the center, he will glow either black or white. You will need okay, to send yeah, the opposite the color orbs to this body, Mac, like right? billiards. Yeah, so okay, so if he's black, you, you send white, and if he's white, you send yeah, black. That's impact. pretty straightforward. There will also be one red. Oh no, no, no! no. If he's blue, you send the whites in. You see how like there's like a yeah, yeah, it's a black. The boss it's... will have like yeah, mm, it has like a blue he will fire or a laser like... that can knock the players out. You see, you see how like this uh ATK. So this is important, right? Okay. You see how ATK has um two red eyes on his head now, right? Okay, yeah. He is going to try and he basically has the boss aggro and he's the boss is gonna shoot lasers. Okay. You one, you see how he shot the blue ball outside out, of the yeah. map, right? He can just stay there now in that single spot and the boss will shoot the laser at 3 o'clock. But you see how this laser shoots out? If he shoots it at a white ball, the white ball will explode and you lose stagger points on the boss. Oh. Because you want to throw in... The balls basically do stagger damage. Okay, I understand. So you throw in the opposite color and then the same color you're pushing out. And if you're yeah, targeted, you're he, you have to make an, a, say, a zone for you to be able to bait the attack. So he shot out the black, he shot in the white, yeah. he waited, right? He waited for the, for the boss to... Uh, it is good to communicate in voice chat too. Yeah, yeah, of course. Let's say, let's say maybe you got a, you know, maybe you got a Reaper, right? Maybe you got a Reaper or like a Dark Exo Enjoyer. <laughs> yeah. If they suddenly have the eyes and they jump behind the boss for some apparent reason and he shoots the laser at your teammates, bye bye. <laughs> Why is it always the Blazer the Terrorist, dude? Okay, so see here, it was on his Bard though. Where's his Bard tech? Okay, so here. He clears out the black, he clears out a white, he knows it's gonna, yeah, about to hit him, he chills, you see, yeah, mm -hmm. so he, he runs in a circle yeah, to see where, to like, wait for it. Yeah. And then he just keeps sending in the whites. Okay, that makes sense. So pretty much everyone is sending, you're just pushing out the bad ones. In, okay, a case where, in a case where some balls do blow up, right, mm -hmm. you need to stagger the boss. You actually need to send in your stagger and start punching him in the face. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so I assume the, the shield breaks at some point too, and you could like, you could just run in and just like start hitting him? Or is a shield oh, no, part no, of a stagger? No. This, shield is, this shield is part of the stagger. You just oh, have to stagger okay, you just have to go in. Oh, yeah, I didn't see the stagger bar before. I'm fucking high shit. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, all right, that makes sense. It's just periodically, right? There's like a red explosion around him. Oh, very small. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see that. And then at the end, if you succeed, he does that, I guess? Yeah, you His get a small DPS time. With very, very small. Maybe like a he will eight second window, and then he does that. Okay, all right. Now, now he actually like transforms, you know? This guy is like a... He's like a fucking fiend now. This is like his final phase. The map so wide center oh safe God. warning sign. The so red sign like will turn into final, black water, final phase. slowly fading out. This one, you then he will land time to create an octagon shaped lightning walls. Three explosions under your feet will and also some, happen. Some six of the I lightning think different walls parties will do it differently, but when you go to the edge of the map like that, some mm -hmm. people prefer to do X3 or X3 plus one, and then they run clockwise. Because they'll oh, be they're not dropping on top of each other. You. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. I know some people stayed inside. Is that a thing? Because if some people, yeah, it does. It's a thing. You, you can okay. stay inside too. You see how like they're running along the inside. Yeah, right? I guess you naturally. It's kind of like when you do like uh, like Vikas G one when you do that when you don't have the double donuts or whatever on purple side. It's the same thing. Like yeah. some people stay inside, some people stay yeah, outside. Okay. Because you see, sometimes when you're on the outside, you don't know where the safe spot is, right? Mm -hmm. Like this. See oh, how, like, it, they're it's using... Okay, they literally have to walk to the... They have to walk to where this yeah, If you get hit by this wave, I think it's a 100% death if no time oh, stop. I, think I see. Okay. okay, the wall literally protects you. So you're just walking clockwise and you're looking is, for the safe spot. The wall is a bit hard to tell. This one's honestly a bit hard to tell, but you can see how, like, the walls initially when everything spawned, right? Mm -hmm. The safe spot of the wall will always glow more bright more brighter than the others. Really? Let's take a look here. I want to see what that looks like. So we're going... He's going out. Is Whirlwind. Yeah, then there's the walls. Okay, so oh, this has a bit, a bit less white. 
Yeah, like very, very dark, very, very dark. Okay, this is a shit on a white. Okay, it's just hard to tell though. <laughs> Holy it's, shit, it's, but yeah. No, usually you look at the bottom of the lightning, like where it's striking. If it's glowing white, right? They're usually oh, more brighter. Oh, I see. Okay, wait, so let's see this again. This this video, this part is not a very good part to see because... Uh, he's, not, he's not near it at the beginning, yeah, that's a problem. Near any of the, he's yeah. not near any of the safe spots, so it's hard to tell. Uh, you kind of do see it though, between the lightnings, you can see like this has, like it pulses black. You know what I mean? Yeah, this one is extremely like dark, you know, extremely Yeah, dark. and the other one is pulsing yeah, white. You can actually light. see there's a shit ton of white left over. Like it actually has a, a little white pulse. You see the ring here, guys. And they're always on the opposite of one another. So if this thing oh, is there's on two. Three, oh yeah, three, on the radar yeah. you see them. Okay, I see. So let's say somebody calls six, right? You know for sure the other one is on 12. Okay, all right, that's good to know. Two safe spots and the other one is on the opposite. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Behind the correct lightning wall to take cover or use time okay, stop hold on. to survive the quick? wave. Yeah, of course, of you course. Okay, cast form. Can you do something? Can you troll stoops for just one run, right? <laughs> um, like, can you tell him that as a breaker, you can actually full tank the black waves coming out? Just tell him to stand in the middle and press X, right? And say you will DR him <laughs> and ask him to send his awakening. <laughs> just once. Just once. <laughs> And then when he dies, right, just say skill issue. <laughs> Agent form, bro. You can either stay inside or outside to prepare to take cover. At 18 bucks, And also you could TS this, right? I think, right? He TS it at the end here? Correct lightning yeah, you can TS that. Okay, so even if you're in a bad spot, you can just TS. You can you space bar through the, the wall, too. Lightning so let's say you're really? on the other side of the wall, you can use time stop to yeah. survive the wave. You can either stay inside or outside to prepare to take cover. At 18 bars, the boss will start his final mechanic. If you happen to get a full sidereal meter before 18 bars, don't hesitate to use it for some DPS push. You can Still recover it back during this mech. The boss will disappear with the Zenith dialogue. There will be total 3 waves of ads. You will need to kill all of them in about 1 minute 10 seconds. All black pools at this point will get bigger as well. First wave is 8 small ads. Gather them up and kill them with AoE skills. Second wave is 4 medium sized ads. They often do pizza attacks that can knock you down. This wave is where most time is wasted. Apply dark grenades on as many as you can to kill them quickly. Frost grenades are also used here to freeze them for an easier kill. Final wave is 2 yep. dragons spawning okay. opposite sides. One wait, of them wait, will proceed can, can to you counter. Go back, like, 10 seconds real quick? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Uh, this part is to always good to quickly. have like support Frost VR or like make sure your health is healthy you don't need dps here you you just need to stay alive this is like the very final part you know okay it's always good to be like healthy here this is like the absolute final okay like drop heals like, drop dr like just make sure everyone lives through this like just occasional a lightning happening too you can see circles happening before they yeah. start striking right you can and you need to call for cleanse and you see how the boss the dragon just flew past that means they're gonna start shooting um it's like mystic rate right where the boss flies around and he, he fucking shoots like white um blue lightning down Okay. See, how, see how it's like a trail, right? The moment the boss flies over the map. So you oh, know yeah, and there's little white lightnings under where he was. Yeah. Okay. There's right. also like this blue, blue, you know. The blue smoke or whatever, the, the kush or whatever. That thing's gonna like in one straight line too, yeah. Okay, and that does like giga damage as well, I think. Yeah, this one, you just have to stay in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. Don't counter and dash to the right and dodge one of the lasers and you send Tyrain. So wait till they you group up and Thyrin bombing, bombing opposite so sides. Yeah, one see, of them like, will they group up in the to middle. Counter. One Do is countering, right? The other one is wait on that until side. the counter one charges go, to the center. You see how go one shot a yellow laser? One, you can use oh, Thyrin to hit both dragons. And then you double Thyrin. Okay, so you don't counter and then it's and then you can double Thyrin. You need to keep paying attention to the lightning suns. You must hit the Thyrin or else it's a time stop angle. Support and Gunnaster Awakening should be used at the second or third wave because it has the most accidents. If you succeed this mechanic, he will be stunned and you need to drop his HP to zero bars from that point. He won't do any Here, Blackpool right. spawns, but it's Once you know the hazard. dragon is dead, when he comes down, you have a shot. This is always this for like DPS gremlins, okay? When he comes down like that, right? Okay. Just make sure to send your biggest burst in under 10 seconds or 8 seconds. If you have Atrophin, Atrophin, then send your fucking tree bubble. Just fucking destroy his ass, right? Because it's always 100% that he flies up into the air after this. I don't know, maybe Stoops is going to start crying because he's going to like open up his, you know. Like, let, let, let's just say for Stoops, right? The moment he sees the boss come down, he's gonna spend five to four seconds doing this, okay? Dead ass, this is what he's gonna do in the race. 
if he if he's like hyping himself up, he's like, oh, yo, shit, Casper, you got me with the tree bubble, man. Yo, tree bubble, right now. I'm ready. I'm ready. By the time he finished monologuing, right, this is not like in, this is not like an enemy, you know, where people give you a chance to attack. And the boss would probably have flown off, and then he activated his identity on Shura, and nothing goes through. <laughs> It, it, Deadly, you see how like he flew up into dangerous. the sky here. That thing is hundred percent. It always happens. Gate two's okay. He goes down onto the ground, Deadly. right? You see, he goes Zero down on the ground. He point. comes down from he the sky. This is like a very short DPS window, and he flies up. He comes on the ground, and he comes. Okay, so, can you hit him like right here? No. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, I'm lost. So I'm okay, well, I don't understand. So you, you beat the shit out of him here, and then he will go up into the sky. You only get a short window to beat the shit out of him there, oh. and he will always go up into the sky. Okay, I see. Okay, so it's literally the five seconds where like it transitions, you're hitting him here. And then when once he just teleports, you can actually attack when he's here, right? For a second? No, you can't. Okay, wait, then I'm fucking lost. I'm high as fuck. Okay, wait, does he show him the video you're talking about then? No, right right here in the middle is when he comes Oh, down. this part. Okay, yeah, bro, this is... Okay, I thought it was edited because of how it cut. Okay, never mind. Okay, I get what you mean. And then this is just dodge. Yeah, because you see, after Tyrain hits, right? Just just play the video regularly. Not right? After Tyrain hits, they kill this dragon, Majority right? Of his normal oh, never mind. Are not he, the dragon killed him. Oh. <laughs> double scratch. He will cast a large yellow. Here, let's go out. back. So they double Easy Tyrain. Kill. Final wave is two dragons spawning opposite sides. One of them will proceed to counter. Do not counter this and wait until the countering one charges mm -hmm. to the center. Okay. Go behind the charged one yeah. and use Tyrain to hit both dragons to kill one and leave one with small health. You will need to keep paying attention to the lightning suns and the boss going across the map. Support and Gunlancer Awakening should be used at the second or third wave because it has the most accidents. If you succeed this mechanic, he will be stunned right. and you need Once to you drop succeed, his you see how like white lightning flashes, oh, he comes okay, down. Yeah, yeah. Do fast, this is what I mean. You, you see oh, how fast okay, it that's is? How fa that, that's the, the entire, that's the entire thing. It's yeah, not it edited. That's like, one. Okay, you just could like send a skill or yeah, two. It gives that's you it. like around like eight seconds or like seven <laughs> seconds each. That's what I mean. That's why I say okay. like, dude, he's going to see that window, right? He's going to be, oh shit, yo, get him boys, get him. He's going to spend eight seconds monologuing. He's going to activate his identity. He's going to punch once and then he's going to be like, are you kidding me? Blah blah blah. And then you know, he did like one punch in his Shura sense. <laughs> and the boss is gonna fly away. That ring being dangerous. <laughs> Gate 2's most death situations are from not taking care of Dark Mucus debuff into explosion. Majority no, of his last part. This is just most are deaths. not lethal, but there are some mentionable ones. Double hmm. scratch. He will cast a large yellow pizza. After his first one, he will always cast another one. So prepare your tenacity skills and space bars if you see the first one. There are distinguishable sound cues for this pattern too. Slow counter. He will smash the ground and scratch across. If he rotates his head, it's a follow up. Bro, this gate looks attack. fucking if he rough. If does not rotate his head, it's a counter. And a counter one is a little bit slower. Is it easier? You said it was, yeah. this is an easy Fast gate? Counter. He will always do this counter at the uh, early stage of yeah, this two. Uh, he sometimes one. turn his head because, very quickly okay, and The reason I say that is if because failed, they already like nerfed the rate down like a very sizable amount. Mm -hmm. Like you know during the first week, right? It's actually kind of weird, but gate one has like a random bug. Mm -hmm. uh, they fixed it like only two weeks later or something. The blue lightning coming down from the sky, right? Yeah. Actually one hit you regardless of your health. And it's like very subtle too. It's like it just <laughs> pew and then you're dead. And you can't even see it sometimes. We we don't we, we don't know why it was in the game. We thought it was intended. Because I know they said they might was it... gonna Yeah. We we thought it was intended. Like players were like asking, like, is this actually how the game is supposed to work? Like just one second like the lightning <laughs> oh, comes out. One second lightning and it just like one shots you and kills you immediately. That's kinda of fucked. That actually is. Yeah, really it's like fun. it does four hundred K or something. So people are wondering, like, is that actually a thing? Well, mm -hmm. Was that how it's like designed? Because they say Taemin is a difficult raid, mm -hmm. you know? And apparently it was a bug. It's, and it's only supposed to do like 40k to you or something. What the fuck? That's a little bit of a difference. randomly in like the first week, it was just one-shotting people. That's fucked. That's actually pain. What the fuck? We'll grab but yeah, Gate 2, not that bad. Big Dragon, Lightning only very shotgun. scary at the end. Watch out for his <laughs> rap early on. <laughs> the residue stays um, for a while and it can keep stun you. So when you see Try to bring a breaker for more DPS, but yeah. <laughs> Trying to bring a breaker? <laughs> no, like dead ass if you can get a wizard, right? Mm -hmm. If you can get a wizard, right? Or <laughs> what's it called? If you can get a wizard or, you know, because I heard wizard patch is going to come in. If you can get a yeah, wizard yeah, or the, if you can the next like, a breaker, right? Or like death plate, you're pumping. 
you for classes like you might so classes that you want to avoid are maybe like um the poo poo slinger, right? Those classes are not very good here. Damn. Like, honestly, damn. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, that part we gotta edit out of the video though. That part, uh, <laughs> we can edit out of the video. But yeah, that's just gate two. <laughs> you know, this for is... gate one, right? Uh huh. We actually first time I ran with Legalia, I was like telling him, "Wait, yo, Legalia, you need to stop taking the red ops. You know the the thing that you need to stack up ten times for damage, right?" Yeah. And so for people like Legalia, he should not take the red ops. That one is only for DPS. You see, like only DPSs should be taking that. So for people like him, right? He should focus more on showing the crit synergy and killing the mobs for us so that we can take the That's so dumb. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so funny. Yes, you need to stay away from his front. There are also stun lightnings and dark missions at static points in the map. This is quite annoying, so there are no choice things. This is the kind of stuff I feel like, I'm going to be honest, I, I can't retain this. I don't know about you guys, I actually can't, like, this shit, I just have to play it. Play it. I can't, like, see it in the video doesn't, like, save in my brain. I have to, like, actually do it, you know what I mean? What is this even? I I've done Gate 2 so many times, but I have no idea. <laughs> You've never this seen like... this? <laughs> Listen, like if the... he doesn't recognize the... it, boys, it means it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? It just means it doesn't oh, matter. The thing looks like a. The Dangerous thing looks like the barrel of a, you know, like a machine gun, you know, like the. The oh yeah, like a shot, like a like a like a pistol or whatever. Yeah, this thing looks like the barrel of a fucking Gatling gun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boys. So that was the first two gates. I probably should write this down. I just realized for the uh, to like make like uh, timestamps in the video. But this is the first two gates of Thamine. Uh Now we're going to be going into the. Uh, into the third gate. So this is going to be the first actually uh, hard gate of the raid. The, the six hours we just watched the videos was the easy part. This is actually the hard part, guys. Welcome to the Legion raid. Guys. Okay, gate three and gate four, I actually have like omega tips, especially gate four. Gate four, I have giga omega tips, especially for domain expansion, 100% dot trade. <laughs> domain <Zero> expansion. <laughs> You, okay, I swear if you take my advice for domain expansion, you will never fail that. You are actually him. You are actually going Damn. to Damn. Damn, that's 100%. a guarantee. 100% crit. That's crit. Dude, I'm going to be honest, boys. That sounds pretty good. That sounds like a pretty good fucking deal. I'm not going to lie. Gate 3 Theomine is a demon type boss with 300 HP bars with this. Bro, what the fuck is this? The, fu uh, the fuck is Okay. Oh, wait, Albion? Uh <laughs> okay, we, you know we get there, 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 we get there. No spoilers, no spoilers. Forty bars. I know it looks confusing, but it's really not that confusing. It's not that bad. I though. know it looks confusing, but it's really not that confusing. <laughs> I know it does. I know it does, but trust me, right? It's not that bad. And and this is is this a, a sacred, a, a a splendid sacred charm angle, or do we just bring in the normal ones? Oh, usually I sometimes don't even bring the sacred charms. I just remember. <laughs> Wait, Not gonna you... lie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you if you bring Splendor, it, it'd be good here. Splendor would be good here, okay? Yeah, Splendor, Splendor is pretty good here. You can cleanse certain things that are pretty good. But most of the time, usually once the group gets used to it, right, you, you don't really have to use it anymore. I would say Splendor is only very high value, right, mm -hmm. in Gate 4. Because okay. Gate 4 Gate four is when normal patterns, you might need to use Splendor to save the party from dying to party wipe. Because they're built in, you know, Actual wiping max. There's actual before. wipe built into a normal pattern. Okay. Yeah. Wait until the initial explosion starts. It's a bait for blind runners. Approach the sword based on where his hands are raised. When you arrive close enough, stay far enough to not get hit by. See his how the sword, wait, right? Okay, wait, wait, wait. You have to look. Wait, they gave him blue armor on top of a blue throne in a blue area, and you have to look at what he's doing. Raised. When you arrive close, his so his hands are raised. Okay. He will raise his hand, it's not that clear in the video, but when he raises his hand, right, mm -hmm. it will shine. It, okay, it's not very convincing, but it will also shine, but it will shine blue. Inside the blue background. But, you know, it's like neon bright blue, you know what I mean? Stay far enough okay. to not get it's still blue, but it's very bright blue. Oh, I see the little finger, okay, I see the little finger there. He's got a little, okay, I see that. Basically pointing, yeah, they had to sense it because he's pointing his middle finger at you. Getting hit by any darkness attacks from Theomine will give you mortal wound debuff for two minutes. You just do stagger on the middle thing, okay? Damage from all attacks per stack. Yeah. And every time you're hit, stack goes up and timer refreshes. The sword starts with a stagger check. Be aware that the second explosion <clears throat> will be around the sword. 
You need to stagger in time and deal as much damage as you can. Most groups tend to reach 35 to 28 bars. After the cutscene, he will always start with his signature teleport to Sword Wave. The Sword Wave can kill most Dodge DPS classes can one -shot and it you. gives mortal wounds. And probably does 120k to 190k damage. Yeah, but for people like Stoop, right, you, are ch you, you have to get MVP, right? It's for the chat. It is <laughs> for the content. So you have to... Uh, here, right, Casform say you DR him, but don't actually DR him. Like, <laughs> telling him to press... Like, telling him to press X and say that it's tankable. <laughs> I mean, 20% reduction, you're chilling, dude. This pattern is scripted as a follow-up attack after summon Shadow. Yes, he always does a wave there. I want to go over some normal patterns yep. here. Majority of his normal patterns are lethal, and you must focus on getting used to all of his normal patterns for a clear. His spaces will be indicated on the top right as normal and enhanced as well. They are ranked and most important to memorize. Double slash to back grab. He will slash twice forward and teleport his sword behind him to grab someone. Then he will slam his left side. If you're okay. not comfortable with this pattern, stay at head position the whole time to avoid the grab and slam at all costs. Riddle spin. He will spin his sword like a helicopter and proceed to riddle spin around him. Then he will smash to ground causing yeah, a wave going outwards. See how he took so much damage far. even though he's um... On GL. He's a bot and he's like DRing himself. Yeah, he was, him. he was a bot. And he was he will DRing himself, by the way. Going outwards. That's 80% and... damage reduction with heavy armor on. Yeah, this boss was still insane. chopping his legs off. <laughs> yeah, this is fucked. He almost turned into Min's meat. Okay, so supports have to be DRing this. Like, whenever this is happening, we need big DR to, like, deal with this. Does everyone just get out? Does DPS just get out? Yeah, everyone just gets out. But if you see a DPS getting caught by it, you have to try and save it as a support. Okay. Then he will smash because, let, let's say in general, right? When I went mm. in, right? I'm not sure how... I think even Saint Tone, right? We were comparing damage back then. When I was 1630, some of my armors were under eye level. But Saint Tone was like 1640, 1650, right? We yeah. were Scouter and like Sharpshooter. Mm -hmm. I took 28k per, per tick, right? 80k is like taking like 10k each per tick. But Saint was like taking like 25, 20, 24. So it didn't really help that much to have that more armor. Okay, it's, you, you it can just still does. Die to it even if yeah, okay, level so is even high. if you're over level with armor, it's, it still does like giga fucking damage. Ground causing a wave going outwards very far. A different thing though, it might, some of this stuff might be a little easier for us guys because they also, the defense coefficients for all of us, like next week, did, I don't know if that made a big difference. Did you, did you guys feel that when you got it? I know it might be hard because you guys are getting power systems as well. But next week, we're I also think, getting a, a buff to our defense bar, uh, coefficients. It's definitely everything. Defense more on your class. It, yeah, like, that makes um, sense. That makes sense. I would say heart more. Hard mode is not that bad. Like, really, hard mode is very doable for, like, even casual players. I think hard mode is very doable now, mm -hmm. like, ever since they nerfed down the raid. Maybe not gate 4. Gate 4, I agree, is completely fucked up. But gate 3 is very doable with casual players. Like, seriously, okay. they, they made it pretty well. They nerfed it down to, like, a suitable difficulty already. And it's like, there's gonna be, you know, classes are, like, getting buffed up. This is not, like, the old sorcerers when... You are Giga Despair, you know? Yeah, yeah, like you're that. throwing you're like old, Giga like, slow doomsdays and shit. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. It, okay. it's, pre it's pretty good overall now. Gate 3 difficulty. Move close to him as soon as the riddle spin animation finishes. Stop. Holy it's shit, stopping. that was so much damage. What the fuck? Bar. Move close yeah. to him as soon it, it as the riddle spin damage. animation finishes. That's in Rhapsody. Stop. That's crazy. Stomp emits a dark wave. This blinds you, and this pattern enhances later. Space bar over, yeah, and you have to bear in mind too, right? During the if fight of blinded, mind, he throws out um swords or like patterns that can stack debuffs on you. He doesn't. Okay, you see that three X thing under his bar right now on his warlord. Yeah, right? yeah. Certain patterns in day mind will stack this debuff up. Each one increases damage from him by I think twenty percent. Okay. Twenty per stack. Yeah. Oh fuck. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, so if you have a lot of stacks, sometimes <sighs> he can just, you know, maybe he like does like a wind fart or something in your direction and does it, it does like You're 500k like Yeah, okay, that's insane. Just, <laughs> wind fart. <laughs> Holy you shit. You can't dude. see red telegraphs with hindered vision. Be sure to cleanse immediately. Draven. He will teleport away and spawn swords going across like sawmills. It will go across seven times, and each of these swords give lethal stacks. The blue telegraph has a point of intersection. He will teleport to someone afterwards for a vertical slam with a large energy wave across. Go behind them quickly. Clock inside, counter clock outside. He will spin his sword around him and explode. It is inside safe at clockwise okay, this, and outside this safe one, at counter clockwise. agree, this pattern, right? Mm -hmm. Counter clockwise, CW, CCW, right? Okay. Memorize this before the raid comes out if you want to save time because he does this 
throughout the entire fight, and he can knock you off the platform. Me- this is like one of those. Sword the only two things in same mind that are very, very extremely worth memorizing. It's this clockwise, okay. counterclockwise pattern, right? You see how it spins, yeah. right? And then you see the explosion is inside. It blows you out really far, right? Yeah. You can super arm it by space barring inside. But if you get knocked down during like six, uh, during the 110 bars, you know, when you're doing clash and stuff, it's giga despair because you got to reset after that, right? If you don't have enough so, CPS. So counterclockwise, you run out or you space bar it. <laughs> And then clockwise, yeah. you stay in. You, you can space bar both, but it's either like, because sometimes maybe you don't have space bar, right? Mm-hmm. If you have time stop, you can time stop it to prevent it from shooting you out of the map. Or you can just space bar the explosion that So happens. this you run, you run out if you don't have space bar? Yeah. And then, and one, then this one, one you just stay on like him. The, yeah, you see the sword, right? Okay, the yeah. sword that's like spinning around. That sword also hits you and knocks you down. <laughs> of course, okay. <laughs> so let's say, say let's say you get unlucky, right? Let's say you get unlucky, the sword uh-huh. comes out and it starts spinning on you, right? Mm-hmm. If that happens, he can push you into the outside and then maybe the outside pushes you more again. Okay. Or maybe it can throw you in and then the inside explodes and the inside explodes you out. You know? Okay, so you have it's to like... Fun. Okay, so you, you kind of have to... Ideally, it's it sounds like you're you're you going to be trying to that, yeah. yeah you have to you have to learn how to space bar on to memorize essentially counterclockwise you have to TS use some sort of tier two super armor like you have to learn how or to like deal with it probably by actually yeah, just, just like the, dodging it just think of it like in and out yeah just think of it like in and out pretty much okay okay watch the red telegraphs energy. Very Let me go back here. Variation. So, variation command just staying close and here. DPS, and use space bar or tenacity skills regardless of what variation it is. Summon swords. There are two variations on summon swords, and they are very easy to dodge. But it does give you lethal stacks though, so watch the red telegraphs. Energy yeah, blast. Some parsing and sword pattern. Uh, wait, Whatever wait, go, go back to the sword again. The sword. Uh, this one. The, the five swords. Okay, yeah. Swords. Play it here. There are two variations on summon swords. This one's the first one, right? Mm-hmm. Second one, right? Here, you see how there's a little gap in between his, like, um, what's that called? You see? The body? Okay. Yeah, like it makes a little star, yeah. but there's like a That's little... A, you can or... stay inside and keep hitting if you're back attack or something. You can actually stay inside. Okay, but that's good to let's know. let's say if you're a class that... You know some classes have, like... Yeah, maybe you're you backstep, dead, like, Glavier, Glavier steps back whenever she does her red dragon yeah. when it puts you into, it puts four, you into the zone. Your star four red dragon and stuff can push you into the red. I fucking hate my class. You know which class doesn't though? Breaker. Breaker, you just stand in front. It only pushes you forward. <laughs> Breaker, Breaker, you just press one button, you know? <laughs> okay, that's actually good to know. So you have to be you have to be careful. Yep. How fast does this resolve? Did they they don't did they give you a stack as they fall, or is it only after it resolves? Because it, it doesn't show the, how it how it ends. But when the swords come down, because you know, let's say in a con. You know when he does the lasers? It, it takes a G2? while. It, it definitely it takes, takes a while. while. Okay, so you can like greet an attack yeah. and then like tuck in and then just keep greeting afterwards or something, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. If I were to give like three major pointers in this fight, right? Mm-hmm. Matt, you can learn gate three without fighting the boss. Okay, so this is the thing, right? Most people in most people that were running this raid, like if we wanted to clear week one or week two, the only the only like realistic way is that because the boss inflicts darkness debuff on you a lot and you can't see. It. So okay. you memorize the patterns by looking at how the boss moves his hands, you know, how he swings his yeah, sword. Yeah, okay, like his the preemptive now, Does that make sense? Right? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, man. it's like, imagine like, you know how in Hell Vaulten, right? Mm-hmm. You have to remember the X, the axes without seeing the indicator, right? Yeah. So it's like just from his animation, you can tell what he's doing. It's the same in Daymind. If you can watch replays and videos and you can tell exactly what he's doing, without the indicators, right? Like, you mm-hmm. just watch a video, you test yourself on the scene, you're just, he's gonna do, like, this swing or a back swing. It's good because in gate 3 and gate 4, he's gonna blind you a lot sometimes, and you just cannot see the patterns, and you might die. Okay, that makes sense. So I guess another thing, boys, if you if you use it, and this might be weird advice, but, and this has helped me a lot in prog, is because I'm always recording my gameplay technically, because I'm streaming, but if you guys use shadow play and you die to something like, bro, what the fuck happened? Having somebody in the group with shadow play on, it's kind of nice because you could record the last whatever like two minutes one minute five minutes of your gameplay and then you could together in discord go over the actual like video and see what the animation looks like because it'll help accelerate your progression a lot if you can like 
be like, okay, this is how, what's, this is the wind up for what he's about to do. So you're able to see it before it happens kind of thing. You know what I mean? Mm. And sword throws. Whenever he backsteps or face backwards, he will fire two types of energy blasts, also a large wave, or he will simply throw his sword. They don't do a lot of damage, but the lasers do blind you. Sword Sawmill. He will spin two of his swords around him. It is head safe the whole time. Entropy players should receive shields and DR to freely DPS at the back. Charge Smash. He will float and aggro one person and charge up his sword. The red telegraphs don't give lethal stacks at all. The slam itself is back this and one, close front you safe. Hope it that looks your scary, back attacker but doesn't randomly turn it to the back. Oh, because he's following. Okay, so again, another thing: if you're if you're back at the entropy, don't Charge be a goblin. You have to be aware. Aggro one person. Yeah, like that you being targeted. The red telegraph. Bro, I'm gonna be honest. In NA, dude, I don't know if it's the same thing in KR, bro. This is I swear to God, dude. It's so rare you find people who are aware when the boss targets them, dude. <laughs> it's actually so rare, dude. <laughs> That's the a DPS loss. At all. The slam itself is back and close front safe. It looks scary, but it's a okay, very important Okay, back and close DPS front pattern. safe. Target okay. player must keep his head still because his slam attack is very large. Stand right in front of him. Okay. DMI's first time-based pattern is summon dark clones. You will see this first. He will take a pose and start gathering dark energy. This animation is crucial to identify. Try to memorize it. When the orb explodes, two players on hard, one player on normal will receive a dark sword icon above their head that lasts 5 seconds. Okay. He will do a follow up teleport to blue slash attack with a down swing behind them or 270 degrees from where he's facing. He always spins counterclockwise. Never ever get hit by this at all costs. As for the shadow clones, if you place them too close to each other, they can turn into a larger one that does damage when people stand on them. Recommended dropping positions are the outskirts of the map. Okay, so you make a little X. I'm covering it up with my yeah. camera a little bit. You just make a little X you with can, that voice. You can do them on the outsides of the map and the corners, or you can actually put them even throughout the middle. You see how it's like cross, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a cross through the middle. Um, you can put them in a line like that too, across the oh, middle. Oh, like a cross the all the way. Okay, right. I see what you mean. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Because you're going to get multiple of these, right? So why is it, um, out of curiosity, why is it that you would make them in a cross to, oh, because they, oh, yeah, we don't get it. Why would you make them a cross, like, down the X, right? Let me move my oh, camera for this. Instead of just, like, dropping right. them around the edge. You know what I mean? One one is that usually during pro, sometimes the whole map can get pretty messy. And if they're all across the corner, sometimes there's, the safe spot is so tiny it's oh, ridiculous but okay so you have to because you have to actually because, move out to the edge sometimes i guess right is that is it like a thing it, it's both a dps loss right to go all the way out to the edge of the map mm -hmm. and even if you go there sometimes it's not safe if you put it in this manner right mm -hmm. sometimes some parts of the map can be giga safe because they're slicing all towards like one corner you get uh, what i mean yeah okay, because i understand if they're slicing okay. from the let's say like you fill up the entire circle on the outside right mm-hmm Whenever the boss does that mech, every one of those clones is going to send a fucking wave in, you know? Oh, yeah, the clones are doing shit too. I forgot about that. It also depends on the way, what they're doing. Okay, I forgot. I didn't realize that. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, one other thing is also because it's better because when you put it like this, mm -hmm. when the boss does the clash pattern, he will delete all the clones. Okay. Does that make sense? Because... When the, the clash, clash is like the, the Osu shit, right? I've, I, that's the, yeah, like the you know how the platforms comes, yeah. start to break slowly <clears throat> apart mm -hmm. everywhere on the map? Yeah. When he does that clash pattern, right? If you put it in a line like this, the first clash will delete half the clone. And you're okay. only left with like another half. Okay. So it depends on the group. Some people can put it at the edges of the map. But putting it in the middle and you can constantly keep DPSing is also a pretty good spot. It depends on what the group wants to do. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Distribute them without being out of battle for too long. The Shadow Clones will also fire its own white sword energy every time Theomine does a blue slash attack again. They each deal separate damage with lethal stacks. If you're having trouble placing your shadows where you want, try to spacebar into your desired position when your debuff second has one second left. You will see Theomine's identity pattern afterwards. This is a new mechanic in Lost Ark. Theomine has an identity meter located on top left beside his HP bar. Every time this fills up to a certain amount, his red sword pattern will be queued up. The red sword pattern is an instant kill damage attack. This is why time stops and crisis evasion for supports is really good for proccing. There are three motions on normal, four on hard. There is also two phases, so there are six and eight variations total. You need to memorize it all because his full identity meter red pattern has to be done blind. Red warning signs also do not appear if you're blinded too. 
cubes. He will bring a sword out and let it so float. So every right? time, every time a new gauge fills up, he has a new one-shot death pattern that he does. Essentially, I just he realized that card. He will do one out of the four random patterns. Okay. Oh, okay. There's four possible ones. Yeah. You. The reason why ATK says there's eight in normal is because he swaps between two forms technically. Oh. Okay. So that's why it's eight. So you see how this one is like a semicircle and an inside safe. Yeah. His other variation is semicircle and outside. Oh, okay, I see. And then this is just different, like, squares? Yeah, this okay. one's square. is like, on his right side of the body, it's safe. And the other variation is backside safe. This, okay. So, one other tip I can give, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of looking at the sword, look at the aura he emits. Like, every... Mm -hmm. Okay, if you, go, if you go back to the very start of the red patterns, right? And then, I'll just tell you when to pause. Like, All right. See, you can display this one. I'll play this one, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, here. You see how... Look, look at the body, right? Look at the electric... You see on the floor? Yeah. There's a lot of these like, electric feelings, right? Mm -hmm. these, if it's electric -y, that means that it's gonna be this semicircle, you know, outside, in safe, oh, or outside, okay. outside safe. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So there's, there's telegraphs also with like the, his... Okay, there's like a telegraph ahead of time of what because he's gonna do. Think, think of it this way, right? Sometimes you won't be able to see his sword and you don't know where he's at. So okay. you look at the aura, it tells you immediately. Oh, so see, look at this, look at this, right? He's white, in. white and red. Always white and red. This is the only white and red pattern. White and red pattern, right safe or back safe. You'll see. Like, you see? Okay, but this okay, one is the, Yeah, this is the beginning of the fight, so right safe. And the other one will be back safe. Now this one, you'll see again, right? Look at his aura, right? Oh, okay, yeah, okay, he has, he has red. The red, yeah. Yeah, it's just red, red, right? So red is always red, top? glowing, no electric, no electric, nothing. It's always top, bottom, left, right, or just a little bit outside. Okay, so the X, he's doing see. an X damage on that one. Okay, and then this one... Yeah, see how it's like white again, right? Yeah. White white glows coming in. And it's left side because it's later on in the fight. So early on in the fight, it's always going to be top right. And then later on in the fight, it's always bottom left. Okay, I don't know why he said Daymine's left side when the boss is... Okay, so this is the problem, right? Would you say that is the left side of Daymine? Uh, pro no, but it's pro he probably means like, le like our left, like, like yeah, how we see him. Like, but yeah, Thaymin's left is not, left. Thaymin's left would be over yeah. here on the right side. Yeah. Yeah. Because if he's looking upwards and then you stand on the left, that's mm -hmm. dead. Vertically. Yeah, if you and get slash his left side in two big cube types. Okay, yeah, he, it might have yeah. just been like a typo. He'd like, these things are fucking actually like Hands so long to make we'll have it probably just like a little type of but yeah so it's essentially on our on to the left side of the boss so, so well, let's play this over so do this if you're blinded too cubes he will bring a sword out and let it float vertically then slash his left side in two big cube okay so this is just like at the beginning it's going to be right and then the, at the end it's going to be or like so at, whatever i don't know how to say it but you know what i mean like at the beginning it'll be up here like on the top right and then later on in the fight it'll be at the bottom left or could they both happen at any time his right side is safe, his left side is not safe, pretty oh. much. Okay. Telegraphs. The enhanced During this version pattern, will yeah. have him take a crouching pose. But is there a way to See, tell which side, right if, is there a way to tell if it's left or right based off the aura? Yeah. No, uh, actually, no. Based on which side, it depends on what form he's in. What form he's oh, in okay, depends the form. on the health okay. bar. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay, I see. It depends on what. The reason why I say aura is like super easy to tell is because during darkness, right, there are times that his body will turn and aura is the only thing you can see sometimes during mm -hmm. darkness. Yeah. His aura is still super visible in darkness. I, I mean, I could pull out a clip, but you can see this one first. Yeah, no, no, I get it. No, I, I totally get what you mean. Okay. And then this. And take a crouching pose about to slash. The two big cute telegraphs because now will be at front of he's him. He's in a Both. different form, right? That's mm -hmm. why... He's slicing forward instead of the right side. Okay. You know All what right. I mean? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I guess yeah. I just have to know what the forms look like, but I, but I, it, it makes sense. It's just pretty much depending on the form he's in. Well, that's how you form, know if it's top or like top right or bottom left. His health bar. Oh, really? Okay. Hey. Does it make sense? It's like make, yeah, yeah. Just there's just there's yeah, it's it's, it's right. a, just an actual like uh, it's a it's an actual yeah, it's like health like okay. It's like three hundred to two hundred bars. He's in form <laughs> one maybe, and then two hundred to one hundred. He's in form two. Something like that. Yeah, like exactly like okay. that. Okay, alright, that's what's something we'll, we'll learn as we do it. Both variations can yeah. be dodged behind them if stood close. Another attribute you can check to distinguish between the patterns is based on the is mech that you finish in the game that he swaps forms. 
Okay. It's very good. Yeah. Okay, as you're going through his actual gimmicks, then it, it affects yeah. this pattern. After, okay. after the gimmicks, he will change form. He will change form. Yep. Okay. All right. That makes sense. See, look, exactly. see, check white cloud effects, right? That, that's one way. This yeah, one is exactly. the final. This one is the final one, right? So there's only four types of auras you need to remember. Straight up mm -hmm. four types. So it's lightning, one looks like red, red, and then lightning, white. red, white, and the last one is reverse gravity. Reverse gravity and red is the most um, reverse gravity and red is the most sketchy one because if you play the video, it will show reverse gravity. You, oh, you'll over see, here, you'll like, see. here, let me uh, play it. Yeah, through. If, if you play it, right? The next pattern after this is gonna be reverse gravity because you see right here, right here, you'll see reverse gravity, right? Like it looks like reverse gravity. It's oh, red. Oh, like the sorcerer see... skill. Okay, because there's rocks coming up as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, okay, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, you can see that. Okay, so you pay attention to the rocks. Either you have rocks. And this looks like the first one. So there's the first red one. The red one is just aura. So this is donuts. Yeah, this is the the red one and reverse gravity looks. Oh no, wait, this is the first similar. one. So it's this one. So okay, this is just only red. And that's donuts. Yeah. And then there's the lightning, which is an X, if I'm not mistaken, right? Lightning is is the X. Yeah, lightning is. Oh no, uh, oh, no lightning's lightning no is lightning is, is cleave. It's a uh, cleave and then and then inside safe. Inside safe. The other variation is outside. Okay. Much. Like inside outside. Okay. The white one is the most easy to remember. Yeah, yeah, it white, actually white is because it's so it's so distinct. Okay, I see. And then we go to and see, this, is, this is red. That is red. If you go back, that one is red. When yeah, this is red. Yeah. So this is linked to donuts. It's donuts is you know where the safe spot is for donuts, right? Donuts is linked to that one, which is front, back, left, right, safe, like twelve, three, six, nine. Mm -hmm. That's why they're going to the back now. Oh, I see. It's it's pretty much this is happening, but because it's dark, it looks fucked up. But this is essentially what you're seeing. This is what's happening out like outside, essentially, right? This is one of the variations. The other one that they oh, saw was like oh, uh, it's an it's the same thing, but an X. Okay, so yeah, it's like a X shape, like okay, all sort right. of like very big cross. And all these are instant kills too. Holy shit, that's crazy. That's gonna be rough to learn. Yeah, I think I don't know if normal is instant kill, but hard mode you have to memorize everything. Okay, all right, that's not too bad. It's just a slam your head into an angle. Like, that's just what stuff like this, you just have to do it over and over again until, you, uh, until you're until you comfortable with it. Good, good way to practice, right, is look up VODs, maybe. Look up VODs of, like, even, like, the Korean players. Skip to a certain point, right? Mm -hmm. Skip to a certain point of the video. Just play the video, <laughs> just play the video naturally, right, at 1x speed, and keep your mouse, like, over the character and just, you know, like, guess, right? You don't have to click on the screen, but just, like, guess, like... Yeah, or you could just, like, pause, right? Like, as you see it happen, be like, all right, he's supposed to go here, and then, like, you click, he playing the video, and you could see, like, how it's going to go and stuff. Yeah, the moment you get used to it, then... It, it will save you a lot of time, because... Daemon is not a short fight, you know? Daemon is really not a short fight. Yeah. And it doesn't help that... If you want to practice this, think of it this way, right? You can either practice this gimmick by looking at VODs, playing the replays, and just moving your mouse according yeah. to what he's doing. Or you can go into the gate itself and spend hours just, like, getting to that point to try it once. Yeah, that makes sense. I get what you mean. Because whenever he does it next, you if, if so you lose people, you're kind of fucked, right? Yeah. I mean, listen, boys, if all eight people ain't doing it, though, you fucked. You know what I'm saying? It just takes one person to fuck it up. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it just true. takes one yeah. person to fuck it up, and then you're just you're just fucking sad, dude. They they mine is a lot of like memory work, like just memorizing all the patterns, getting used to it. That's why, unironically, watching vods and videos can save you a lot of time, can help you, you know, be less stressed about it. Yeah, that makes sense. That actually makes a lot of sense. Down. This is a pizza-shaped attack exploding twice. Safe spots from normal variations is the same for both hits, but enhanced version will alternate safe positions. He's enhanced one, right? He you have to move. Alternate. Utilize a head and. Oh, and how do you know if it's enhanced? Is that just like another? Is that just position. another form thing? Or oh, is it... oh, and, and enhanced. When he says enhanced, okay, let's just keep it enhanced. Mm -hmm. Um, when I say form change, let's just keep it enhanced. That, that's okay. what I mean. Okay, enhanced like, is okay. Up, but he enhances, right? Like, he enhance and non-enhance, enhance, non-enhance. Non that I think that's a better way to say it. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, and then, so this is inverted. So when it's enhanced, it's safe, and then it's yeah, dangerous, and you rotate. Yeah, enhanced version. Okay. Because you utilize a head and back attack. bars, right? 230 Draw. bars means they finished the sword mech already. Okay. So this is when 
he enhances and everything, all the other red patterns also change to the enhanced mode. Oh, okay, and I see. After they go through the next mech, he changes back to normal mode again. And after the next mech, enhanced. After the next mech, normal again. Okay. Constantly, he constantly swaps between both. Okay, all right, that makes sense. Draw a Based line from the, the dot mechanism. and the yeah. end of the symbol. This can help you indicate where the safe spots can be, especially when you're blinded. Rings and cross. Oh, shit, you will pull the sword well. out shit. and let it float horizontally. Then he will create double ring red telegraphs. You have to step back a little. His effect indicates how far you need to stay away. Enhanced version will be plus position safe. This, this, this red one, right? This is the other donut variation. Pac-Man. This mode. Is the other That's donut the variation? So it was the yeah, first one, know, right? You know how the donut. You will create double this ring the, red telegraphs. This is the normal you have to one. Step back okay. Around. His and effect indicates how far you need shows, to stay away. Enhanced the next version one he shows, will be right? plus position safe. Is the enhanced version. Yeah. Okay. That was the one where 12369 is safe. Okay. This motion appears at hard mode only. This pattern still kills so many people too. Basically, he's front, front back, left, right. Sorry, what was it? Like Oops, basically, he's front, back, and left, right. Not 12369. Okay. okay. Bro, this is fucking. This is a lot of shit. <laughs> Normal vision will slash behind oh, them. Oh, don't as worry. Pac-Man shape. Then... Gate four is like X three of this. <laughs> yeah, this could be fucked, dude. An inside safe. I don't even know if ring. you can turn However, gate four into a enhanced... video. It's actually that, that. To be honest, I have a feeling gate four no, probably you know the, is like. The, there was this Reddit post, right? Wait, sorry, mm -hmm. I'm interrupting. No, no, you no, know go the ahead, Reddit go post that, um, yeah. someone posted, right? And it was like this whole Bible or like a cheat sheet. That thing is pretty accurate. I it's saw like that it's like, it's like a, it's like a fucking it's like seventeen different fucking uh, cheat sheets. I saw that shit. Yeah, it's seven like seventeen different sheets, right? That thing is pretty accurate. It's pretty well done too. It's like very very accurate of what gate four requires you to remember versus gate three. Bro, that thing was like fucking. That was a lot of pages. That was like four pages just for one gate. You know, what I'm saying that shit had a that was a big. And boy. The worst part is there's technically more for you to remember because it doesn't cover a lot of the normal patterns. Yeah. So Fuck. TLDR is. They mine, right? Mm -hmm. His basic attacks, some of them, very few, right? They are something, you, you can call them like variation patterns, right? Okay. So let me give you an example, right? In Gate 4, he can do something called a triple counter. He raises his sword. He can counter one time, two mm -hmm. times, or three times, completely random. But sometimes, after the second counter, he can dash once, slam the floor, dash again, and then you need to counter. Okay. So or you have to be like kind of like ready to ready to like counter yeah, and show like that? Yeah, sometimes you can do one, two, three counters on the spot. Sometimes he can dash, dash, and then you counter again. It listen, is not a very fun experience listen, in terms guys, of coordinating stuff. This is a slam your face into it and don't give up angle. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's what it is. Yeah, you, yeah, that's that's it. that's, it's, you have to it just like slam you, the thing is you you're building um like not even reactions, you're building like, oh yeah, that's actually what it is. You're, you're conditioning yourself into reacting correctly every single time. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you, you actually have to, to like, the muscle the, exactly, muscle memory. You're, you're, you're actually conditioning yourself to like make the, the right choice every single time on every single pull type of shit. Like that's just what it is, you know? That's, it's just, you have to fucking send it. That's a little scary, boys. That's Spurgeon a little fucking scary. Outside save on second hit. People get confused by recognizing the pattern too late or move too far away during the normal version to be killed from the second attack. If electric, you cannot identify this initial motion electric. fast enough, very my tip scary. He's about to fucking chop your head off. <laughs> okay, red electric, is very scary. a lightning effect. He also okay, emits different sound effects too. Yeah, okay, look Remember at this. This is perfect, right? This is perfect. Uh, go, go to the part where he's in darkness, right? This is perfect, my tip is right? To this is why I say you cannot. So there are two ways to identify his red pattern. You look at the sword the way he moves, or you mm -hmm. look at the aura. Yeah. You see where ATK is standing? Sometimes you are on a part of the map where you cannot see the full character's models. That's why yeah. identifying aura is the easiest way to dodge this. It's the most consistent. Yeah, because you can't see you what can the fuck see, he's doing. Like all, you yeah, you can't see shit. Doing, right? Yeah, you, you can't can see, see anything. And this is during darkness mech, so you know that he he's also... going to swing. Dude, how many hard themings does he run? This is like, this has to, like, dude, there's so many characters that are doing this in these videos. <laughs> this oh. is so, he does six? Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. 
emits different sound effects too. It's actually Remember Broshaw's part two. Are head safe at first slash, which will give you a little bit more time to react in, in on the second Darkness slash. Mat, he just got bullet. No, Choi, my point is, my point is, during Darkness Mat, you can see the aura too. And the only way you can tell during Darkness Mac is by looking at aura or the sword. You can do both. It is, it is quite literally the same thing, just that one is more consistent than the other. All red patterns are normal until after destroying a sword after 255 bars, then okay. enhanced until phase two to stage break. It will be mentioned at the top right throughout the whole video. Okay, so you First major mechanic normal. starts at 275 bars. He will teleport to the center and start spinning a sword at the outer ring. He will proceed to do a model walk for five steps before going up in the air. When he goes up in the air, he will emit a ring of darkness. You must spacebar over this or you will get an uncleansable blindness for a long time. You won't be able to see the red telegraphs throughout the whole mechanic. Yeah, you see how Afterwards, like, he got hit he by will do a pattern he, like Simon says. He, it looks like this, right? Mm -hmm. He has to follow the players because he doesn't know what the Albion looks like. So if you get hit by that... Oh, he actually is completely blind to us. He's just following the crowd, essentially. Yeah, he can't see the Albion lines where Holy they're Holy shit, dude. So okay. this is bad. This is bad because imagine you're the blue guy, right? You see the blue ring? Yeah. If you can't see, usually what they do is that... After two, after two patterns, they jump away from the group and they time stop, so that the other Albions don't kill them. After two, okay, two patterns. And what does the blue have to do with them? Like, what's the, the, the blue ring? You have to stay away from the party. It explodes. Oh, okay. So you need. Okay, so if you have Albion and you don't know where you have to go, like if you're blinded, yeah. you can't see Albion. But if you have the blue pattern, you also have to get away. So you literally just jump out. So you have to follow them. For TS and you patterns. blow up like. Uh... Yeah, and TS okay. away from them on, on the third one. After the second one, you TS away from them, and then you blow it up. Unless, you know, uh, unless you're, like, really... At, at some point, you probably get so experienced with the raid. The moment you see the first Albion, you'll know what the remaining Albions are. Oh, is it like it has its pa it's a pattern technique? It you always know, follows the, a set of patterns? You know, at the start of the video, he has, like, all the Albion patterns oh, shown up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I can at remember. the very beginning, right? Yeah, right so here, once, show you, once you get really good with it, you know exactly what to dodge after seeing one okay i see it's an, it's actually the order okay i see all right that makes sense on the safe spots each red line does massive damage with lethal stacks so inside, there are four total outside. variations sliding door the warning signs will look like a sliding door from theomine then two safe spots or horizontal this or is vertical a DPS lines pattern, based you on theomine space bar it, you see if they the all, safe spots if always he does it right he can oh, i see you came in, back in in new dpsing here now Alternate yeah. between vertical oh, and horizontal. Wave to and back. The, blue the warning signs will the blue they can run yeah. to the other. come in a wave from one edge to the other. Then the edge at the end is the safe spot afterwards. Space bar He's over, then stay at the end best of the patterns. edge. Edge to center. Wait, what? The best. Why, why is this the they're best the pattern? E they're the easiest one to dodge. Oh, so okay, that makes sense. Safe spot will right? be an edge. You don't have to remember shit. The you just stand, on the, you stand in the safe spot and then you dodge and, and go back in. The kind of shit, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Second like safe spot will also be an edge at counterclock. Third will be a center from the second safe spot, and fourth will be the same as second safe spot. If you quickly recognize the first wave safe spot being on the edge, prepare to rotate counterclock. Third and fourth wave can be dodged at the second safe spot at the middle area. Center to edge. First safe spot will be on the center. Second safe spot will be on edge. Third safe spot will be on the other edge. And fourth safe spot will be on the center of that edge. If you see the safe spot as center, the second wave is always going to be on the edge. The third will always be clockwise edge. And the fourth safe spot is middle from that edge. Okay. On hard mode, see one random person will on also the right receive side, the, stop the thing. Sorry, what'd you say? See how the summoner on the right side, when they had the blue, they time stopped it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's middle yeah, yeah, from because that oh, on hard I see. Mode. So he waited for the it first two patterns, the first two slices, and then One he just. One random person will also receive dark seed. When the timer runs out, it will explode and deal near death damage. Holy and shit. So if, if they just stand, they just kill, hit everyone. Holy so shit. They need okay. to be away from yeah, the group. Everyone, there are separate dodge spots for seeds, maybe if you're unlucky, but you can simply use it kills time. You. Holy shit, that's fucking. It can last through two waves very easily. At 255 bars, so it kind of is worth to just TS that. Like, if you need to, you can just also get out. Okay, yeah, lose also only to... hard mode, okay? In place with reduced <clears throat> damage, he will fly away and spawn his sword in the middle. The sword I, I will make think, an inside I don't think people will need actual fins for any of the gate. Like, really, really. I, I, I mean, between the buffs, between the fact that we have like the guides too and shit, like, I don't, I don't think any got nerfed. 
really well, I feel. Yeah. Explosion and vacuum people inwards. Is this so is where supports and gun in lancers Gitry. need to use their awakening and dark bombs need to be thrown. The sword will target one person and spawn three red pizza shaped telegraph from its body. Periodically, a blue pizza symbol will okay, also target this one, the aggro player. A back attacker explode, gets it, right? Mm hmm. If, if a back attacker gets it, right? Yeah. One in two things can happen, okay? One in two things can happen. Either they full on grief the party by bringing it to the back, or they actually stand at the front of the boss, like now. Okay, so essentially, if a back attacker gets this, everyone's dead, is what you're trying to say? If a back attacker gets it and you have back attackers hitting the boss, you might just see, you know, three back attackers running in the back trying to hit, and one of them might die. <laughs> The fourth one will be a semicircle. Why does the game hate back attackers, man? The red pizza symbol will explode. It is because very crucial to stand for the, the aggro person to be stationary you just as possible. To manage the aggro. Yeah. You see, you see how oh, yeah. oh, the red oh, 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 because they explode oh, last after the semicircle. Very fun. Very They're basically fun. a hindrance to confuse you. If you're aggroed and accidentally get hit by the blue pizza to get knocked far off, you can actually safe fall damage, far away look. outside to take darkness tick damage instead. Adding in a time a stop will also make the pattern super stable the whole time. When the explosions are done, the sword will fly towards the aggro player. He should lead the sword to 9 o'clock position if possible. It's the easiest spot to fight it. If it isn't, you don't need to worry about it too much because you need to focus on pushing DPS. The sword's patterns are as follows. Uppercut. And what the fuck is that shit? The ball that's just rotating, is that just oh, like, the just ball dodge? That's like rotating, yeah, you just have to dodge it or sometimes supports DR that. Okay. Most dangerous Dang, pattern. To the sword no, will no, no, always lay late, down. Nah, you, we, we just, yeah, we just start. Four hours for gate four. <laughs> bro, actually, I mean, we run all the videos for gate four, bro. This is not the first part. Turn, uppercut, then riddle spin. Always make sure to avoid this, and supports <laughs> need to give care if DPS players happen to get comboed. I think gate four, it might sword be will fly good, up right? in the air, and it'll be a Wi Fi shaped the, telegraph. Impact like they can also ask does damage. Do, like so, we can ask them what do they think is the most deadliest patterns or something they want to know, and then maybe we can like. Yeah, that's a good idea. That. That's actually, and we'll and we'll go over. It. That's actually a good idea. We'll do the video and then we'll 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 see what's up. we'll see what they think, like what they want, like tips on. Because I think a lot of people in chat also probably have a little bit more. Because I haven't watched any of this shit yet. I haven't seen like any of the the mechs or whatever. So I think that'll be a good idea. So stay back first. Teleport to explosion. Sword will disappear Delicious and appear jail. with an outside safe inside safe <laughs> explosion. The second explosion radius is very big, so make sure to spacebar inwards. Dark wave. The sword will shake and emit a dark wave to blind players. This is a good DPS pattern. Theomine in the middle will also periodically use patterns. In hard mode, as soon as the battle starts, sword tether will spawn and rotate slowly. The tether and sword itself does massive damage. Sometimes it bugs out too. And oh, see, spins like that? You see a sword, close. right? It's mm -hmm. like, this will happen you know, first. it's jacking off in the middle of 11 o'clock. <laughs> that thing is bugged out. They still have not fixed it. I don't know why. Wait, how what is this? It bugs it... out too. Wait, so what's so happening? You see how, like, the, the ball is supposed to rotate around the map, right? Yeah. Um, and be clockwise. Oh, but it just sits. It just sits still, like. Summon clones. Yeah, sometimes this will it's happen. Oh, out, I see. It's, it's getting it's getting stuck on top first, of it. Yeah. It will periodically spawn it clones starts, during you know, the fight. Spazzing out and juicing and in the top normal. left, like. This is why the no sword face <laughs> What the fuck? Not have many shadows. Just, just look at it. Just look at it go. And red So fuck. And shoot a laser or a. How did not fix that? What the fuck? In session. Aggro player I must I kite the laser away just enough to, to return a, a to the battle ball. quickly. As for red sword, it explodes in a huge radius and it causes lethal stacks. Target must kite the sword away far enough from the fight. Dark wave. This blinds you if you don't space bar over or use. Oh yeah, that's what we call it, like Galia too. This alternates with. <laughs> Wait, the sword is called Legalia? Yeah, we call the sword Legalia too because <laughs> sometimes right he doesn't see the target and then it blows up on the entire team. <laughs> oh, that's too clones. good. At the start, Theomine in the middle will always use summon shadow clones in the beginning. Right after placing clones, he will then either laser or summon red sword. Then you have just about 8 seconds for the next set of Theomine's hindering attacks, which is dark wave to laser sword or red sword. This will repeat until the sword is destroyed. The sword will always do two normal patterns. Communicate and count them on your head. Afterwards, 80% of the time, the sword will always counter and the possibility of counter increases per additional normal pattern that he does. You must hit this counter because DPS push difference is really, really big, and missing them usually kills most people too. There are three variations of the counter. Teleport to counter. Sword will blink away and appear to counter. Notice the special effects. This is the easiest one. 
Counter to spin. This is the fastest one. Sora will face a player and spin the counter. If failed, you must run away due to its massive damage with numerous. This one is also okay, so it's counter to dash. <laughs> this one looks like a so <laughs> No, you know what? You know what? It actually makes sense because and this one is also actually called like Galia because when he goes for the counter, he's ethical, right? He is super ethical. He goes for the counter, the sword starts spinning. You know how Gunslinger both counters are animation locks, kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, they're super, they're super slow. So by the time he, it's either one, one is like dashing in to get the counter, right, with yeah. whatever that those spell is, and the other one is like he stands still, slowly charges the shotgun to <laughs> boom. While he's doing that, the sword is really mincing him into fucking you know eighty percent ground beef. <laughs> Usually, when he doesn't get it, he straight up just dies. <laughs> It's not his fault, man. Gunslinger's rough. It's rough in these streets, dude. Yeah, it's pretty sword tough. Sword will lay down and prepare to counter. If failed, the sword will dash up to four times, <clears> leaving <throat> a residue. When the sword is countered, it will sometimes try to counter again. When it's successfully done, you will need to stagger it for longer damage windows. Make sure to throw your dark bomb here and damage you know, before all this, the way. Mm -hmm. This phase will feel used to be, you know, those DR DR stagger checks, right? Yeah. Before this stagger used to be um. DR and every time he goes down into a stagger, it gets harder and harder. Wait, like you do less damage in general? Yeah, it's like those that you do zero damage, but you have to stagger. Bruh. That, Was that, is that how the first they... difficulty is, or did they change it in the first as well? I think the first is changed as well. They, they, they changed it in the first. Okay. When it first came out, when it first came out, that thing was like game. I don't know why they put it that way, but after the first stagger, the second one is basically impossible and you're just standing, waiting for, for the sword to explode. <laughs> Wait, that fucking sucks. What the fuck? That, that makes no sense, right? It's really yeah, dumb. so you got punished. It was DR during stagger and he did less damage afterwards. That's fucked. Yeah, so That's it's like you counter. Fucked. Most people would just not counter <laughs> after the first one. Because if you counter after the first one, it's You just couldn't just do it. Damaged. Yeah, you actually, you actually just couldn't clear it. That's fucked. I don't know if you mentioned at the beginning of the video, but how long do you have to like kill this thing? Is there does that have like an internal timer like of how long it takes to like kill it? Uh, not really. Or is it no, just but... it's just against like the actual full timer of the gate? I guess it was probably it's tighter at the beginning. Against the full timer. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. it's just against the full time. Chaotic at first, so make sure to help each other on identifying targeted players for the laser and the red sword. Place shadow clones properly. Your first hardship will be this phase during progging. My tip is to alternate focus on theamine patterns every normal pattern of the sword. Use as many dark bombs here if needed because the faster the sword is pushed, less shadow clones there will be in the map. When the sword is destroyed, communicate with the team that Theamine is in enhanced mode. Keep an eye on the identity bar to prepare for the red pattern to appear as well. You will surely see it at least once or twice after the sword has been destroyed. Other than summon clones, there will be one more time-based pattern here. Theomine will crouch and aggro someone, dash front and back to do slashes behind this them like Virgil. Then he'll dash back <laughs> to aggro someone else. I swear he did not know how this mech worked every single time. He was like, how is it always targeting me? I am dead. <laughs> This was actually a DPS pattern. If I can find a replay, you, you can just play. If I can find a replay, I'll show you what I mean. But that one, you can DPS if you're a hitmaster. Kind yeah, of hitmaster. Hit ranged hitmaster probably is okay. Like, 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 oh, he's standing to still to too, to right? So if you're, if you're just out of range, yeah. you can actually just keep attacking him, especially if it's not targeting so you. If you, behind them, if like you play Virgil, it back again, right? you see he will always start from his back, else, dash mm -hmm. front, and then and he will become move. his front. Okay, that makes sense. If you run against the boss, right? Unironically, the way to counter this mech is to run against him. Like don't run, run away. Him. Yeah, don't run away from him. You see how he ATK if he. Oh you see how ATK yeah. Ran the away the from thing the is mech. behind him, so if you run with him, the other side yeah, is safe. Kind of, you could you could overrun yeah. and run to the other side technically, and then just do same, damage. Same with this mech. You see how like he's going backwards and he's gonna dash to a random player now. If ATK ran straight towards the boss, right, instead of running away like this. Oh, he would have got hit. okay. So this is like the you know what this is like this is like the inverse of uh, Voldeg Voldeg four. You know when he does the the charge, and yeah. you can greet it by running. You run with him, like you run away from him, and then he ends, mm -hmm. and you can start attacking. This, if you run yeah. into him, you could even greet this as, as entropy because you you just run off to the side a little bit, but you're running towards him, and then you get mm -hmm. you get the uh, the back attack there. Okay, I see. Yeah, but if you're the second one, right? Like ATK is the second aggro, right? If you're yeah. the second aggro. You have to take the L, you just have to like... Uh... After you, yeah, you have to take the L because you have to run... After you run towards him, you have to run like... You have to make some distance between you and the boss because you'll see in a moment. He starts swinging a fucking 
you, you'll see. After the head Virgil Slash, like the Amon will right? dash back again and shoot many oh. swim waves to the target. The you, aggro you know? would need to keep on okay, walking so yeah. to kite the waves. This pattern is not a DPS time until the sword <laughs> waves part. Here are some of the Theomai's normal patterns during the enhanced phase. Fear orbs. He will stand still and hold up a white orb. This orb will explode and spread across everywhere. This is extremely hard to dodge and causes a lot of accidents. People with this time is what stop the tend to tank the for, orbs. But most people time stop to achieve the mech. Oh, actually, okay, Basically, so when he's doing... Okay. You see how, like, when he runs up to the middle, right, and he time stops the balls, this won't happen. Oh, okay, like right because, here. Okay, I see it's, it's right here in the yeah. so hold up a white orb. So he's holding this up the orb, orb he just time stops immediately. This uh, is he extremely didn't eat hard the entire to dodge. Orb properly, so it ends up like that. Okay, I see. And causes a lot Usually, of if you eat the orb, People none of these balls will spawn. Oh, uh, okay, so it's kind of like in Vault in G1 or whatever when you like eat the, the, yeah. the, the, the blue or that, that's shit. What the, <laughs> that's what the Splendid like, charm is for. It's so that like you know you don't have to run up to your teammate and cleanse them after they get hit. They can okay, just they're just, it's just oh, it's cleansing them as they, as it's happening kind of thing. Stop. Tend okay. to yeah. take the orbs to remove the reason is because the if start. the ball hits after you, orbs, right, if by the time you go there to cleanse your teammate, you might die, they also might die. Because okay. Because the boss will teleport to a random guy and start slicing, like actual mince meat. Okay. Will teleport to a target. Oh yeah, okay, like this, right. and then he just fucking wrecks them. Okay, I assume they die if that happens. Wait. This pattern is very dangerous. He will charge up his sword and create wave of rings. His initial stab is an explosion, along with the waves exploding afterwards. This can knock you out super far away. Tenacity skills are very, very important. That's and if you're a very, worried, this is a very scary pattern too. The okay. slam after he comes down, right, will knock you up. If he pierces you with the sword, you might die, even if you get DR. Really? Yeah, it, it's Third known as like a, a one shot or a, a pattern that can push you off the platform. I guess this is, this is kind of like, there's a lot of patterns like this in the game too. You just have to like make sure you dodge in as he's doing it. So as he's doing... Yeah, this one is also very deadly, the back step. So this is the... F oh, so he slams in? Yeah. And it will follow with a knock up. Oh, into, and it follows... Yeah, into a jab. Okay, you dash in, and then he hits somebody with it, right? He like comes down. So let's see the first one, because the first one actually shows the full animation. I don't know if he shows the entire sequence of this or not. This looks After like the there slam, he does like it's you actually do get the slam there, right? He's in the in the air and he targets yeah, someone and slam, slams. And then he would jab you with the sword. He would like try and skewer you and then blow you up. Third ring is safe sword. Okay, so you either go in or out essentially. Yep. Okay. This is the backstab. You see how quickly he backstabs, right? Is caught, he will oh pierce yeah! The oh shit! And, give and, he, and he grabs you and he explodes. You this is the same away. explosion My as the knockout. My tip is to never follow. Him. Let's see how this looks again. So let's say it starts. We're gonna go here. He will dash back and proceed to stab anyone. <laughs> that in front just of happens. What the if fuck? That that's very fast, stab. right? He will yeah. Dash what the back fuck? Proceed to stab anyone. Oh my god, bro! If you don't space you're just dead. He will pierce the target and give explosion damage behind them, knocking you very far away. My tip is to never follow him on his head if he dashes back. Always move or spacebar sideways looking at his head position icons. Stomp. The darkness emitting stomp will follow up with a jump attack. Save your spacebar and tenacity skills here. DR and shielding is also really important. 180 slash. His sword will glow and back head indicator will disappear. He will slash 180 degrees at a wide range in front of him. This knocks you back very far if unlucky. He will dash back and start brandishing in front what of him. What the Try fuck? To Okay, wait, let me set the start, so... 180 slash. His sword will glow, okay. and back head indicator It's very, very fast. He will slash 180... That so the safe spot is just in the back. Range you just have to be in yeah, back to begin with. Safe. Yeah, okay. The moment you see that, just face back bar behind it and start running unlucky. backward. He will dash back and start brandishing in front okay. of him. Okay. Well, you can start greeting. After he teleports back, you can like you can just keep attacking in the back. Very far, if unlucky. He will yeah. dash back okay. like and start brandishing in front of him. Try to pre-position yourself for DPS opportunities. Alternating explosion. He will lift up his sword and stab the ground. The DPS large red pattern. circle telegraphs alternate diagonally in safe positions. Getting hit by this explosion will also blind you. Stabbing combo. He will scrape anyone behind them and combo stab in front of him. This is a this very free DPS pattern for back map. attackers. It's the worst <laughs> for entropy he will if dash you're, back. you know, you, you know the classes that get animation lock as entropy and you don't have spacebar or even gunslinger if you're yeah. on the back of the boss. The shadow comes out from the back, it pushes you in front, he stabs you, and then you fly off the platform. That is fucked. Wait, what the fuck? Let's watch this again. ...will also blind you. 
stabbing combo. He will scrape See anyone how the behind shadow comes him. Out? Oh, he scrapes Ooh. behind him. Oh, that's so cancer. Combo stab in front of him. This is a very free DPS pattern for back attackers. And this thing can push you off the map. He will dash Ooh. back and jump forward to create a large X-shaped explosion. If you see this, try to stay behind them for DPS opportunities. Shadow Pillars. He will stab the sword on the ground, and four nearest players will spawn eight okay, shadow do, pillars. Do, how how bad head. do you want me they to... They need to kite okay. them away. So this one, you see this pattern that's happening now? Yeah. Right? Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Okay? For people that want to greet DPS, the moment you see this pattern wind up, right? The moment you see the wind up, space bar as far away from the boss as possible. Wait, why? The aggro is based on who is closest to the boss. Oh, really? Yeah, so only four oh. players get marked with the, with the puddles on the floor that trace people, right? So if you want to DPS during this, right? You see how like ATK yeah, got the ATK mark, right? he's, he's running he's, a yeah. lot. Yeah, if you want to be one of the DPS players like that breaker punching the boss in the face, just make sure you are far away when it starts. <laughs> so I guess supports after this. How many people does it, does it target? Four people. So half the group, I guess. So two supports and then two unlucky DPS, essentially. Oh, yeah. Two unlucky DPS. Let's just call it that. Two unlucky DPS. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> For example, if you have like, you know, like Ale, right? Like in gate one where we tell him not to take the ops, you can tell him to eat this mech too. <laughs> It's like occasionally when he's dodging the when he's dodging the pillars, right? He can still provide utility for the party <laughs> by giving crit synergy. He, he, yeah, he can give crit synergy for you know classes with actual big DPS like Breaker <laughs> to continue punching the ball. Oh, that's so good, dude. Okay, so you just want to jab, jab out. I want to see what this start. It looks like when it starts. So this is like. Yeah, see, you Four can see the how the animation starts. Oh, yeah, okay, he has the little tentacles, and the second that these yeah. tentacles start coming Look out, you get gonna... all these gremlins, yeah, by the way. Look at all of them. Oh my god. Run, run away from the boss, guys. He's doing a big feet. pattern. They need to Look at all these gremlins so just fucking kneel. running uh, away, uh, and then uh, now they're going uh, to the pillars will also blind you. Valganus. He will hold his sword up vertically close to him and spawn two cone shaped waves rotating clockwise. This is a DPS pattern and is very important for anyone to stay close so supports can give shield and DR to everyone. Slam attack. There are a few variations. He either slams front and back. DPS pattern Sometimes here too. He does a follow very big DPS. Very nice. This one's also a big DPS. And when he slams same spot twice, he teleports away to slam the same aggro This one's again. a bit cancerous. At not 225 really. lines, Theomine will teleport to the, the fuck middle. Is. So he slams same spot twice and he teleports and targets someone? This. And when yep. he slams that same one's spot very fast twice, though. It's like to follow pop, 180 or two pop, few and then variations. Teleport. He either slams front and back. Sometimes he does a follow 180 front and or back is the as it is. biggest DPS. And when he slams same spot, twice, okay, because it's it's actually just like you just you know exactly it's predictable. Yeah. yeah. At 225 lines, Theomine will teleport to the middle with Thyrain's dialogue. Theomine oh, will emit is, a dark um, ring again. Make sure to space bar through where to people see the can get pretty angry. Why? What is this? This is the part where people can get pretty angry. Basically, sometimes in very rare cases, right? In some very rare cases of the fight, mm -hmm. um, let's say you run towards the bottom of the map, right? The entire bottom can be full of red tiles and all the safe spots are on top. Okay. And you won't, you won't know until the end of the map. And this is a one shot. You can't time stop. You can't do anything. Oh, actually? And okay. this, happens, yeah, this happens two times in the fight. <laughs> one very near the end and one near the beginning like here. Okay. Let's see what it's, this looks like. it, it, it's a bit cancerous, just a bit. So this is the mecha this is how it looks like. Okay, so the safe spots yeah, are. Yeah, this is how the mech looks like. Hold on, let me turn on the audio for this so I could. I could uh, in three waves. Find the safe spot. At okay. two twenty-five lines, Theomine will teleport to the middle with Thyrain's dialogue. Theomine will emit a dark ring again. Make sure to space bar through to see the red telegraphs. If your space bar is on cooldown, stay far away from the boss to prioritize space barring through the dark wave first. There will be four rings cut into many pieces indicating safe spots. They will be deleted randomly in three waves. If sometimes unlucky, the whole side can have no safe spots. On see, 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 see. Wait, what? Also have wait, wait, wait. What the fuck? How does this work? Exactly. Wait, so where is the safe exactly. spot on this? They're so all on top. He just got, he just low road. And you just die? That's it? Like, it's no, just... You just die. And fun fact, this can happen at the very end of the fight with reverse controls. There's reverse controls? 
Yeah, at the end of the fight, you, the are, you have to do the reverse keyboard. Bro, this is half the party. Control. Oh yeah, One, two, this is a white. Three, nah, three, four, there's four spots. people here. On hard mode. This is a means, this is an actual means meat variation, you know, like the Shake Shack burger where they make <laughs> yeah. three different types of meats together. <laughs> oh my fucking god, bro. What the one fuck? Will also have the dark They're seed, all like about to get bunkai in like one second. Mechanic. Here you seed just accept your fate. needs to be separated. So most parties tend to send the seed player at the top. That's crazy. So you could just top side while the Let's rest say he got unlucky, right? Bottom. Let's say ATK My got unlucky here, here when he went upwards. He pro he would have died also if he got unlucky. Cut into many pieces. Okay, because okay, usually it's not supposed to be that little, that amount of little safe spots. If sometimes usually unlucky, every side will have at least have one. No safe but you know, on if like in this case, everywhere they're trying the to go is completely like blocked off. This is the only mech in the game where I would say it's actual bullshit. That is fucked, dude. Because the safe spots are completely random. They can be on the very top side on the map. They just can be on the be very separated. bottom. They can so be on the very side to send the and you cannot player. see it. Bro, how do they just leave it in the game like this? That's insane. That's actually fucking insane. What the, the top fuck? Side, while the rest find spots at bottom. My tip here is to wait at dead center. Yeah, wait center. The time limit is around 12 seconds after Thyrene's dialogue. So use the boss timer to wait about 8 seconds. Then proceed to move to a spot where there are more than 1 safe spots. Don't commit too far as well. See, when usually it looks like out, that. Okay. Usually it looks like that, you know? Like there's like some very nice safe spots. But sometimes the game spots. decides Don't that, you know? Too far. Okay, so technically you get to the very end of the fight, get unlucky, and you have to redo the entire thing. And it's a super long, super hard gate, essentially. Yikes, yeah. dude. Yikes. So you you can get this at the out, very the end of... No, you will get... This is a mech that happens at the very end of the fight. Straight up. The very end of the fight, this happens too. And you have to do it on reverse controls. Uh, you uh, actually don't even get that much time because you have to reverse control the keyboard first, right? Mm -hmm. You have to do the keyboard first. And then you have to run to the safe spot. Holy shit. Autumn. My tip here is to wait at dead center. The time limit is around 12 seconds after Thyrene's dialogue. So use the boss timer to wait about 8 seconds, then proceed to move to a spot where there are more than 1 safe spots. Don't commit too far as well. When the timer runs out, Theomine will 360 slash the whole map. Anybody who is not at the safe spot will be dead. At under 210 That's lines, fucked. Theomine will teleport with the cutscene. He will spawn a sword meteor and proceed to ride his horse. This is the horse clash DPS check. Follow the horse's back the whole time. If you keep on following him, you will be rotating around the outskirts of the map. The horse will proceed to jump the other side and start a clash mechanic, a new mechanic in Lost Ark. Okay, fun fact, One you see the moment he starts the running around the map, right? Mm -hmm. Oh shit, he, he, he went into the clash, but like, on following basically, him, this is a big thing for like DPS players, right? Because you need to break the shield. When he jumps here, the moment you, the moment like the clash starts, you see how he's running across the map? Yeah. He is... Hitbox is actually still on the same spot. He's oh, not it stays middle. It's like you know in Brawl Gate Six when she jumps, but the hitbox like stays behind her. It's kind of like that. Like it's yeah. even though he moved away from the center, it's still in the center. Mm -hmm. So yep. like, let's say here the hitbox is, is in the middle, and then he moves the away, but the hitbox still, is still there. It's still the there, still there, still there. there. Okay. He's like running in a circle for oh. some, you know, it's just animation. Okay, this is Clash. Okay, this is the the Osu shit. Fuck. Is One there any tips for also shit, dude? Player, and it's a simple mini game <laughs> uh, like Osu. For hard Press mode, the skill buttons accordingly. Okay, so Getting this, is, bad this one helped me a lot, Osu. right? But for Osu, right? Mm -hmm. One good thing is that you can only... So the, the buttons that you will get in hard mode is Q, W, E, R, A, S, D, F. Yeah. Hard mode. But, but, you saw how the Osu was a single tap, right? Yeah. Every time it is a single tap note, it will always be a possibility for eight letters. But if it's like consecutive or like a for few time, letters together, good, it will we'll always show. only be QWER. Okay, so if it's a consecutive, it's going to be only QWER, but if it's, if it's a single letter like that, it could be all eight. Yeah. So let's see what this is. This is... Oh, they actually add a clash practice. Okay, so you could actually just practice clash the day of. Okay, that's actually makes it a thousand times easier. Mm-hmm. And lost Ark. One clash can be oh, done. Oh, you should for see player, how you should see how Memo like does Osu. our clashes. Pressing. Last week, he was giga gaming. He actually is that the clip? Is that a clip? No, this, some, is this. What is this? This will be you. Oh, oh yeah, I yeah, saw yeah. This, this was, I saw this. Yeah, yeah. This was our deathless run, right? And our very confident <laughs> member, the number one lens master. <laughs> 
me, me, up me. and coming destroyer main. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's a practice website. What is this? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna practice after boys, just because this is gonna be uh wait pause normal hard. Press this. Uh, wait, unpause by pressing escape key. Here, let's see this how this how this looks. Okay, is that it? Is that it? I don't. Is there the fifth one? The the fifth. Oh, does that have to be perfect? Actually, usually you want to hit perfects, yeah, because the oh, longer. Oh shit! W. If you hit perfects, right? Yeah. The boss will stay still longer for your DPS, oh. and you get oh, a higher shit. damage We're buff inting. afterwards. We're actually inting. Wait, this is actually tough. Wait, hold up. Okay, so if it's multiple, it can be. It's gonna only be the top four. Mhm. Mm okay, that's good to know. Okay, wait, hold on. We got this. We got this. We got this. Wait, I got fucking. Wait, I'm trolling. Wait, what the fuck? That was that was eight. I thought it was multiple. It was it was always gonna be the top, just the top ones. I think this one is just testing you, but there is a KR site for this. Let me um you you have fun with this for a while. I'll find it in Lost Boy's DMs. I think me and Lost Boy. Okay, okay. Send it to me after like and we'll, the, we'll fuck around with it. This one. Yeah. Enable background, it makes him more cancer. Oh, wait, it's actually... <laughs> you suck, go play else. What the fuck, man? Skill buttons, of course. Let's keep going this Getting thing. bad will kill you most of the time, and getting good will shorten the overall length of the clash, giving less DPS time. The clash spot is here at his back. You will need to press G to activate it. If failed, he will proceed to run away and do annoying patterns. I don't know if they will be at launch, but there are clash training sessions in Trixian. Make sure to try them out beforehand to learn various clash spots and the mech itself. Getting all perfects gives more time. Is the clash spot just always in front of him? You will need to Trixian parse uh, DMI with proper buff supply with them, darks. Yeah. The DPS There's check like is very tight different if clash. clash Sorry, what do you say? There is different spots for different clash. Oh, okay. Okay. So I guess it'll teach you. But they're but they're set spots. Either. They're very Don't very wait for the horse spots. to appear. Okay. There is still a hitbox. When the first clash is over, Theomine will teleport to the middle and be stationary to spawn his army of shadow horses. Sidereo Inanna is often used here to push DPS during this. The horses do damage through Inanna, so support awakening is mandatory here. Also, it is crucial to not rotate the head during this time to make sure entropy classes do efficient damage. Everyone should stay in front if you're not an entropy class. Afterwards, the boss will dash away and reappear from the outskirts of the map and slow down to take position. The next class position is right in front of him where he stops. Don't be confused at his head rotation because he will turn his head first before the clash. When the second clash is also successfully done, you will need to cart the rest of his shields out on time or it will be a raid wipe. Sometimes raid groups use Sidereal Way to progress further, but most parties with proper darks, buffs, and Trixian parse, you should be able to push through the DPS requirement. Phase 2 will start when you succeed the DPS check. From here, fall death is possible. So okay, make sure to keep remembering off. those normal patterns in detail. Yeah, the mine will try clashing like again every 45 to 50 seconds on the boss call. Because if you he fall will teleport like and the map will right? zoom out. Oh, you can't lose anybody. Yeah, you're like you're... yeah, ideally... Well, I don't know if it's 7 mana bolt without the transcendence and stuff. Maybe mm -hmm. it is after the nerfs and stuff because... You know, let, let's say like on during KR server, right? I think I still have like for it too, but before nerf, when the first was still hard mode, right? Mm -hmm. People had like one minute, 30 seconds left, pop, even with like Esther groups after we clicked. And after the nerf kicked in, we were still at Transcendence 3 or... No, yeah, we were still at Transcendence 3 at that time. So it's not very high DPS gain. But after the nerfs kicked in on the third week, I think. Okay. Yeah, I think it was on the third or fourth week. The death timer for the boss before Enrage became like four minutes. Five okay, minutes. so the, the, the damage is like way, way higher. Yeah, it is a okay. very high and very good lenient check. Okay, so it's one of those things if you don't clear it week one, week two, week three, you start to get like stronger and stronger as so you get transcendences and shit like that. Especially if you have alts running it, right? If you can feed more transcendences into your main, that's going to be yeah. pretty big too. I think the nerf was very good. Because okay. before the nerf, it forces you to use certain esters with different birth group. But now it's like you can actually use the optimal ester despite what group you have. Unless oh, that actually was a thing. So depending on your group, your group composition, you had to use different esters and yeah. shit. 
because of the shield, right? Mm -hmm. So basically for groups that don't have burst damage or don't do good DPS in the shield mech, right? Basically yeah. your Trixion Pars is not high enough. You have to weigh the horse mech okay. because you don't do enough damage. Mm -hmm. But if you do do enough damage, then you can just Inanna. Okay, you're not and you can save it. way for the very final moment. Oh yeah, because they get locked out, right? I forgot about that. The, the Sideros get locked out as you use them in uh, in Thamin. Yeah, it was a pretty big uh, game thinking. changer. All right, that's kind of fucked up. Do they ever unlock? Or is it once you you have one, like you pretty much can only use them once per 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 the pull. You can only use them once. Okay, it never unlocks. Okay, all right. Uh huh. Out. He will choose one of the walls on the X mark positions on the map to prepare for a clash. If you get bad judgment on the clash or miss, the yellow telegraph portion of the map will be destroyed. The third clasher will need to. Am I high or was he not standing in that? Hold on, am I fucking baked? What's going on? The yellow telegraph portion of the map will be destroyed. Oh no, he ran into it after this way. Or miss, the yellow telegraph portion of the map will be destroyed. <laughs> This is what you have done. Uh, it's your job is to live. <laughs> wait, hold on. So basically, he ran there because um, technically, I think his party went full gremlin mode and nobody wanted to do the clash. That's the clash spot. Oh, so he he went to try and do the... Okay, he tried to save... He actually tried to save, uh, he, save he the group. He tried to go and get the clash so that it wouldn't collapse. I think oh, his party members did not go. Will teleport again. Like, we'll everybody just went... Again. Everybody just went to fucking time, DPS the so boss. Need to let the stage okay, break. I see. When also, the do, people not, half, do people not predetermine sure who does the clash ahead of time? No, they do. It's just that now in KR Park, sometimes they do free for all, and this. Oh, happens. okay. It's it's kind of everyone's gotten so comfortable with it. It's just kind of like wh whoever just goes gr to grab it, but because they don't. Okay, I see. Can the same person do clash yeah. multiple times, or is it just once per person? No. Okay. Each clash only one one person can do only one clash, and, and how it knocks you out. And how many clashes are there? Depending on how long the fight is, the first two is mandatory, kind mm -hmm. of. If you do enough damage, you only need to do one clash, but most of the time you need two for mm -hmm. a horse mech. So one, two. And on platform break, if you can Nineva, it saves the platform one time, but in total, there should be five or six clashes. Most parties will be at five, I think. Six clashes is, yeah. Okay, all right, you should save the You should save like the best or like the strongest warrior like the best clasher for number five because number five is supposedly quote unquote the hardest one and it gives your DPS the biggest damage check ever. He stays still and he just, you know. Okay, so it's the, it's the biggest, right? it's the most important. So whoever's like the most comfortable yeah, with the mech the does the last one. one. Okay, that makes sense. Is there like an order if, of difficulty? Is it just like one to five? Like one is the easiest, two is a bit harder, three is a bit, like does it just go scaling or is there like a different two, difficulties? Two and five are the hardest. Two and one, five? Okay. One and like three, four, right, are the easiest. Okay. Five, the very, the very final one, that is the most difficult. And two, yeah. Okay. All right. So some, and also you can practice it, right? So it'll be okay. That the mine is back to normal mode, not enhanced. Keep okay. So after that, this is the next phase or next, like, uh, next, like, and uh, there's one more stance, whatever. Windmill. Windmill has a high chance to appear when he's staying on the side of the stage for more than two normal patterns. There will be a red telegraph is this circle, pattern? This and pattern this is a giga unique telegraph. Up. He will stab the sword and proceed to swing his sword in a large 360. Oh shit, it launches you. Ring. Inside yeah. safe. Wait, that was very fast though. Yeah, what the fuck? Swing... Wait, that was fast as fuck. What the fuck is this? Okay, so it's a rare, it's a very rare RNG pattern for more than okay. that can happen when patterns. the platform breaks like that. There will be a red telegraph very, circle. Uh, when half of it is broken, he can do this. He will stab the sword and proceed to Oh wait, but that means if you, do, if you do perfect clash though, then technically you never see this pattern, right? No, you do. You, oh, no you still see it. No matter what, the middle platform. Oh, the, the middle, middle platform no matter what. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Mm. R360 ring. Inside safe. Most people get killed by this, so you need to recognize the red telegraph and get in after the first hit. Also, See that? On a side See that? Note, That's this stage, a reset. Spin teleports to a player Actually? A you attack. just reset on that? Yeah. It's, like a, it's just re? Holy fuck. Aggro. After experiencing one or two red patterns and shadow clone spawns, he will try to break the stage Pugging this again. must be insane. Players have the choice of taking the clash in this position or use hidden Sidereal Ninavi to block it. If you use Sidereal Ninavi, you can clash one more this time before I mean the stage breaks. And after that, if the stage breaks, you only get see, quarter okay. of the stage. And but ideally, you want to use it here so it, it, it pushes him out of this phase, essentially. It's a hidden Esther, save the platform, big event. Everyone can DPS too. targets and red telegraphs. Target players need to kite the square explosions away. This one is and initial not as scary as it the looks. energy ball should okay. hold the head position until ignition. This is a good DPS time if controlled properly. 
When you reach 90 bars, the MI will enter phase 3 with a fresh map. His patterns will be enhanced again, so make sure to communicate with the team to remind them. The first Shadow Clone will need to be stacked very far at the outskirts of the map. People usually put them at 1 o'clock position. This is because we are in a time limit. There are shadows creeping inwards from outside the map. And there is also one more pattern, where Theomine will charge up his sword. He will teleport into a big vertical slash. You will need to group up together to not disperse aggro and dodge together. This is kill damage. Move or spacebar sideways or use time stop. At 50 bars, Theomine will teleport away and another cutscene will start. He'll be doing the 225 bar mechanic again, but with a quick <laughs> oh, you time have to do it press. also like on hard mode. Okay, the wait, mini so... game itself will be upside down okay, and going from down. right to left. After that, all your controls are inverted. You will need to find the safe spot. Oh wait, and he blows up. Wait, this guy blows up. Yep. So you have to find a safe spot, but this guy has to not safe spot around anyone else. Mm hmm. This can happen, this happens to, remember it happens like at the very start of and it happens at the end too. So let's say, I don't know, let's say this is like the most scuffed part, right? The ending is like the most important because the ending can be a DPS check or a DPS race. Mainly for the first part mode, I think it's more lenient. But you can do everything perfect throughout the whole run, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say you're a support in ATK's case and he mm -hmm. ran upwards. To find a safe spot, and there yeah, and there's no safe spot. Yeah, because that's a totally saying. I'll just go up. Right? Yeah, but you might not have one, right? You could just run up to separate, and you just don't have one. Bro, you could make this just gamer. straight up. Yeah, you could just straight up die, and the run is over. Like they won't do enough damage. Even at fifty bars, even at this 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 far into the fight. Yeah, not because not because they can't finish it with the time left, but this part of the fight, the longer it takes. There's like a puddle that expands out from the middle. It, it expands out from the middle and it covers almost the entire map by that point. And there will be a lot of like sword clones. Okay, there's everywhere. like a shit ton of like there's a bunch of like yeah. small tick damage. So the truth is, maybe it says seven minutes at the top, right? Mm -hmm. But realistically, you still only have like three minutes at most, or like two uh, minutes plus. Okay, it, it ends. It ends in an actual DPS race essentially. So you have to like. Yeah, okay, I see. It's like Damn, you can fucked. still, you know. You, you can still, like, you, you will still have more time. It's just that, can you live past that time? It's, like, probably not. Because the whole arena is so crowded up with everything, you have nowhere to run, and you just die. Someone in chat asked a good question. Can you TS the blue shit? Like, the, the, like what's on ATK oh, right now? the blue now? one you can. Okay, so you can stack with him, and you just all TS on him or something, right? Like, he, like he, he just eats yeah. it, and then you TS on top of him? Mm-hmm. Okay, so at least then, that's, that's you can a blue You can TS the blue thing, which is pretty good. Sometimes, you know, there's like... Okay, the there's fact like that, a few that there could just be no times, fucking you know? spaces, those fucked. I'm gonna be honest, the fact that there could be like no spaces on one side, I find that super fucked. Like, straight that, up. That is insane. very stupid, agree. Yeah, it's the, the, the thing dumb. that's like fucked up, right? Or like some funny moments, right? It's like... Mm -hmm. I think this happened to like... I don't know why, it's always like Gale with the funny moments, <laughs> but... Like... <laughs> I, I, I remember this, right? He, uh -huh. He's like... Like someone's space bar... This was during like uh, one of our aesthetics. Someone like space bar in and then he's like, like Galea, time stop. And then he's like, okay. And he flew out. <laughs> and we saw, you know, it's like from our point of view, we saw everything, you know, and then he's like, I'm dead. And then the animation <laughs> finishes and <laughs> Oh, that's so fucking good, dude. Dude, this is crazy. This is actually fucked. Okay, so then One same can. mech. When Theomite and you're inverted the here too. Again, you'll be teleported also, a little tip, boys, dimension. when your when your controls are inverted, I don't know if you could do the same thing, but I just do this with Hellbrell. Don't hold your cursor, just tap, like just click around a little bit because it shows you like where you're gonna end up. I feel like that helps a lot for this, but maybe I'm just coping. I don't know. Do you do you click or do you just hold when you're when you're inverted like that? Actually, I, I'm I prefer like hold. Oh, actually, uh, I'm a you're a holder, uh, I'm more of like a holder, a but little, it depends, I guess. Like, you know, like Hellbrow, Hellbrow, I think during some of the max, I click because you know, you're, some it's you're inverting it's back like, and forth, it might be different because it's you're inverting not back it. and forth is different, yeah, yeah, yeah that makes sense. Basically, for this, right, try not to underestimate the clone because for some reason, Smellgate puts all the deadly shit into the clone. It's like built-in PvP spells. You know, there was <laughs> one time I almost died to the clone, right? Okay. This guy, this, this sharpshooter, right, threw out fucking Claymore mine to my face to stun me <laughs> into an into a atomic arrow and then backflip on my head and I almost died. <laughs> oh, that's so good, dude. 
Wait, is this, this is the shadow fight? This is what you're PvP? Go to the center. Yeah, the PvP thing. Clone. It Does has very have little health. One major Everyone. DPS skill is enough to see, 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 see. Wait, it's built in with all the knockup spells. What the fuck? Would it open with all the CC? Go to the center yeah, yeah, they, they have like, um, they intentionally made control. it that way, I think, where it's all like CC spells, and ask where they just knock you up. And oh, it doesn't, it doesn't use the same limit. skills that you have, it just takes your, it imprints your class, and then it just uses whatever, they make their yeah. own preset of like cancerous PvP you skills, okay? You know how like, a Khan, a Khan PvP too, somehow the fucking sharpshooters have like, Claymore mine into fucking atomic arrow, you know, instant CC stun your ass, start fucking uh, blasting. I wonder if the glaviers are gonna parry you, didn't stun you. <laughs> Bro, that would be so fucked. Okay. Thank yeah. you, love. I, I think supports has like a way though, like supports there's like a guaranteed way for them to and do it. Which is oh yeah, it takes like one hit, okay, it's just target it. will kill the clones in one hit as long as you hit them. You can also knock them out of bounds because the outside fog damage- Oh yeah, fuck, so there's so much damage. When you destroy your clone, you'll be teleported back. Keep doing DPS even if he's taking reduced damage. Theomite's first pattern will be an alternating explosion. The shadow cloud will spawn from the center of the map this time. And for hard this mode, shadow explosion is always a set, top of your set head. position, always. Oh really? Yeah, this, in about 50 uh, the explosion is always set. At close to four when you so, come out. Okay, it's just Ghost always like this little like on top yeah, it's start always kind of thing. About 50 seconds and then the, the back on the boss. At close to 42 bars, the mine will charge up and disappear. You will need to group up at 9 o'clock right, or any the clash, outskirts of the map The one that gives you Omega clash. DPS After unless you somehow fail the first group, button. He will appear behind the aggro player. The class position is at its That's back. so weird. The last clasher will need to run over quickly and clash. Okay, look if at I, I don't know if he shows it, right? But this is a very big DPS clash, time. Look at it. As soon as the ghosts spawn for extra insurance. Wait, this is as crazy. Ghosts, what the fuck? As long as you dodge the yellow yeah, it's telegraphs, a very big they will grab you time. and disappear. Since ghost spawns are timed, I wonder how hard the clashes get. And focus dodging the yellow telegraphs. Is clash harder the in clash? the first than it is in hard mode? Did they nerf it at all? Or is it the same shit in the first and hard mode? Uh, hard mode and first is the same. Okay. It's the same four keys for the single tap, and then, like for consecutive ones, mm -hmm. it's going no sorry consecutive, consecutive ones. It's going four. to be four. Okay. And then those that are single taps can be eight keys for hard mode and the first. Bro, I'm dead. And I think normal Darkness? normal is always going to be, uh, four keys. Q W E R. Yeah. Okay, they may just make it simpler. Okay, that's cool. On the map will creep outwards from the center, leaving a very small outer ring to Oh fight. shit, it's pushing out from the center. Behind these yeah, look at look, look at the map, right? Look at the map. Fuck. Oh yeah, because they're people dead. How, that is worth yeah, see how like they the have like gate three is pretty very sizable difficult. amount so of time, but towards the end of the raid, even if you have time, this puddle is going to be a very all around the push. map, right? And the Here's slices that are happening, all these things give you like darkness debuff, so you can't see the slices. Okay, it's And the middle puddle also does a ton of damage. Bro, this shit's crazy. So your field of like doing damage and surviving becomes smaller as time goes on. That's fucked. That's actually That's fucked. why even if you have 15 minutes left, 19 minutes left, the, the realistic, like realistically, you don't have that much time. It's, it's all the same time attack at the end. Dude, that's insane. Holy shit. That's why fifth clasher or the final clasher is so good because imagine the clasher Hits perfect on everything. Yeah. Full DPS, right? Your breaker, like maybe Stoops is like juicing, you know? He's like, <laughs> yeah, right. He's just fucking pumping. But in like Memorizer's case, right? If you fail that first clash, <laughs> okay? If you fail that first clash, you die and he immediately comes out and, and he starts doing patterns. Yo, that's cancer. Holy shit, dude. Now after the gate four guide, we can watch, uh, watch that. Yeah, we're going to do that next. That was fucking crazy. Holy shit. All right, so gate three, not that hard, guys. Not that hard. Honestly, I'm going to be real. The gate has like two mechs or something. It's just literally all patterns. It's actually fucking crazy. It's It just seems like it's literally all patterns. That is fucking insane. Boys, I'm going to also leave. Just a reminder, this is going to go onto YouTube as well. I'm going to leave a link to ATK's Twitch, his YouTube. Check out these guides. Check out his channel. Show him some fucking support. Now, so we only have gate four, part one. We're not going to be able to go through all the gates, guys, just because they haven't been posted. I assume they're going to be posting these literally up until the little day that this raid comes out. Um, and I wanted to, like, get this out before it came out. And realistically, guys, I, I think with Thamine, it's probably going to be one of the first times in NA. You're probably going to have to figure this shit fucking out. I'm going to be honest, guys. It looks like you're probably going to have to just actually figure it out because, I mean, even based on what Tofu said, 
bro, this shit is just fucking long. Like, it's just a long, hard raid. You're going to have to actually go in and unironically figure the, it the fuck out. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> All right, boys. This is Memorizer Gate 4 Part 1. Tofu, did you want to peer or anything? By the way, we've been doing this for like three hours. Did you want to get like some water before we get into this? Do you need like an intermission? Mm, oh, yeah, sure. Maybe like one to two minutes. I'm gonna get okay, boys. Water. We'll be back. Intermission, and then we'll uh, we'll crank this shit real quick. We'll take like uh, like one or two minutes. We'll be back uh, real, real fast. You can start if you wanna. There's like I'm just like looking through some of my old clips because I didn't clip it, but there's some parts where I can Honestly, show like how the space bar like get four things. That would be huge. Yeah. yeah, and also some if you have like some like any memorable moments or whatever from like gate four, you go through your vods after. If people ask things from chat and stuff, we'll have like a little like community segment at the end. If you're down, it's already been three hours, so I don't want to like take up like you know. Too much of your time, I know it's, oh, it's, fine. Fine. it's like 1 a.m. So, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> well, this, this is my usual time now. I'm this, like, I'm living on NA times because of uh, the new like NA stream, stream okay. Wise. Yeah. okay that I makes can, sense because it's like if I what's that called? If I stream in the afternoon, all of them are fucking sleeping, I can never see them, bro. Yeah, you have to stream and like I'm actually, like in the, the middle, you're streaming literally through the night, otherwise, you don't, you don't hit their time zone. Yeah, it's like, I'm gonna have to go into Sonavel, and then, you know, it's like, one out of four, I'm just sitting there waiting. <laughs> it's fucked. You're gonna be like, on the, the, the lobby times, dude. It's a little fucked. Alright, so we're gonna get into, t into gate four here, boys. Uh, what, okay, level we're good. Alright, boys, we're going into gate four. Uh, we're gonna be using Memorizer's Guide. The way it's gonna work for YouTube Frogs is because I'm gonna be cutting out this middle, like, intermission part. Uh, so we're going to be watching Memorizer's Guide, Memorizer's Gate 4 of 1. We're going to go through this together with Tofu. And then after that, Tofu is going to have some clips. We're going to take some questions from chat and go, th like, go through some parts that maybe people have, like, questions about or maybe parts that we haven't seen yet, uh, just because the guides haven't been made yet for, like, whatever is, like, kind of, like, a memorable moment or whatever from Gate 4, so. Uh, I'm also going to leave a link to Memorizer stuff. Check out his guide, check out his videos. All his links will be in the description box down below his Twitch. Check him out. Uh, all these streamers and content creators will be more than happy to, like, help you on all that good stuff. So let's just jump into this. Theymine Gate 4 has two gates. This video will cover the first part of Theymine Gate 4. Gate 4 doesn't have normal mode. If there's a difference between hard and the first mode, I will refer to it before I explain the mech. Eye level requires 1630. For the cars, you run Light Salvation. Gate 4 boss is Demon type. Battle items. For the first mode, you take Time Stop, Splendid Sacred Charm, and for the last item, two DPS classes who is going to inner side during the 280 mech, take Dark Grenade, which will be covered later, and other 6 people take Whirlwind Grenade. For the hard mode, just change the time stop to Atropin. Later in the second part of Gate 4, you need time stop. In the hard mode, you can swap the battle items after the first part finishes, but in the first mode, you cannot. So you bring time stop from the first part. I would so you bring time stops at the beginning, and then the second half you bring you bring Atros? When you can like swap your stuff out oh, after the... Oh, no, no, no. I think this one is the first mode and hard mode. Oh, okay. So hard mode, hard mode, you bring just you just bring atros, and then the first you bring time stops. Do you, do you think like for prog, it's worth bringing atros? In in hard mode, because ooh, honestly, hard mode and the first you can bring atro if you want. It's just that the reason why the first he puts time stop is because there is no checkpoint in day mine after a certain oh. point. Right? Oh, it's true because there's the, there's the, 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 yeah, the there's what's that shit called? Yeah. The, the time that, well, I can't remember the, the ex domain expansion or whatever, right? They haven't solved it, so. Okay, that makes sense. You could bring Atros at the beginning, and then when you get to the second circle yeah. later on, you then can bring your time stops. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Explain when to use each item later. Team meter, we understand Raid how that works. There is a team meter on left top Let's side. What it does the meter features. not only gains naturally over the time, it gains more whenever people get hit by patterns. When the meter hits max, Daymine does AoE attack and teleports to the center. All the players get Darkness debuff which is not cleansable. The boss will take either two actions. Is that one minute? He will Holy either shit. put his hands up or down. Yep. At that timing, you have to counter him. The Darkness hides the blue flash effect of the counter, oh. so you should counter <laughs> by seeing his action. Soon, six clones appear from each direction. The clones will also either put their hands up or down. Players on each side have to counter the clone that's doing the same action from the previous day mine. If you succeed, then the boss will teleport to the center again and require another counter, so succeed that as well. If you fail to counter the correct one, or if you counter the wrong one, 
Then the clone exp Wait, so you don't counter down? I don't get I don't get this. Wait, you don't counter down? So basically at the start of this mech, right? This is yeah. due to the bar filling up at the top left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once it fills up, right, he goes to the he does like the lightnings first and then he goes to the middle. He will either raise his axe or he will crouch down into like a Kimbo stance or something, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's either up or down. And then you counter. Okay. Once you counter him in the middle, six clones will appear and you're supposed to counter the stance that he did. So if it's upwards, oh, only hit up. Oh, okay, I see. And then if it's and downwards, you, you only... You need to wait, too. You, you need to wait. Like, if you play if you play the video, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so well, let's keep the going. The is coming action. down on, like, a uh, memo slide, right? Yeah. See how it goes down? Right? Yeah. Down, up. You have to wait. Like, you can't instantly do it. You have okay. to wait. All right. It's like a it's like a short one to two second wait time and then you counter because the blue it, it doesn't show you when the blue counter appears right it actually pops up pretty late it's uh, like okay. Hellbrow Gate Five you know how Hellbrow Gate Five you can't hit it too early you have to wait like a certain amount of time before you hit the clones at top and bottom it is the exact same thing I'm gonna be honest I didn't do the counters in my group <clears throat> but uh... huh <laughs> I did the counters in my group <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck man. <laughs> I did it with the static, dude. I didn't do the counters in my group, man. They did it. So I was like, all right, I did stagger. You know what I'm saying, dude? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, okay. And the boss will teleport to the center again and require another counter. So succeed that as well. If you fail to counter the correct one, or if you counter the wrong one, then the clone explodes, which most likely kills the team. You can also see a yeah. purple meter and time below the gauge. The meter stands for Thaimine's HP, which is around 15 HP bars. You have to remove that much HP of the boss before the time runs out. If you fail, it's a raid wipe. Until his HP is removed, the darkness debuff will hide the telegraph of all patterns including the counter effect. If you succeed the previous clone counter mech and also removing his HP, that's the <coughs> end of the whole meter mech. Okay, no, at the start sense. of the raid, just wait for Thaimine to come at you. And then start the fight. Is there like a limit to how many times the shit can fill up? Like throughout no. the fight? No. Okay. It can fill up any amount of times. Okay. It's different among the classes. The boss has 350 HP bars. In the hard mode, this is 150 billion. Bro, they pop up this shit even when you're doing a raid? The fucking 18 plus, they cover the radar with this shit? Yep, sometimes. I honestly don't really see it like that often. I don't really look at it that much. But yeah, it does It does pop up quite a few times. In the first mode, his HP is 180 billion. Major gimmicks. Around 315 HP. Two people get red marks. They have to stick together. Soon, large red telegraph spreads from that spot. All the players have to evacuate fast since this attack does massive damage and also gives you a permanent debuff that increases. Can you just like stay inside there, like inside the little safe spot on the on the right? Oh, uh, the first. Okay, so the, there's like the very first time this one pops up. No, ideally not, because it's like what do you call it? It's just I think it's because there's like a delay to it. Like you see oh, how the explosion. Oh yeah, okay. It still does damage. Okay, see, there's a, it. It fills in even though it looks like it's safe. It fills in after. Because there's like there's like two spears that are actually exploding, and mm -hmm. one. It's slower than the other. Okay. All right. It's like not always um equal or even. Okay, Gary. You might it, there might not always be that little spot. Mm -hmm. Soon, large red telegraph spreads from that spot. Oh, I see. The they actually have different. You saw it in the back. It filled up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and okay. sometimes like Since this attack sometimes the players are not damage. online, right? Yeah. Okay. So this they happen to be, but it, it usually becomes... just want to get the fuck out. You mm -hmm. don't try to like plan for it. Okay. And also gives you a permanent debuff that increases the incoming damage by five percent. If you get 3 stacks of it, then you die. Then he will teleport to the center, and apply one more mark on a player. You have to dodge this AoE attack as well. Okay, you see how- this one is important, right? So, you can go back just a little bit to when the person got the spear, right? Or the sword. The- So this is like, um, yeah, so around so this here. part, right? This player, yeah. and then you see how that one player got the spot? Yeah. Okay, pause. Yeah, right there. You see how there's this very small looking flower on the map? Like it's just yeah, underneath very... there's like the uh, little like flower texture. Yeah, I yeah. see that. So the best spot to put the sword and still keep DPS uptime for you and your group is where the guy is standing at now, like at the very tips of those flowers, those little points, anywhere okay. on those points. 
That's okay, the right. best spot. It's basically it lets the back attack still hit the boss, and you can still go back in time to DPS and uh, you know. Okay, so you want to drop it on the little tip, okay? Mhm. Mm like you see, like he'll go go to the tip, right? And this part, if memorizer, he goes back in. Okay, keep DPSing like that. Okay, that makes sense. And then he'll go up into the sky. Okay. Oh shit, let me uh, un unmute. Then the boss floats in the air. Go to any direction of times 3. You will see the same AoE attacks. These attacks have interval between the layers, so move in when the first layer explodes. After dodging the attacks, 4 pairs of players have to split to times 3 plus 1 direction to stagger a sword. Normally, part Go to 1, 5, 11, and then, okay, I see. Party 1, right. number 1 and 2 goes to 11, 3 and 4 to 7, party 2, 1 and 2 to 1, 3 and 4 to 5. The sword on each side has a lot of stagger check, so you can't stagger it in time by only using skills. Random players get a line. After a few seconds, a blade moves to where that player is. If the blade hits the sword, it does massive stagger. So you want to aggro the- So you all help each other, looks like as well. As yours breaks, you go and help the other people as well, it looked like, because they were moving, like, on the radar. These guys finished, like, Here position is. 5 finished. The blade hits and the then they moved up to help help them at sword, 1. Sword, it does massive stagger. Yeah, because basically so these swords, right, you see how the, they have, like, a red tether? Mm -hmm. So TLDR is that there are two waves, right? Two waves mm -hmm. are going to happen. The first wave and the second wave. This You can either get 0 on your side, or you can get 1 or 2. Okay. So it always takes two red swords to break up around 70% 70, 70 of the sword. Mm -hmm. So once the mech starts, right, you have to, it's ideal that you stagger at least 30%, even if you have the sword, even if it, this red tether, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say they got two here at the first wave, they stagger 30% <coughs> and they get ready to move maybe down if, okay. if, do, if bottom doesn't have it or they move to the left. Usually it's like, we try to stick in pairs, you know, like we group up. Right side yeah, so right side and left side are like kind of a team in a way. Yeah, it, okay. it kind of it, it's like easier that way because if it's RNG and people are running around everywhere, you don't really have time maybe to get over or like someone or too many people go to one spot, then it becomes like a problem. Yeah. Okay. Where that player is. If the blade hits <clears> the sword, <throat> it does massive stagger. So you want to aggro the line to the sword. Each sword requires at least two blades plus some skills for stagger. The line applies to random players for two times. The thing is, sometimes a pair gets less than two blades. Normally, people on bottom side get most of the lines, so the shortage happens on the top side. If the bottom players get more than two blades, then they have to move to top side to help the stagger. If even one sword is not staggered in time, then that's a raid wipe. If the stagger is done from all four directions, then each party gathers to the bottom side. Hide behind the sword to dodge the red telegraph. Then approach the boss. You can see the boss is trying to raise his hand. When this happens, he fears all the players. So you have to immune it before it happens by using spacebar. Then the boss requires co-op counter which requires 3 people to counter. Succeed the counter and go to his backside to DPS. That's the end of the whole gimmick. If you fail the co-op counter, then it will most likely kill the team. The following mech has difference between hard and the first mode. Around 280 HP, the boss teleports to the center and cutscene happens. After the cutscene, the boss charges an attack, DPS him from his back. Soon, he will strike where the players are, move to bottom left to dodge it, and co-op counter the boss. At least 3 people have to succeed the counter. Then stagger the sword in the center. Then you will see 2 orbs. This is where two people splits. Remember the two DPS should hold the dark grenade? Those two have to take the orbs which lead them to the inner side. Let me explain the inner side first. The two DPS will face Thaimine's clone which has 2.1 billion HP in the hard mode and 2.5 billion in the first mode. The two players have to kill the clone in around 50 seconds. If they fail, the field becomes smaller which pretty much wipes the raid. Before the two DPS takes the orbs, the supporter from their party gives them full buff, and the two DPS use Dark Grenade and Atropin to kill the clone as fast as possible. After killing the clone, stagger the sword, and the two DPS can come back to the outer side. There are two counter patterns which is inner side exclusive. 
So let me explain those patterns. 1. The boss disappears and attacks in Hackman range and reappears by slashing blade. Then he requires counter. If you succeed a counter, then he will only slash. Is there certain classes? Like, is there like this back attack should be like suck more for this? Is there anything that's like specifically better or worse for this, or it doesn't really matter? Um, I think to some extent it doesn't matter, but the problem is right with insider. <clears throat> this is not like Procal where they give you a practice room. Oh, you have to actually you, learn how to do it in it's here. Like the, it's like the old Procal where they don't give you a practice room. And if okay. you want to, you have to go and learn it like by just running the raid or watching a bunch of replays. It's a bit scuffed again. Okay, all right. It's front. Is it, does he I get affected by P? No, I guess but it doesn't. If you fail the counter, like then he will slash the blaze like he's not gonna get CC and most shit. likely kill the Yeah, players. he doesn't get CC and stuff. Okay. Two. The boss holds his sword and shows three times of red telegraph. On the third telegraph, you have to counter him. If you succeed, he will only attack the front. If you fail, then he will attack the whole field with massive damage. Other patterns are common ones that can be seen throughout the whole raid. You can check the normal pattern timestamp. This time, let me explain the outer side. After staggering the sword, all six people have to stick to the <clears throat> o'clock side. You can dodge all the cone telegraphs by staying there. Soon, the boss will land in the center. That's when the raid leader uses Thy Rain to reduce the boss's HP. The boss requires a stagger check. At the same time, you will see blue aura around the boss and Twister coming out. After the Twister disappears, you have to spacebar through the blue aura and stagger the boss in time. If you don't spacebar through the blue aura, you will float in the air which will pretty much result in stagger fail. If the stagger fails, all the players take massive damage that will most likely kill them. Use Atropin, throw all 6 whirlwind grenades, and succeed the stagger. From this point, you can fall and die from any patterns until his HP reaches 240. Oh, shit. That's why you use Thyrain, and everyone uses their first Atropin here to yep. skip this part fast. The inner side players Ew. don't fall during the fight with Clone. ELDR, it's important for the, the, the best ELDR to I can give to Daymine, right, mm -hmm. is simply... He has a fuck ton of variations, right? Mm -hmm. He has way too many variations and attacks for you to learn in a single video setting. Um, the best sense. way to the best way to like uh keep it right at least I could go back in time, right? If someone could tell me this on the KR server when we're running, is that basically split his patterns between the X form and the sword. So just okay. remember, he has a sword form. He has an X form, right? Okay. And. Remember the deadly, always like picture the deadly patterns first from both forms. Okay. Sword has the most deadly patterns and the X, you know the recent one that they just, he just swept a few people out of the arena, right? Yeah, yeah. It was like this big like, circle. That they pattern, they call, it Ori <clears throat> they call it Oriana. Okay. <laughs> because you know how it sucks people in and then boom, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they call it Oriana because of that. So Oriana is a deadly pattern for X. And sword has way too many. This is fucked. The sword patterns, some of them not just push you off the arena, but most of them just flat out kill you. Really? Holy shit. Oh, wait, yeah. I'm too far. Uh, go back here. Around 175 HP, the boss jumps to the top side. Each pair of players will be connected, and you will see swords on the field. The goal is to put the lines on every sword. You make this shape to hit all of them. For a quicker formation, one person stays on top and anyone who is connected to him goes to the bottom. For others, they just improvise. After a few seconds, laser happens where the lines are, so dodge it. This attack will turn the swords into yellow orbs. Each player has to take one orb and evacuate to the bottom side. If you fail landing the line on even one sword, then that sword explodes which does massive damage to all the players that pretty much kills oh, them. Shit, dude. If all the players survive <laughs> on the bottom side, then a cutscene happens. God oh, that's damn! A, that, that's a mega tilter. That is like, Ooh. I can feel it from, from this Laser side. Laser happens dude. where the lines are. That's so a giga it. tilter. Yeah. This attack will uh, turn the sword. How many did they want? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there's exactly yellow no swords? Oh, am I high? One, two, three, four, five. No, you, six, you're, seven, you're allowed nine. one more sword. So technically, to there's a way for them to survive that map. If, if you, you miss one of the swords,
it didn't explode. I mean, it, uh, they didn't kill one of the swords, right? You saw how yeah. there's one there. Everybody needs to know, right? They need to see it. And they need to run to the blue spot so that the supports can DR you and you live. Oh, okay. You need when to it's like the ass, like... Yeah, you need to take the buff, run there real quick, and let the support DR, or else it's a reset. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, should they already lost somebody. They got a fucking... They got a body in here, dude. In one sword, mm -hmm. then that sword explodes, which does massive damage to all the players that pretty much. Kill. Okay, that's why his team lived. I was like, "What the fuck happened?" Is because they th their support is probably their, dead in their party support too. Actually managed if all the to save players them. survive yeah. on the bottom side, then a cutscene happens. Can you, you also TS it? Skills. I assume you can TS it, right? You can just run to the bottom. Oh, wait, we don't have TS your bachelor. Right yeah. and approach they might. If you I, get I, hit I, by them, then sure you will go TS. all the way Never back to the start. Tried it before, but maybe, the boss, maybe it works. Maybe it does. It's a fucking clash. Stop. You have yeah, to dodge the clash. obstacles and if you, approach okay. they might. You if see you how everyone is them? running through this, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Sometimes you can... Some people prefer to allocate a clasher here. Who but, just runs all the way ahead and everyone else just dodges? I, I, I gotta say this. This is pretty important because... It, let's say, right? Let's say you allocate a clasher. Let's say the clasher is stupid, right? He's like running out. He's like, shit, man. And then he gets grabbed by the sword, right? <laughs> Okay. And they pick him all the way to the back of the thing, right? Okay. The next guy has to go there really quickly, and you have to hit the clash or else it's a wipe. Wait, repeat that? Hold on. Did I space? You send in one dude? Uh, if, basically, you must get the clash. You okay. must get it. Even if you allocate someone else, right? Just make sure someone gets the clash. If you don't get the clash, it's a wipe. Okay, so, but like, not everyone. Does, if, like, does everyone have to make it through this little, this little maze thing? Or no, does it force... Everyone. Okay, so as soon as someone gets, well, one person gets through, you you're chilling. You see how, like, everyone is so far behind from that clasher, right? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, if that first guy somehow got grabbed by the sword, and Memorizer somehow did not make it in time, reset. Really? I mean, is, is this early yeah. into the fight? How many health bars are we in? Actually, we're halfway through the, through the, the, the movie, never mind, or the video. This is about, like, then you will nine go all the way the back fight, to the start. Ah! Below the boss, there's a circle. And when someone reaches it, <clears throat> then he can press G key to do clash. There are two clashes in the first part of They Mine Gate 4, and this is the first clash. If no one takes the clash in time, it's a raid wipe. The clash has two sets of yep. games. First set, one key. Second set, six keys. So in Gate the 4, the clash is actually really Giga 3. Wait, what did you say? In you remember how like I said like it's only Q W E R yeah consecutive yeah you you see it here it, it it's like consecutive and it's, it's very fast you just have and, oh it's six the keys okay I it's see like, ta, yeah it's super ta -da, free ta -da -da. while the clash is happening other people should use dark grenade and second natural pin to free DPS by the time the second set happens they mind dashes forward this is when the leader uses Shandy to reset the oh. cooldown of all skills for big DPS if all the clash hits perfect. Then the team will have a long time of DPS. If the clash gets some good, then pizza pattern happens on the field, so the team has to dodge it. You can see two orbs. A player who takes the orb will have 40% attack power reduction for several seconds. If no one takes it, then the orb explodes which reduces the attack power of everyone. So normally, supporters take them since attack power reduction doesn't affect the supporters buff. This debuff is not cleansable. If the player gets Lotto bad, then the clash immediately ends by giving massive damage to all the players that can kill them. If you DPS him with Shandy, then the boss disappears and lands in the center which does damage, so stay away from it. After he lands, you will see another circle in front of him. This is the second clash. Normally, the weakest DPS player takes this clash. There's only one set of game which has two keys. Others should free DPS the boss. So you hear their abilities in the background. When the clash ends, the <coughs> boss tries to jump attack with large red circle telegraph. You can still we DPS call it, that so second DPS clash as much like as you can, Batman because and use it's like the easiest clash and he just attack. floats around the sky. <laughs> Look, all your clash. The field will be surrounded by wall <laughs> oh, of Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually you, usually you should send, like, you know, the... You like, send you know, the, the gunslinger. You, usually you should send, like, that dude, you know, into the, <laughs> into the clash, yes. <laughs> It is perfect for them. Like, okay, to be to be completely honest, with all due respect, right? 
it, it is the truth that if you're playing a class like Breaker, like for example, let's say in Stoops' position and like Hetsu, right? They should never do Clash there. Yeah. They should always be the boss because they can do, in that mech, right? We actually always do Shandi. Mm -hmm. So they can double, they Atrophin double, you know, they just double the The King Kong. They can double yeah, Awakening just... on. Yeah, and oh, you could double Awakening. Every... Holy shit, yeah. you could, like a million. That's sick. Wait, that's it, actually it, it is very, very massive for their classes to DPS there because he's standing still, front hit attack, full on, you know, Shandi and everything. That's fucked. Holy shit, that's so, so fucking overpowered. You get pushed to the wall, you will be bad. Wait, why is there Shandi up though here? After? Yeah, wait, why oh. is there... Uh... <clears throat> Il issue? What? Did they use the wrong the wrong sidereal in this clip? Is that what it is? That is a skill <laughs> issue. Skill. <laughs> Bounced back with a debuff that gives you incoming damage increase. The following mech has difference between hard I, I and the first I actually don't move. understand how Around Azena the... is used already. I, I think maybe they misclicked. I, I think they misclicked. It must I, have been I a fat finger. Okay, I could have been a misclick. Yeah, I, I think they the actually center. misclicked. All the players should gather to the left or right side. Soon, several players get a debuff. All the players see, like, should Shandi use spacebar to raise the debuff. Yeah, this makes sense. You can see that puddles are being made from the players. This puddle does massive damage, so everyone should move together okay, after so the initial ashes. space bar. If even one person doesn't use spacebar to remove the debuff, then the puddles will explode in a much wider range, which covers the half of the field. You will see the boss requiring stagger check. Stagger the boss. Then six black swords spawn in each direction, and the six players will be connected with the red lines. You can also see six blue swords that are connected to Thaimai. Players who have the red line should go to the clockwise direction of where the blue sword is. Soon, the black sword moves to the player. When it reaches the blue line, you have to counter it. Then the black sword gets connected instead. This should happen to all six swords. If you fail the counter, then the sword grinds you which is pretty much a kill. If everything succeeds, the lead- Bro, how the fuck did you guys figure this out? That's crazy. <laughs> like- <laughs> yeah, I, I have no idea, but like, you know, they, they were like, I mean, you remember when Daymine released, right? These, these people, like, I think, okay, honestly, when I first went into Daymine with like, uh, Saint and the boys too, right? Mm -hmm. I thought when they said this raid was gonna be hard and it's gonna be, no, I think it's because they announced the race, right? They announced the race like, days before the, ra the raid release. There was mm -hmm. like no... There was like no, what's that called? They didn't say it was a race at first. All of a sudden, after they showed that rank one, rank two, rank three, it's like XDD shaking after that. <laughs> so I remember we were like talking about it, right? Suddenly it became 15 hour per day runs and I, I, my, my, my brain fried. I, I cannot. Like, yeah, I'm too... that's rough. That's actually fucking rough. That's just like... I don't have that stamina. I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. By, the, by, like, by like the 12 hour, if... I have half an eye open. Like, Bro, shit. after the fifth, I feel like after like like three, four hours, dude, you're not progging anymore, dude. You're just like brain rot. You're just like stuck on the same thing and you just start to like, you can't prog anymore. You know what I mean? You just, you just don't have it in you. So that's how it probably uh, hints at it, I guess. Oh, does it, is there actually something like, that says like, oh, you should try to block it or whatever. You know how like you're running, you're running the rate for like hours and hours and hours. I think a lot of pressure definitely came from like the competition itself. You know, it's like every mistake, right? Yeah. The worst, the, the worst part is that if you look at other groups and then you're like, wait, they're faster than us, then they start to feel like, oh shit, you know, what if this group sucks? What if you know this group's not gonna clear or something like that? And then yeah, slowly, they start to have they start. Away. Yeah, I get what you mean. It, it eats away into the mental real quick. I I feel that. <clears throat> I kind of had that a little bit, not as as bad, but when we're doing Hellbrella, it was like, it's like, oh, we're fine. Like, we're still ahead, blah, blah, blah. And uh, people started to get ahead of us. And then suddenly, like, the, 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 the tone, like, shifts a little. And I was like, it's like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Man, like, you know what I mean? They're like, oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's like, it gets really awkward in, like, the call and stuff, right? And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everyone, the tensions get, like, a little bit higher. Each of the blue swords has HP, and they should be taken <sighs> down to zero. 
In the hard mode, Azina kills all the swords, so you don't have to attack the sword. But in the first mode, the swords still have around 120 million HP left, so all the players should DPS the sword in their direction. If a supporter is in charge, then other DPS should help him out. After using Azina, everyone free DPS the boss. You use Dark Grenade and the last Atropin here. Soon, the boss airborns all the players. You will see stacks of shield buff. If you succeed a counter of all 6 swords, then everyone will have 6 stacks of this buff. The boss slashes everyone for 6 times, and this shield buff negates the attacks. If his slashes are done, then that's the end of the bank. If one counter fails, then you will only have 5 stacks of shield, which means one of the slashes will do direct damage. This slash without the shield one-shots squishy classes. So before the airborne happens, supporters <coughs> should give shield and okay, everyone should stay at Okay, there's a little trick for HP. it, right? Um, you see how- Okay, wait, wait. This is perfect, this is perfect. Okay, play the, play the whole sequence again when he's talking about the sword. This one is very the big boss if is... you're progging. Really big. Yeah. Okay. So this is the one where they succeeded, right? It's like six- They got six stacks from the six swords everywhere. Mm -hmm. This one is if it's the done five. properly. Now you yeah. see the buff, it has five, right? Yeah. Okay, this is- so this is what's going to happen. Even if you have the shield, the problem is the shield will wear off by the time the sixth sword comes in. Yeah. So bop, 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 right? And then pause on the on the sixth sword, like here, right? This is the important part. So you see you see how he potion only after the sword went through? Yeah. You have to... If your health is really low, right? And you guarantee have the potion, do it. But ideally, you should only potion after the slash. Let's say you have like 160k health, right? Mm -hmm. and you potion up to full health before the slash. What, happen what, what can happen is that he can slash and there will be one final one at the end that kills you. Uh, so, so you, you can, have you kind the of potion, yeah, you have the potion right before, after the sixth one. And then after, okay, after and then after the sixth one. one. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. You ideally want to go in at high health, so that way you can mm -hmm. potion after the sixth slash, so the last slash doesn't actually yeah. kill you. So Any cursed doll users? I mean, the... he's using cursed doll. We're chilling, right? He's. He, I mean, he doesn't play playing Reaper, but you know. <laughs> okay, to, to be honest, you know how like there's a lot of cursed doll like hate right now going on with like yeah. how the attack power. It is true, on current content in Korea, that cursed doll is pretty messed up. But the thing is, most people that get rid of cursed doll, they end up running Elder Predator anyway. So you still lose the damage, but. The, the good thing about other Predator is that it gives you so much defense for the entirety of the fight that you can sometimes flat out tank stuff, you know? Like yeah, this sort that of makes thing. sense. If something, <clears throat> like, take it this way, right? The reason why I say, like, other Predator is not good only for yourself, but for the group in general. Mm -hmm. This is a group gimmick, right? Agree? This is a yeah, group gimmick. Yeah, when I to do it. If somebody fucks up a sword, right? It's, let, let's say, like, somebody fucks up a sword somehow, you can live just by having the other predator. If you don't have the EP on, then you die. Right? Yeah, there's that a makes possibility sense. of you dying. So it's like EP is not just for you individually, but in terms of like group max, right? Where it's out of your control, it can still it can still save you. That's why yeah. EP is so good. Thirty minute, twenty eight minute fight. EP yeah, is actually, it's good because it's just on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fucking insane. Holy shit! But the thing is, everyone has to get it right because if one person doesn't have it, then it just makes it. Uh... It, it is. But I would still say it is better to get it if you can. It's pretty cheap if you can sort out the accessories pretty fast. Like for me, I was lucky, right? Mm -hmm. For me, I had 12 crystal. So all I had to do was change books, buy those like books for like one goal, and then you swap out one accessory and you're done. But yeah. for other classes, it might be pretty difficult. Let's say they have like crystal on like three accessories. Okay, now that is fine. That's like, you need you to have to completely rebuild. You have to. Re completely rebuild your character and shit. Buy EP books now. You guys yeah. think EPs are gonna are EP books are gonna go up, boys? Let's let's take a look. I'm actually curious. Let's check the, the current price of Ether Predator I don't books. Think it's gonna go up. Uh, yo, fourteen it's gold. Go up. Hey, yo, I'm go I'm buying in, boys. I'm buying in. Fourteen gold. I'm buying in. Twelve. Okay, wait, hold on. How many do we get here, boys? Oh, because, my sacred again, charms. Not not many classes Eight? can even swap to that build. Not many can even swap. I can't. I don't even know why I'm doing this. This is more just for the meme. Okay, hold on, boys. We're getting there. <laughs> We're getting there, boys. Hold up, dude. The big swap. Seven? What's the math here? I'm fucking cooked. Five? Okay. Bro, watching these videos is cooking me. I can't even imagine actually fighting the boss. There it is, boys. FOMO now. FOMO now. Stop being a pussy. Buy your EP books. Don't be left behind. 
either Bread to the Moon. I actually might put a, put a set together if it's not like super cancer because like the Fions are kind of whatever. But uh, that's actually a good point because seeing him live that, he lived by a shred. By the way, guys, like look at this, right? Like he lived actually yeah, by a fucking Memo, hair. We have Memo five like stacks of shield, which means one of the slabs. And he's Glaive. Glaive is like giga tanky. Like <laughs> Glaive is like mega mega tanky compared to I most classes. Do direct damage. This like look at this guy. Without the shield, one shots squishy classes. He actually so lives with a sliver. Look. Happens, Supporters should give shield, and everyone should stay up. Look at that. It he he 139. Yeah, and he's yeah. at full EP stacks, dude. You know what I mean? What are your plays for EP? I have Chris Doll plus two. It's this fine. Our group's going to do it perfectly. Everything, you know. This is him, 1650. Full transcendence with the damage reduction from transcendence. Oh, EP it's 30. true. And yes, transcendence. Bro, don't buy EP, boys. You're dead anyways. Who gives a fuck? Bro, this shit's fucking fake. Bro, you buy Transcendence, you, you're you dead anyways. You might just, like, die. Yeah, you're actually just Unless, dead. It went up to 300 gold. Did it actually? I don't believe you. There's no way it went up to 300 gold. If you're not at, like, um... Oh my god, it went up to 300 gold! What are you guys doing? <laughs> are you kidding me? That that is just ridiculous. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. People are buying this shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Even on NA West, bro, there's no way, bro. That shit was 10 gold like five seconds ago. Oh my god. That is that is like, guys, don't oh buy it. Oh my god, EU2, what the fuck? Because there's <laughs> <laughs> Don't buy it on anyway. Please. Okay, I, guys, I, I will say mine. maybe it's useful, but you have to understand that Tofu brought up a good point. Bro, Memor Memorizer survived with a sliver 20 item levels above the uh, above the requirement of this fight with trans full transcendences, probably, that also give DR. Bro, dead ass. EP does not save you from that. At least for us. It's, it's just not, you're going to die. If you don't do the mechanic correctly, it might in other parts. But you are literally dead here, okay, dude. That being said, I do think the advice of EP isn't, isn't a terrible isn't a terrible idea, bro. The jewelry is probably gonna go insane. By the way, I can't even imagine. Well, I think actually, Memo it's actually mistake, going uh... up. You guys are still buying, bro. They're about to hit a thousand per book. I might sell them back. I'm gonna be honest. If they go up to a thousand, I'm selling them back. Fuck it. I don't get. <laughs> I'm not fucking running that shit. Because the thing is, I know Calvin's not buying it, and if Calvin's not buying it, it doesn't even matter. Oh, I can't because they're bound. No. <laughs> Well, see, uh, Cody, the reason why, right, I say it's a mistake too, is that the moment you recognize that there's five stacks, you must pot, even if you're at 190k health. Oh, really? You or just your, no matter or what? Or your support. Yeah, because actually, if you go really at the, at the beginning of the clip, right, the thing only dealt 130k, but Memorizer has 227k HP. If his slashes The are... only reason this guy, like, kind of supposedly, you know, Look at his look at his base health. He started at one seventy. Yeah. Basically, the play was to pot up the moment the max started, and then okay, you can pot up again. Okay, yeah, and then pot up at, again at the end. Okay, that makes sense. So you want to pot up at the very very like before like at the very very beginning. Yeah. So that way you can pot up again at the end because you want to be at full health. You want to just be like straight yeah, up. Like, it has to be health. fast though because <clears throat> maybe your potion doesn't come down, come back up in time and then GG. So it has to be something you recognize fast. The moment you hear that there's only five stacks, go okay. full health. Okay. Or you have to maybe sometimes do it. your supports will put down a healing puddle or like, you know, a bubble and then okay. go full health. Okay, that's good to know. So pretty much when you if this happens, guys, maybe you live, maybe you don't. But pot at the beginning... And then pot again at the end on the sixth tap. Like just preemptively pot because you know you're gonna get fucked the second you see at five. Pot immediately so that way your potion is back up for the last slash, so you can like not get fucked in the ass. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, realistically, guys, you wanna know the real tip? Don't fucking fail. That's it. Don't miss counter. Like, how hard is that? You know what I mean? Boss jumps to the center. <laughs> Party 1 gathers at left, and party 2 gathers at right side. <laughs> Soon, puddles will appear where the players are. All the players have to move to the top side by dodging the attacks. Do we watch this already? After the oh, no, blue way we attack ends, yep, the puddles one. happen again. So each party have to move back to the bottom side. When moving down, all the players get imprisoned between the third and the fourth puddle. So everyone use Splendid Sacred Charm right after the third puddle. Keep on moving until the puddle ends. From How do you resolve point, this organically?
without it. Oh, oh do you just have to space that, bar? That is the that is the regular way you do it. Oh, you have to sacred charm. There's no way. Like you just have to like uh splendid sacred charm. There's no way oh, out of that. This is why Bart. This is why Bart is golden because of GT. Oh, you guardian tune it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But you see, this is the problem, right? Sometimes if someone, this is why people use sacred charm, right? Uh, just think of it this way. This is towards the end of the fight, mm -hmm. right? You are 13 minutes in. Yeah. Do you want one of your group members to miss time their space bar, get imprisoned and die there? And yeah, the of course. You, you, you flame them in chat after. Of course. <laughs> you, call, you, you make fun of them. You, everyone, all seven people gang up on them. You know what I mean? God, dude, there's nothing that gets stuff done like internet. I'm joking. Do not bully your friends, okay, dude? Or maybe you bully your friends, but don't bully strangers, okay, dude? Your friends you can bully, but don't bully people you don't know. <laughs> but yeah, okay, that makes sense. You're like 13 minutes into a half hour fight. You don't want like somebody mistiming their space bar because they're cooked and then you you have to reset because you just have to reset. You know what I mean? You have to start over. Yeah, that's why they do the whole, you know, that's why they do That's why they do this strat in general. A lot, a, a lot of the things that I guess they do in KR is to guarantee yeah it's it's fail safes right it's just like uh it's yeah. to make sure yeah that makes sense it's to make sure you don't fuck it up to, to save you <clears> all <throat> the time and frustrations because again right they mind is incredibly annoying because of think of hell bro prop mm -hmm. but worse i don't want to really and it's like something you have to redo every week right cloudy so, dark calvin dark Guys, play shapes, play safe guys, playing edge. Okay, go in, guys, play distance. Okay, guys, drop shapes. Guys, we're going into mech. Make sure you remember where you end. Okay, guys, start <laughs> touch. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's exactly like that. It, that. That's the reality of um what the is going to be. Yeah. Do you like yeah. reclearing it on hard? Like, do you like the, the hard reclears? This is going to sound very giga elitist, maybe, but... The the reason why like most people end up <clears throat> buying the first title or like hard mode, yeah, the most the you know the first right, mm -hmm. because the title recently went away right. Yeah. The price, the prices for the first recently is two hundred k for six member six C two, and for seven C one it's a hundred. Before that, it was as high as five hundred per per player. It, it's a pretty profitable market for a good time. So you can imagine the people that were like selling buses and stuff, how much money they probably made just by selling, you know, buses to people for the first. Can you just but do the first it, over and over again? Is there like a cooldown for it? Or can you just like enter it as yeah, much as you there, want? There is a cooldown. Okay. There, there is a cooldown. <clears throat> That's why some people at the end of the day, they just, you know, offer a little bit of... Um, like okay, to not get gatekept, right? To, to pretend they, they like know how to do it so they don't get gatekept for the next like yeah. eternity. Because if you have the Eclipse title... You're not gonna get get kept in Thamine forever, but that also kind of fucks it up because that means that there's probably a shit ton oh, of imposters in Thamine. That, that's the problem, <laughs> right? You go into Thamine, yeah. and if you have um, Eclipse title, right? Say you make some random mistakes across the fight, people can tell if you are experienced or not. It's super easy. To yeah, tell. because it's yeah because if you if you actually earned it, you probably slammed your face into the fight so hard. There's just certain mistakes you don't make. Like there's just certain things you're not gonna make a mistake doing that because you've just done it. Like way, yeah, way, way too many so times. Many times yeah, right, okay, that, that makes sense. Like it, you know, for a part, if you go in, <clears> the likelihood of you like making those mistakes are kind of zero. Yeah. Know? Okay, that makes sense. Oh, bro, NA is about to be crazy, dude. Oh my That's god, why the they imposters. Might get four. <laughs> you know, they might get for even for me. After a certain point, I stopped doing it too because one, it's only worth. I think if you go with a static, if you go yeah, with yeah. a public party. It's just disparage. Like you just—it's only if you do it with friends or whatever, like people you know, essentially. You can get giga stressed out because it just takes too much time, and at the end of the day, you realize that it is—it is only twenty-one k gold. Yeah, I only get what you mean. Twenty-one thousand gold. The moment you finish transcendence and you're going in for twenty-one thousand gold for possibly thirty minutes or even three hours of prop. Yeah, if the if the pull goes bad work. at twenty-five minutes, which it definitely can. That's one pull. If you wipe three times, which isn't even that much, but let's say you peep, like you make three mistakes, that's an hour and a half, right? Like, <laughs> like it's fucked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I get it. I do get that. I think it'll still be fun, but I do think the like I think that's good to keep in mind here, guys. Is you don't have to run 
gate four every week. Don't burn yourselves out. You know, I know with Bro, we ran all six gates on all six characters. But with this, I think, you know, when you got the boys, I think it's going to be fun, especially the first couple of reclears, you know what I mean, for the first couple of months or whatever. I think it's going to be a fun time. You, you get in with the boys, you do your, you do your clear, all that shit. But uh, that, I think the way Tofu ordered it is perfect. Bro, it's just 20K. Like, realistically, it's, it's actually just 20K. You know what I mean? So, like, don't, like, cook yourself feeling like you have to do it, especially after your transcendence are done and shit. Like, you're, you're vibing. You know what I mean? Like, fuck it. That being said, you know, I'll see you guys in gate four. You know what I'm saying, baby? We don't fucking give, we don't give up, baby. Adrian can crazy. critical hit you. What? How about that? This is the, I think, Baymine is actually enjoyable. Like, it's like the, it, it's actually the last raid. Because you guys know what is coming in NA, right? You guys know what's coming up. Yeah, Booba Lady, Ekina, Dragon Man, yeah. And you got that, you know, giant Vest Kaluda. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he is going... Those contents in Lost Star are going to be one of the most boring times in the game ever. Unless, you know, you're playing Entropy or something. It's, it's going to be the most boring times ever. Because every gate you will just see, you know, break or blade. MVP, MVP. Dun, yeah, yeah, dun, they dun, just don't, they don't fucking move. Yeah, I feel that. I mean, it's the same now, right? Now we just see fucking, well, still Breaker Blade. Okay, you know what? That's all content. Okay, that's not fair. Breaker Blade, fucking MVP, everything. Well, Blade, not really. Blades are terrorists, but like, Breakers are just like, actually broken, dude. It, I will say, though, com <laughs> comparing this to Brel, I've heard a lot of things. I've seen like, even a lot of Reddit posts and shit talking about Thamine. Thamine mm -hmm. does not seem like it's Bro Shaza Part 2. Because if you guys pay attention to these videos, like, yes, these videos are long as fuck. But the majority of these videos is actually parts of the video that, at least for myself, I used to always skip this. Like, you know when they do the, like, they explain the patterns at the end of the video, like, whatever. You probably don't experience this because you don't play in NA. But in NA, they would always show the gimmicks, and then they would put the, the patterns at the end of the video. I would never watch that part because I will just figure, like, fuck it. You have to, like, learn it. These entire videos are all gimmick or all patterns. So I think this is going to be a really fucking fun fight to do a lot of because, like, maybe not gate four, but the rest of it. Because, like, you're just, it's just hit boss. It's literally just hit boss, and usually that's the most fun you can have in the game is when it's a hit. Like, the game is more fun, I find, when it's less gimmicky and more just, like, you have to beat the shit out of the boss. I think that's a lot more fun, so, I don't know. My take on it. Anyway, let's keep, let's keep going, because this is a fucking long-ass thing. You. This happens <clears throat> frequently. If you don't have shield, then you can get one-shotted even at full HP. So you must know all the patterns in this gate. Damn, they just With lost that somebody. being said, let's check out the normal Yo. patterns. Oh, in this that's gate, a different point. He just right? repulled. Wait, what? Sorry? Basically, what Memorizer mentioned is that this earlier, right? The reason why you need to know all the patterns is because at 50 lines past the mech, past here, right? Mm -hmm. All of his attacks can crit. Even if you have Adder Predator 3, he can hit you for 200k if he crits. And he can also inflict Bro, darkness debuff what? on you, right? He can crit? It's completely... Yeah, he can crit in this part. And he can inflict darkness debuff on you here, right? If you get hit by some of his attacks. And what happens <clears> is that <throat> if it comes exactly like gate 3, you can't see his attacks. So if he does a deadly pattern, you wouldn't know unless you actually memorize what the boss does with the sword, how he moves and stuff like that. Yeah, what's his crit rate? That's a good question. You know, do they know what the crit rate is? I'm sure it's 50-50 uh, honestly, or something. Yeah, no, but it, it feels pretty high. Like, sometimes, like, most attacks I get hit, it, 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 straight up, it straight up shows the screen shatter. That means it crits. <laughs> most attacks, every time he does it, it doesn't feel like... It feels like he has, like, 60% or 70% or something. That's insane. Can you, t uh, uh, can you TS or, like, DR these crits? Or is it just, like, it's essentially, like, you're just yeah, dead? Yeah, you, you can. You, you can. can? But okay, the thing okay. is, like, you just don't know, right? Sometimes, like, he does, like, a pattern. You don't even know. It's, like, a regular swipe. 200k, you know? Like, he oh, just maybe, so like, it might be something where, like, usually, you, like, you'll, like, uh, let's say on Glaive, you'll parry it or something. Where you'll be like, oh, fuck it, I could live this. Yeah. You parry it to keep greedy. And you just but die. You just die. Okay, yeah. Damn, that's crazy. You have to play, like, giga there safe. There are patterns like that. Damn, you gotta play giga safe for this. Holy shit, dude. That's Jesus why Christ. Mind, right? <clears throat> Once you learn all his normal patterns, separate the sword and the axe, remember all the deadly patterns mainly for sword and axe, and then work slowly on his other normal patterns, mm -hmm. they might become fun to play. But if you the don't know his normal learning. patterns, yeah. this thing is an actual nightmare. I will say, I think a lot of people might not like Thamine. Thamine? Th 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 Thamine? Because I feel like, in general, people tend to learn fights easier when it's uh, not patterned. Like, it's gimmick-heavy. Kind of like how Voldek is, or how Brawl was and shit. Yeah, like, like more gimmicky, right? Yeah, this I find people like have... Like, heavy it's, emphasis. Yeah, people never learn patterns, dude. Basic attack. 
Yeah, but this might be good. This might be good for the community. The same way how Brel kind of made everyone better in our in our region, I think this might also make everyone better. Because I'm gonna be honest, dude. Bro, I, people be sleeping. I'm gonna be like, no one knows when anything's targeting them. They're just like running around because the boss is like, yeah. So this might be a good thing too, because it's gonna make a lot of people actually. It's not cope. It's real. It's the same. It's like, uh, like it's like when doing well, Hellmonger to revel. Like better or, or make quit. them quit the game. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the other thing. But the people who do stay. And realistically, guys, if you've been playing this long, chances are you're not going to quit. The most is you're probably going to take a break until Echidna, because if you're 1630, bro, like, unless you feel like just pushing your alts, you're done. You finish the game for now, right? Like, that's just what it is, because you're going to do Echidna, advance toning into into Descaluda, right? So, you know, it's stuff like this is good, because it's this is how you improve at the game. You slam your head into something that can kill you with everything, and, and that's how you learn how to pattern recognition. Wins. From this point, every Thamine's pattern can critical hit you. This happens frequently. If you don't have shield, then you can get one-shotted even at full HP. So you must know all Damn, the patterns in this gate. Undeleted. With that being said, let's check out the normal patterns. In this gate, Thamine have 190 has three kinds of stances. Sword, X, oh, I think it's dual almost weapons. Same as Wait, How much HP I had in mind? Yeah. Well, he has a bunch of 21 pieces though. His, uh, his armor, he's, he plays Sharpshooter too. His armor is uh, is oh. one level under on like four pieces if, or three pieces. If he can get EP, it helps a lot. Like actually for real. Like it really does. EP is a savior. Yeah, if you can you, get it. You got to buy now, dude. The books are, almost, are only... Uh... Oh, look, they're going back down. They're going back down. Bro, someone fumbled hard. What happened here, dude? <laughs> but, but the problem is... The, the problem is if he's playing... If he's playing the EP1 build, then I think he shouldn't swap. If no, he's, 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 he's got... He has a 970. He's playing Cursed All too. Oh... Okay, that uh, okay. High key, I think nine sevens in this game actually suck because there's no flexibility around. Yeah, it, it destroys like, you. It fucks you on like. Like, like yeah. not that it's bad for damage. It's amazing for damage. It's just that I think the game should definitely give you more options. Like nine seven is something that is incredibly difficult to make. You know. Yeah. So I think I don't understand why they don't make it a, a way where you can reliably or like you know actually make changes to your nine seven build. It should Maybe that's be what's happening like though. That could be what they're talking. What uh, what sisters is talking about? Because I assume right now they're trying to balance the game, and they can't because like there's so much power invested into the characters now that it's like you you literally can't change around people's engravings because like you know what I mean. There's Yo, so much in the, existence. What if the meta changes, right? Yeah. What if the meta changes for your build, and you can no longer use your nine seven? Yeah, and you're fucked. You're that's screwed. it. Yeah, you're just fucked. <laughs> it's just you like you. It's just and you hit something that's like an insane. You know, it's a zero point three percent or something, right? Like it's insane. So. It's a little fucked. It's a little fucked. I was just going through this because it's a long ass video, dude. Also, a lot of the patterns require a counter. If you fail the counter, then these patterns do massive damage to all the players. Sword patterns. Co-op counter. The boss so this is just like you're literally just fighting him. Like, that's it. The rest is patterns. He does the, he does the counter is statues. He can and then that's the gimmick. Counter. Like, of so this. Several people this should one, this one he's playing right. This is the, the recent one that you just saw. If yeah. he finishes this is the all counter. Three counters, it can be one, two, or aggro. three. Or it can oh. be one, two, dash, dash, and then three. Oh, he dashes players. two. So let's see this. Sword patterns. Yeah. Co op. You, you'll see it here. See, like. The boss holds his sword in the front. This and is then the tries to swing random it. counter. One. This is counterable. Right? He can do this up two, to three times. And then so he dashes. And then he can counter, and then he can sword counter again. One by one. Oh. If he finishes so he might do three. Oh, and if he does three, he does yeah. a frontal wave like that, okay? Front. If he does three, frontal wave, stay away from front. If your back attack, don't fucking reach that sword. Can kind of one hit you. Really? It's good for one person to get grabbed. Because if no one is The jab attacks, right? It doesn't look like Gary, but... Bro, wi before this raid came a couple months ago, so my child was like, dude, this gate, this raid is amazing for entropy. Bro, watching these videos, everything sucks. Everything sucks for back it, it entropy. It is amazing, as long as you're not aggro. So I have to just be a pussy? Oh my to god. To no, as long as you don't low roll the aggro, it the feels fun. <laughs> if you're already on his back, then use a I mean, okay, let's say, let's say in a raid, right? Yeah. Shoulder oh my god, he map, but yeah. Shoulder this, charge? Okay, you just see shoulder charge, right? We call this we I think a lot of people in Kira call that cringe. Like uh <laughs> like that that's the name of the pattern. Okay. <laughs> Basically, he you know how some patterns in Lost Art the boss instantly starts moving? Yeah. Oh wow, he that's it, that was it. He was in a different attack pattern. He was sitting in you know, like when bosses go stand idle between patterns and he just started, he opened with it. Oh, this one is Laurel. Laurel is also very fast. That's fucked. Okay, no, but you do see it. He pulls on an axe. Okay, I see. He pulls it, on an axe first. Like a, 
Oh, no, no, no. His axe is disappearing. If you see carefully, right? So look, look. Right, really slowly, right? Okay, that was a what? sword? Swing, yeah. Laurel is a sword. His axe disappeared, and then he pulled out the sword. So when he changes weapons, he actually changes very fast. It's a very small animation, too. But you have to try and notice it. Okay, I see. This is co-op counter, so it's going to be shoulder charge. So short, sword pattern. Shoulder charge, this one, this is the one, the cringe pattern after this. This one is Laurel. Okay, this so that, okay, so, oh, he puts away the axe, and so when he transitions and to the sword, instantly pulls bro, you gotta bounce. Okay, you have to get the fuck out of here. Okay, I see. Yeah, in less than one second, he does it. Just Okay, so even here, he had to cancel his, uh, his forehead and just, like, uh, and go. Okay, that's yeah. fucked. This is shoulder charge. Okay, that's shoulder charge. Let's see this. See how fast it is? Look at how fast it is, right? After what this pattern, the fuck? See, after this part, right? After he finishes it, he just starts swinging. See, Wait, so he was, he literally, this? in the clip, he was finishing a different pattern. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. He was finishing a different pattern and he does this, right? You see, look at this part. He was just idling and he instantly turned around. This thing can push you off the platform during the PvP mode with Procal. See, like this, like, boop, boop, bye bye. And this is when your whole party flames you. Why? That it's, there's not even a fucking, the wind up is so. Okay, the axe one, I could see. I'll be honest, the axe one. I can see people being like, dude, you have to be careful, okay? Even though realistically you can get fucked. You could be an animation with no space bar. Like everyone, everyone, that happens to everybody. But bro, shoulder charge, there's no way it just happens. What do you mean? This is, this is when, you know, the party will look at you and they're like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, retry. But actually in their minds, it's like, fucking noob. <laughs> oh my God. Can I, this I, I swear, it's actually just the inner thoughts. It's actually just the inner thought. They just don't want to say it. They just don't want to say it. They're, they're like, you know, they, they'll say the Korean word, Gabi Gabi. But actually inside, Shibai Seki. <laughs> charging. Half slice. The boss slices left, right, and pierces the front, which attacks the half of the field. The last attack increases a lot of team meter. After the first slice, sometimes he shows a blue telegraph that earthquakes the players. Use spacebar to immune it. You see how memorizers it sometimes. Mm -hmm. made... This is what I mean by they might has um variations. Basically, this pattern can be left earthquake, right? Which is the blue tether, the yeah. blue, the blue like cones, right? It can uh -huh. be left blue blue, right front slash, and after fifty bars, you know he can crit, right? Yeah. But he also gets enhanced patterns. Basically, this pattern can be left blue right Medusa into a front slash and then can crit you. Ooh. Ooh. The Medusa locks you in place. And I'm not sure if you can cleanse it. I, I don't remember, but after the Medusa, right? He can jab you in the face and then do another big slash after that. And I think even if you DR, sometimes you still die if it crits. Yeah. So just try not to get caught by Medusa. So this is like... You just have to fucking. There is also probably some yeah, RNG. Right. If you don't have space bar, you can get kind of get fucked. You watch him, then you the, the truth prison, is, so look away. I, we can cover Bad every pattern. normal pattern. There but are other patterns for Even this. if I say everything out, you won't like, 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 like people won't digest These it because there's just too much. You, you have to actually play it. Yeah. Yeah. You have to play the rate. So this is just like this is essentially just like all the pattern, all the patterns, whatever. Is there any of these patterns you say like are worth like like we'll go through them? I guess we'll just like keep it playing. Yeah. But yeah, I agree with you. This is the kind of thing this where it's like... This is the bye-bye angle. Like, the, the recent one that just happened. To a player. Wait, what is that? Three. The boss See, this is another variation of shoulder charge. This is a like, back, front, back, and then throw sword. And this is a free pass oh, pattern. Oh, okay, I see. You just have to experience this. Oh, this is just like you just... You, the thing is, yeah. do these patterns only come out at the very end? Oh no, it's like that throughout the whole okay, fight. Okay, so you're, you're still practicing everything throughout the whole fight. So that's not at least yeah, as bad. Yeah, the whole fight you're practicing everything. Okay. Just because so much of this shit is happening at like low HP. You know what I mean? So I wasn't sure if this is just like, oh no, here they're kind of run as high as fuck. Bro, that shit's crazy. And then there's still th two more gates after this, right? Yeah, the worst, this is the worst part, right? You know how I say like this game, you have to practice, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, this one can crit you 400. How do you block that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Wait, what was that? What, what the fuck was that? Uh, you... Whenever he does like a back, back step or like does like some crazy dashes, he can do this akimbo when stance thing. The thing that like quick draw, the boss dashes and charges for an attack. When he back dashes or he dashes around, right? He will always do the this pattern where back is safe. 
Oh, okay, back safe. Okay, I see. All right. So it just looks uh, big, but you one, have to see as well. The boss in the race this one's safe, for example, right? Like, I, like, me and Kelvin's gear, I guess we're like pretty similar in terms of gear, right? Like, mm -hmm. we went in 1630, etc. There were a few pieces under. I got hit by that once with EP3. I died, and it was very embarrassing. I didn't know what to say to my team. I was just like... <laughs> I, I, I mean, I tried. I had full health, and then it disappeared. See, so Kelvin's going to spam XDD time. It's fine. He's going to say, he's like, oh... <laughs> I'm um, dead. No, it's, it's like even more weird too, you know. It's like in Korean, that it's like <clears> just the whole group was Korean except for like two or three people. Yeah, okay, that's uh, weird too. I guess like, you have a different experience too, right? You're already like the if you're like a so foreigner. Like, I look at them and then I was like, oh, 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 so sorry, I, 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 <laughs> I don't know what I was to say. <laughs> like he just one hit me. <laughs> next time, I swear, the next time that happened, I actually just straight time stop. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's fine. I just blew a time stop that there. I, I didn't care. I just like. I just hit it. That's fucked. Holy shit. Oh, should I? Oh, no, I found all the way at the end. Uh, backstep, or was it? Axe pattern? Was it this? Stuck. The boss swings his axe two times and then sticks his this axe on the ground. This is a pretty free pattern. When he yeah, this is not too bad. Out after a few seconds, it does AOE attack around him, which gives about the ball okay, move out at the end. Okay. So stay far away when he tries to pull his axe. Counter. The boss swings his axe two times and slams See the ground. See how they all look so similar, but this one is a counter. Yeah, it is kind of weird. I mean, a lot of this shit is, I guess you get used to it, right? Like, you just start to, like, notice the smaller things. The I think the thing that's hard about it is, like, to be honest, I feel like this boss's whole, like, palette is really, uh, bland, if I'm going to be honest. Like, the fight looks sick, mm. but I find the aesthetic of Thamin, I've all like, even from the beginning, I found it just looks really, I don't know if the word's boring, but... It's just gray. Get, like it, everything's one color. Get three, three, get three after you play it, right? I guarantee you. I think most people on NA will probably agree after they do they mine. Gate three is actually fun. And it was the most memorable experience. Okay, like I know me and Last Boy and Saint Tone, we had like the whole group disbanding thing and stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. Like you know how they are there was like huge disbands and everything going mm -hmm. on. Even then after we talk about it, we I, I think most of us or all of us kinda agreed that gate three was the most fun to proc. It was the most memorable experience. It was just a fun gate in general. Yeah. To like like once you clear, you know, you have people like <clears throat> screaming in the call and shit like that. Gate four, you it's like I think you will like, you know, be super hyped when you clear it too. Yeah. But gate four is definitely a more depressing proc because it's, there it, is it's no relief, it's not it's not excitement essentially. Like it's kinda like you feel relieved yeah, it's, it's over like opposed to being excited. Yeah, okay, okay. I guess also because it's a lot more punishing, right? It, it it the this difficulty scale is uh is is kind of different as well. I will say I, when I was when I we got up before to take the intermission, uh I was like inhaling tacos and something I thought of is gate three made me think of like Dark Souls and I was like you know all of Lost Ark's fights are kind of like Dark Souls in a way, but I find gate three mm -hmm. thing actually reminded me a lot of like a Dark Souls fight like incredibly punishing that you have to like you're using your spacebar a lot it's a lot of coordination like mechanically I guess you know what I mean like you as a yeah. player have to be like really really like um. I don't know. Like, it, you have to be dexterous. Gate three, gate 3 actually one of the best gates in Lost Ark. Really? Gate 4, gate four I think, is like, just... Fuck this gate. Like, honestly. It's actually uh, just punishment. Please, just please, like, I don't know. It's, like, only fun if you, like, can giga crank the boss now. Or else it, like, just takes too long. What? It is. It is okay. You know this, too? It's, I think it's in that weird zone where it's, like, they nerfed everything up to gate 4, right? I don't know if they nerfed yeah. gate 4 very much. But the thing is, I think because of the first race... And, or they're getting rid of the first or the eclipse now, right? In, in KR. So yeah, I think once that leaves, thing. they're probably going to nerf it. Because the thing is, otherwise you run into a situation where it's like people can't get eclipse because they have to get some sort of like the training wheels have to be there. You know what I'm trying to say? Like it's, uh, oh, it's already gone perfect. So I assume, yeah, I assume they're going like to start nerfing the right into the floor because it's just like, um, otherwise it's like those, like you need those like training wheels. It's kind of like think of like, uh, think I want to do extreme Vicus, right? When they do Extreme Vicus, bro, there's going to be, like, a, an actual, like, herd of people who've never done Gate 1. You know what I mean? And so they have to do it in Extreme Mode for the first time. Maybe that's a bad example, but that's kind of the idea, right? If it's too different, it's it's an even harder transition in this, like, extremely punishing, like, version of it. So, I don't know. It is true. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it I'm crazy. It's a very, but... very punishing rate. But it, it is fun, though. If you, let's say you stick with your static, right? Let's yeah. say you guys get through, everybody gets their experience in. It is a fun rate to reproc or like yeah. redo every week because you most likely won't make any mistakes and it's like actual reclear, reclear. Yeah, I get what you mean. I th I do agree with that pugging. This seems like it would be bad, but I think if you're doing like I'm gonna be playing with my friends and shit, I think this is gonna be like super chill. Because also like if you do get jailed a little bit, it's not like the end of the world because it's all people who know each other, right? Like you're just having a good time playing or whatever. So 
Yeah. It's not as like it's not like as heavy. Or if there's you have a bad night, you can say, okay, guys, let's call it and we'll come back a different day. You know what I mean? Like you have like that flexibility to like, you know, like work around each other and shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, did you want to continue this? Because like, I don't know if these like realistically, guys, going through these patterns, I don't think there's gonna be anything that's like specifically. Like I'm gonna be honest, right? When I sat in call with uh, Mr. Saturn, right, uh-huh. and then there's another group for NAEs that I think I might do a uh, a call that's like similar to this again too. Okay. Uh, I I straight up like sometimes Saturn still DMs and then he's like, so for this pattern, I'm like, wait, I swear I went through this pattern before. <laughs> It's a I'm lot. It's, like, like, it's, yeah. it's kind of an information dump. That's what I was saying. If there's anything like, I was just like, there's no shot you remember all like seventy yeah. variations or something. Like it's impossible. You need to go and play the rate and see for yourself. It's actually too much. So what I wanted to switch to instead, because I think going through this, I think we like covered like the major things that's worth it for this, and also because this is already a four-hour video, we've been here four hours. Is there any parts specifically that you think are worth mentioning, even if it wasn't shown in the videos, like things that you've experienced? If you have like, I don't know if you found any like clips or anything or any like parts of your vods that like are worth mentioning, um, like in, in the parts I haven't okay. seen yet? I think the space bar, the space bar Mac, right, is the most important. I still have to like search the clip a bit, but I guess, you know, you're professional, you have probably, so you can like giga stall me while I look into the vod. The problem is like a lot of these clips, right? A lot of the clips, uh-huh. I don't know how many they, uh, I don't know, sometimes like, sometimes my chat saves it for me, but a lot of them are also in like four to three hour video recordings I have from like the Yeah, past. it's like long as fuck. It's like a I super... can find, I think I can find some, but TLDR is during, during domain expansion, right? Or like mm-hmm. just in general, one, gate four, remember the sword and X pattern, right? So for swords, I would say the most dangerous pattern is always the grab, okay. laurel. The grab is basically like yellow yellow tiles will like appear behind him and then he will grab so it's like the sides and fronts are safe or go out kind of far. So Laurel is going to be like the pattern where he like does that sway backwards, something like that, right? Yep. Okay. And then the, the left-right slashes from the sword. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you can find it in like Memorizer's um, video, but it's like he basically brings his sword to the left or right and he slices left and right. Is it in, left strike? Is it maybe a, it's this? It's something like this. It quakes in a it's like blue something range, like very oh not this. Not this, this. Oh my god, these are the okay. These are the teamwork patterns. Okay, so let's go, you know what? Let's go through these because maybe there is some stuff that's like worth like. Uh, let's we'll go through this one. Requires another counter. For all the counters, everyone Actually, should gather in one direction. You can start from like direction. whichever is the it... X puddles was at, and then I can tell you like maybe which one is like important, and then we can talk about it. Which one we can skip? Is it counter and puddles? So I think it was this over here. Counter no, and puddles. This. The field becomes dark, and the boss requires counter. Uh, easily After skippable. It's just counter, several mm, you counter get people get these swords. The you put them Those according. Like, see how this memorizer sword is like face downwards puddles. like that. You just place these it, give okay. and then you go back and counter. Like you don't want to step into the Boss shroud or the cloud, shape, right? Because so yeah. they turn oh. you into PVP. And oh. unlike Bia Kiss, you cannot save that member once you turn PVP. Oh, you're just you're dead, and this is just a reset at that point. Like you're just starting over. This pattern also not really important. Okay. This one, yeah, not not important. It's just the X pattern grab. Oh, this. Okay, so this one, if you're a support, you can get grabbed, and then you guys can DPS the boss. Like, see if you get grabbed, right? Okay, if you're yeah. a support, you can DPS the boss. Bro, it's animation. Support, Wait, did you see? What's the animation on this bitch? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hold on. Let me think about it, right? So, I think he, I think he does a pretty good one here. The support gets grabbed. Yeah. They stagger only after the second slam. Second slam? Stagger. After you do that, right, he will do another slam afterwards. Mm-hmm. Only if you do the second slam. I mean the the stagger after. Oh, the so you have to get it after the, you have you have to stagger after the unless, second slam. Unless it was a bug and they fixed it. Unless it was a bug and they fixed it. But back then, right? Maybe it's fixed. One, maybe it was two, a bug. And then they get the stagger off, and then it forces him to do that, so you get a little bit more off time essentially yeah. to read. Okay. Oh wait, maybe they did fix it. But you know how he did that slam, right? Yeah. If you do it after the second stagger, he will do it again. So it's like he slams oh, one. Oh, he and does like, two. Okay, so maybe they made a. They yeah, made it's a, like uh, the boss is in like giga dumb mode. You know, it's like yeah. he slams one and then he's like, did I hit them? No, he slams again. Okay. And then the next thing is co-op counter. DPS, right. If a DPS, okay, wait, wait, pause real quick. Yeah. Like if you're a DPS and you got caught by the, you got caught by the grab, right? You mm-hmm. have to save them ASAP because, for example, I took. 80k or 70k per slam 
on what's that called on EP three. So oh, actually, someone, yeah, it it does quite a lot of damage. So if a DPS gets caught, you need to save them fast. If it's not a DPS, uh, let they might play with food for a bit, you know. <laughs> Oh, that's actually great. Okay, so pretty much if it's DPS in there, get them the fuck out. Supports they can they can take a couple hits to like greet a little this bit. This group counter, everyone always tries to see how everyone is in that one spot and like one guy is a little bit off. But group counter, yeah, yeah. he goes up into the sky like that. X and sword goes up into the sky. Big yeah. Cross, and after he lands, you want to group up together because he will do a triple counter. This is every time it's a purple counter, it needs three counters to it. Activate. Oh, that's what it means? Okay, so it yeah, has to be, it's not three consecutive, counter. it has to be three people have to hit huh? counter at the same time. And you see how people went behind the boss, right, after that? Like, yeah. after the three counter hits, except for Gunlancer, everyone went to the back. That's how the safe spot is for the boss. Counter, go to the back, slice, and then he's gonna, and then he can do Earthquake or he can chop. Earthquake, you need a space bar. And that's what the Earthquake was? It was this thing where he did, like, the giant smash? Yeah. Okay. And then he swings and another counter. Okay. That's fucked. Okay, this is going to be things that we have to figure out, like, by doing it. Yeah. All right, so I guess That's two... one mech that you must remember. The counters are too important. <clears throat> okay. This one, not really that important. It's just... It's good to know purple counters are always... Uh, like, purple mm -hmm. counters are actually, like, a, a three-person counter. But this is what I mean by variation. You saw how yeah. earlier he, he did this pattern. He swung on his right side, right? Mm -hmm. And after that, it's a stagger. This is another variation of the attack, where he swings... No stagger, he attacks, and then you have to stack, and then you have to counter. Okay, all right. That's so much shit, dude. I'm going to be honest. Listen, boys, we get in there, we slam our face into this bitch, and eventually he's going to die. We're going to be happy, and then we're never going to do it again. You know what I mean? Well, we are every week, every it two weeks. It is ridiculous, yeah. some, of, like, these, uh, <laughs> some of these patterns. But just remember, right, X form, sword form, Remember most most the of transitions, the yeah, transitions for, is important yeah. to remember. He does a, he does something for the transition. It remember looks like it fucking kills you. Deadly, yeah, yeah that's like fucking giga deadly. Patterns, and then yeah. you're kinda set, kinda. Yeah. Okay. So you have to just expect it pretty much expect like the deadly like think whenever you're transitioning weapons, expect something some death. You probably have to greet a little less, you know what I mean? Like kinda get the fuck out of the way. And uh purple counters, three person counters. And I guess the rest of it. I mean, the only mech here was pretty much just like actually doing the clash. There was a clash, and then there was actually just the uh... man. So much time has passed mm -hmm. in this. <laughs> I don't even remember. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the there's the lines. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. You know what, boys? Listen, it's, it's gonna be in the it's gonna be in the previous part of the video anyway, so it's fine. Um. So I guess we close it out here. I don't know. If, I don't yeah. think I don't know if you're able to find a clip, but um. Or if domain not, expansion? Yeah, the domain expansion thing. Okay. Even if you have like a different person, is there someone who's done like a... If we do like domain expansion a lost arc? I don't know if you can... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can... I don't know if you can find like a, you know... Like if you search domain expansion, I don't nah, know nah, if nah, that's... Nah, 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 we find it. Trust me, watch this. I it's towards, it's gotta be from... somewhere here. It isn't... It's gotta be towards the end, no? Oh, domain expansion happens every two minutes. Oh, every two minutes in this in this phase? Yeah, every two minutes in <clears> gate <throat> five and gate six, it will happen. How the fuck do you have enough time stops to do it? Oh, every five, I guess you you could only it only happens like twice, I guess, like in a, in the actual like fight. Let's say, let's say it happens two minutes, two minutes, right? And you phase mm -hmm. him to waterfall mech, it resets the timer. Okay. But then again, it's because so that that's exact. This is a very good point. That's a very good point. Let me show you what I mean, right? You only have three time stops. And he's okay, going to is, target four. Yeah. See how he in during this mech, right? He targets four out of eight players. Okay. So there is a chance that you get lucky and you don't have to use any time stop. But in my run, I blew all my time stops, right? For three of the domains. And it was towards the end of the run, right? Okay. If I didn't time stop, we, we would have wiped the rate, like straight up. Let me show you what. I mean. So how do you know this, if he targets you? Oh. Okay, if you 100% always want to dodge it and know that he targets you, right? Mm -hmm. You see how at the very beginning of the mech, right? You can try playing this on 0. 0. 0.5, for example, so that it's easier for me to like... Stay, yeah, like, to like... You guys uh, can catch the animation, yeah. right? Yeah, and then 
maybe yeah you can mute it because Sorry. i think the audio might be a yeah bit the audio's gonna be fucked okay so he's gonna go yeah. into it right after this so every time it starts up right he will target four he will slice four times if there's four people more than four people alive three times if there's three two if there's two people one if there's one person okay so every time he starts up right he will always always have a waterfall animation first wait wait waterfall gonna start first the moment you see the waterfall and he's turning to you you oh, know he's you going have to, to time stop okay so that's it's it's yeah you, it's a you already know okay you you I already see. know right that you know he's going to slice because the waterfall yeah. happens and then he turns okay don't wait for the sword to come down if the sword comes down it's too late that's okay, how you space bar every time I, i'll show you what i'm so i'm gonna share screen on my end yeah of course um, we'll, swap, we'll swap it up here this one was okay there's a way to do it this without time stops yeah apparently there is we just no one's figured it out yet did ep go down let's see okay it's 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 healing <laughs> okay you can see right yeah i see it i'm gonna meet the audio it's not gonna be sound, but like, um, there's actually a sound when the waterfall happens, right? But TLDR throughout this whole fight, I had to use, uh, this was our, this whole fight was 27 minutes long, 27 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. And I had to use all my time stops all the way towards the end, right? Okay. So around, this was like around the ending, what? we what had, okay, right. See, this is the problem, right? We had two people dead, and this is hard mode, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we almost hit enrage after this too, so I had no time stops left, right? This one. Should I have audio on for this, by the way? Because actually, I actually hear the. Oh shit! Oh, wait, you actually, can hear the audio? Yeah, I can hear the audio. Oh shit! Bet. Okay, I don't know if you can hear the waterfall, but like every time he slices, right? It's like the water is like boom, and then he. Yeah, turns, I hear that. The whoosh, yeah. So the TLDR is that every time you hear the water, you should already like be ready to space bar if you don't have time stop. Oh, you can because space can you bar imagine... it? Yeah, this is a space bar. This is how you do it, right? Oh, so wait, bro. They said that no one figured one. it out. What the fuck? People said they didn't know how to do no, it without no, no, time no. stop. Space bar, space bar is not the way to do it. It's one of the ways to do it. But apparently there is a way to actually break this gimmick somehow. I don't know. Oh, the developers didn't really give like okay, a but you can. Yet. Okay, I see. So if you don't have time stops, you can, you can space bar it with okay i see so let's let's see how it goes when you hear the the water you hit it when you hear the water right and he turns i immediately space bar okay it. yeah i don't okay, wait for the slash you see space bar already go oh. off the moment i heard the water the sword like this right because yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. maybe you're imagine you're too far imagine i was standing like here and yeah. the screen went down even more right that means i won't be able to see his sword or his animation but you can see his front indicator yeah so you hear the water the indicator turns to you you have to space bar yeah that makes sense then you can dodge it but okay, oh. this guy was a little bit of a buffoon. Not gonna lie, when we when we went into Discord call after that, right? We were, we were looking at the replays and we were saying that if the sword was aiming at him and he space bar here, we both would have died. Oh yeah, because it would have followed him, right? He would he yeah, he dashed it, early. It, it, he would have dashed here and yeah. then we were chopped. He dashed kill, early you know? and it would have killed you. Okay, that's fucked. Holy shit. That's why space bar is also not. It's not ideal, but thing. at least if we if you guys do run out of uh, if we do run out of uh, time stops. Yeah. You have an option. You know what I mean? Like there is an option without having the TS. Okay, that's good we to know. actually talked about this, you know, in call. We were saying like how if if we died here, we would have to go back all the way to gate four mm -hmm. and reprop the whole thing again for yeah. I don't know how many hours. Again, one pull into gate four is not a short amount of time. Yeah. Twenty five minutes for a single pull this far. This was our first time in gate six too, so it's like pretty lucky I would say that we even cleared it. Yeah. Pretty lucky. But yeah, like look towards the end, right? It's almost enraged at yeah. this point. It, it's, it, it's oh yeah, it's about, actually about to fucking. We were so like if I died there, this one would have been a reset. Straight up. That's why I say if you can learn the. That's my minus that part. Um, but like getting getting spacebar off is you just have to hear waterfall. He turns mm -hmm. to you, 
you can dodge it. You just dodge. All right, that's actually pretty... I mean, it's going to be a little hectic at the beginning, but I'm really happy there's another way to do it, because, like, if you need to use TS for other mechanics, at least you, you're able to do this, right? Yeah, the thing is, you want to space out, too, and another, another tip that I can give is that, you know, because maybe, let's say he targets... Um, let's say... Let's say this person was closer here, mm -hmm. where my mouse is at, right? If the boss only slice once and it's not on my left, on my right, and you don't have time stop, it's a gamble. You know why? Because if I'm the second target and that becomes the third, you, is over here, you get killed yeah, by his, right? Because you, you yeah. here, even if the third targets the left guy, the fourth can still target him. Mm -hmm. And if this guy survives, I'm still dead because no time stop. So it's still kind of based on luck, but it's yeah. a way to survive. You know, it's an option. Yeah, it's actually a huge fight. tip. I don't think I'll be honest. I didn't. I, how many of you guys actually knew you could do that? I, I actually had no idea you could do that or even how to do it. Like, that's pretty fucking huge. I'm gonna be honest. No idea. Yeah, I had no idea you could fucking do that. So that's pretty fucking huge. That's a that's a massive tip. That's a big ass tip. Is the fight easier? Would you say like at this point? Like when you get to after you get through the major, the major part of it, is this kind of like a little bit more chill, or is it even more hectic as I, as I it progresses? And get five is pretty easy. Yeah. Gate okay. four is, no. Gate four is just despair because <laughs> you. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there, there's two. So people people make like a chart, right? Mm -hmm. There's two parts in the entire fight where people hate the most because you can get knocked off the map. This one, right? The one where you you have to stagger and the then the hands come out. This is like gate five, bro. But mm -hmm. I guess in a sense okay. easier. Yeah, they slowed it down like crazy. Imagine when you're at this part of the fight, a hand just pushes you off, <laughs> and you are 20 minutes in or something. Yeah. And in in your mind, right? You're already thinking we have to reset. We have to reset. You know, it's fucked. It's yeah. actually fucked for mental. That's how that's There's how no... felt though too, dude. When you're progging it for the first time and you're like on, like 18 minutes in and someone dies and you're like fuck. Yeah, so, someone dies, you you instant giga to You know, it's yeah. fucking frustrating. <laughs> It is the most frustrating thing ever. You just look at it and then you're like, you know, it's like you want to keep hope alive. Yeah, but... you want to believe, but it's just tough. Dude. It's actually just fucking tough. And this mm -hmm. was this was your guys' first clear, right? So this is before you had Transcendence and stuff. So did you have Transcendence yeah, here yet or no? Was, this was around second rotation of Daymind. So it was on week three, week end of week three or week four-ish. Okay. We cleared, we cleared gate three in week two. And then week three, week four, it was Daymind. Okay, honestly, the hardest part was finding group. Every most most of the groups, I'm just like, "Hello, I am foreigner." Um, yeah, I that really must have been Korean, rough. But... Yeah, speak no Korean, foreigner, but I have deathless bro Shaza, haha ha, XD. <laughs> no, you know, can you imagine? Like, I'm trying to market myself as a player. I'm going up to them, and then these are the tags, right? You know, like you know how like you you have like tags on your Twitch. Yeah. Me going up to them is like, "Hello, I'm on eye level, and I speak English mainly." <laughs> Do you want to take me? You know, that's kind of <laughs> fucked it up. Yeah, actually, like, dude. Those are not very appealing. <laughs> it's okay, baby. You come into North America, dude. Everybody speaks English here. You know what I'm saying? F it's hey, like listen, they look at me. Oh, and then I'm like an XDD, you know? I'm like trying to market yeah, myself. Yeah, XDD time, dude. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, this looks pretty sick. I'm going to be honest. This actually looks pretty sick. Yeah, I think uh, I think this is probably like a good place to like close it out. It's about a four and a half mm -hmm. hour like uh, video. Yeah, Mr. Tofu, I appreciate you for doing this with me. I know it's uh, it's literally four, it's almost three in the morning for him, guys. So thank you very very mm -hmm. much for doing this. And uh, I'm gonna leave all your links, guys. Check out Tofu on Twitch. Check him out on YouTube. Uh, bro, you're playing AFK Adventure. <laughs> just hear it in the background. Oh, wait, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I can't. God, wait, God. I'm exposing myself. Oh. Literally, God, bro. Actually, God. <laughs> okay, but I'm not kidding. This game was pretty fun. The story I is pretty good. It actually good. looked pretty I sick. I was watching, uh, what's his name? I was watching a verse play the other night. I'm like, wait, this actually kind of, it actually looked sick. It lo I thought it was going to be shit, but it actually pretty cool. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. So, guys, check out Tofu. Show him some love. I'm going to leave his Twitch link down below. Uh, check out his YouTube. Uh, he's an amazing content creator. Super, super funny. He's really, really entertaining. And he's a mega juicer as well. So, that combination. He's like the Dr. Disrespect of Lost Ark. Except uh, he didn't cheat on his wife. Uh... <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> tofu thank you very much for doing this with me i know this took a ton i didn't even know you're doing with other people so i i really really do appreciate you doing this because it's this is going to be fucking you're going to be like sludge in your chair explaining the same mechanics over and over again so thank you thank you very very much and i hope you have a great night man yeah, I hope you guys have a fun time in day mine too, man. Thank you, man. Be sure to come spam on with my chat while we're doing it next week, dude. <laughs>